At the end of the 21st century, the Earth was invaded by a horde of mutant spider crabs under the control of the Venomoid warlord, Darkon. When I descend upon the Earth, darkness will unfurl its banner across yet another region. Even the heroic men and women of the Space Knights cannot defend the Earth without the help of a mysterious young man named Slade, who has the ability to transform into the superhero known as Technoman. The continuing saga of Technoman. Spider crabs must have a weakness, and we've got to find it. Or there won't be anywhere on Earth that's safe. Ah, you worry too much. We'll find a way to stop them. You'll see. We'd better. And soon. Then again, we might not find a way to stop them, I mean. In which case, the Earth is doomed. Which means that for the sake of humanity, you and I will have to take off in the blue Earth and find another planet to live on. It'd be our responsibility to make sure the human race doesn't die out. Very funny. Listen. It's our duty to make sure the human race survives, right? So we'll find an uncharted planet, you know, sort of like the Garden of Eden, and we'd be the new Adam and Eve. Hmm. I think I'd rather marry a spider crab. Yeah, well, the next time I run into one of them, I'll ask it to send you over some candy and flowers. Oh, well, so much for my Garden of Eden idea. Your loss. Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. uh, Commander Jameson, I was only... Come to think of it, the Garden of Eden would have suited you perfectly, Ringo. There was nothing to do there but eat. Hey, Star, did you know that channel was open? Mm-hmm. <laughs> now listen up. We're running low on samples of the alien spore plants. They've taken root all over the planet, and we still have no clue as to their purpose or biological makeup. It's obvious that they are to play a part in the conquest of Earth. How is still a mystery. But with the samples you provide, we may find some answers. You've just been assigned to Quadrant 427. When can you be ready to move out? Oh, immediately, sir. Our beloved leader's wish is our command. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere. Had to try. <laughs> Good luck out there. How you doing, Tina? All right, you two. You've had your fun. Now move out. Yes, sir. Watching from his secret underground base on the dark side of the moon is the supreme commander of the invaders, the Venomoid warlord, Darkon. The fourth dagger. How goes the invasion of Earth? All goes according to plan. As we suspected, their puny armies are no match for our spider crabs. Their feeble weapons have little firepower, and their so-called planetary defense force is nearly helpless. Their troops are being defeated all over the planet. Within a few weeks, all resistance will be crushed, and the planet Earth will be completely under our control. But beware of the Technoman called Blade. He escaped before completing the transformation and may still be loyal to Earth. If he attempts to interfere, destroy him. How's it going, Star? A few more samples and we can head back to the base. Why would the aliens spread these things all over the planet? As a food source, maybe? Or as some kind of weapon? Whatever their plan is, we're going to stop them from carrying it out. You hope. Listen, we'll beat them sooner or later. We humans are tough, but it's not going to be easy, especially for the personnel aboard the space ring. They're sitting ducks up there. They're attacking the space ring. I've got to stop them. Vacation?
was right. You are a traitor. Depends on your point of view. I don't know how you escaped from the techno system. But there'll be no escape this time. Don't stop now, I'm just getting warmed up. planet to conquer. You're through, Jagger! That's what you think. Huh? Ah! Uh, did you ever think about getting this guy a manicure? Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> you fool. Did you really think you could stop us? You haven't won yet. Our victory is only a matter of time. But your time uh, has run out. Uh, Goodbye, Blade. It must have been huge. Yeah, look at that crater. Must have been at least a flotilla-class cruiser. Think there are any survivors? Couldn't have been. No way an impact like that would have vaporized everyone on board. Hmm? <gasps> What's that? something. Look, he's human, all right. Yeah. The question is, who is he? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. We've got to learn as much as we can about him as soon as possible. Yes, I agree, Commander. I've got a feeling we can learn a lot from this man. Tina, how's our patient? Has he come around? Not yet, Ringo. But all his vital signs are A-OK. -okay. Terrific. He took quite a beating, but most of his wounds are superficial. He should be waking up any minute. See? What did I tell you? Wonder who he is. You. Do you serve the Venomoid invaders? Or are you loyal to the planet Earth? Answer me! Venomoid? You mean the aliens? An answer! I want an answer! Yeah? Listen, you jerk, we're space knights. We're fighting for the Earth, not against it. If anyone here is the enemy, it's you, pal. That's so. Just what is a space knight? Hold on, buddy. I want answers. You're in the Space Knight Command Center, not a prison. How do I know that you're telling the truth? Tina, you gotta break free now! Get away from that guy! Huh? Oh. <laughs> Alright, wise guy, fun and games are over. Who are you? What's your name? My name? That's the question. I remember someone calling me Blade. That's all I recall. Huh? <gasps> That's all? Who's in command around here? I am, son. Will you help me? In what way? I need to use one of your ships to get back up to the space ring. Back? Do you mean to say that that's... Huh? Right? What's that sound? The communication center alarm. It means there's some kind of emergency. Of course. The Venomoid invasion. Bring our friend along, Rego. Come on. What do you want to look 
looking at took place two hours ago at Fort Roman, one of the largest bases in the Allied Defense Force. Not anymore. You're quite correct, I'm afraid. It was totally destroyed. These pictures were just received by coded relay from one of our few remaining orbital satellites. They indicate that the same pattern is being repeated all over the planet. All over the world? Yes, Star. They're attacking everywhere. We're wasting hmm? time. I've got to use one of your ships to get back up to the space ring. What makes you think we've got a ship? What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is stopping the alien invasion. Unfortunately, there are no spaceships on Earth, Star. What? None? What happened to them all? I'm sorry, but at present, that information is classified. That's a lie! The Space Knights must have a spaceship! If we did, what would you do with it? What would you use it for? What you've seen so far is nothing. It's only their advanced force testing your defenses. If you don't attack their main force and reduce the odds before they reach Earth, you'll never stop them. Humanity's only chance to survive is to attack before they get here while they're still in space. Why should we believe you? It makes sense, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And yet, there are other things that don't make sense at all. For instance, where did you learn that the aliens are called Venomoids? And what makes you think that fighting them on your own would do any good? Just give me a ship! There's no time to explain! I need it now! Uh, new spaceship! Uh, That's uh, what you said, isn't it? Uh, now tell me where I can find this new spaceship of yours! Tell me! Well, the Blue Earth is in Hangar 3, I think. Fine! Emergency alert! Emergency alert! Code Red Alpha! Code Red Alpha. Code Red Alpha. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Destination Hangar 3. Would he want the Blue Earth? He probably thinks she's got weapons aboard like laser cannon. The Blue Earth doesn't even have a pea shooter. We know that, but he doesn't. Code Red Alpha. Ah! Tell me how to get to hangar number three. Intruder Don't tell him anything, Maggie. Destination. Come here, you. Hey! No, Mac! Don't hurt him. I don't think he meant any harm. Intruder Alert. Intruder Alert. Destination. Sorry, gotta go. Now you're gonna tell me where hangar number three is or else. Got it? Tell me, where's hangar three? Where's the blue earth? Go out that door and take a left. You'll find hangar three about a hundred yards down that hallway. Thanks. Thanks a lot. This is the place. Space ring. Yeah, that's right. The space ring with all its weapons aimed right at us. And we have no way to defend ourselves. Way to go, hot shot. You happy now, huh? They're zeroing in. Taking a base of action. What now, hot shot? You're the pilot, not me. <laughs> you got that right. But it wasn't my idea to attack these guys in their own backyard. Look at that! There's no chance against that kind of firepower! We're getting out of here! Thanks for the ride! Huh? What's the matter with you? You air sick or something? I have to 
destroy as many as I can. From the inside of the airlock? That would be a silly idea, wouldn't it? I plan to fight them out in space, Ringo. That is impossible. There's no oxygen out there. It's a total vacuum. You don't have a chance. Wrong. Are you nuts or something? Didn't you hear me? Don't you understand, Ray? It's you two that don't understand. What's he up to? Cut off all circuits to the aft section and to the main airlock. Who knows what he'll do? Roger. The amazing power of his emerald techno crystal, which calls upon the universal forces of time and space. Blade is endowed with impenetrable armor, quantum energy weapons, and superhuman powers, transforming him into the warrior superhero known as Techno Man! We've got trouble dead ahead! Oh, watch out! Who's air sick now, Ringo? Amazing! You said it! Transform into techno battle mode! Now those spider crabs have had it! Transforming to techno battle mode! No, sir, none at all. Only against the enemy. Could he be putting on some sort of act? Negative, sir. Nobody could put on that good an act. We're monitoring the battle now. Boy, is it ever exciting. Techno Man is terrific. And oh, isn't it absolutely rad when he's beating the tar out of those spider crab monsters? No need to go overboard, Tina. But I must admit, his battle prowess is very impressive. He may be our answer. Yeah, or our destruction. And what do you think of him, Star? Well, sir, so far I like him, but he's still an enigma. The question is, what do you want us to do about it? That's the problem. We need this man. I want to be able to question him, so whatever happens, I want you to bring him with you when you return to Earth. Is that understood? It may be difficult, but the survival of Earth might depend upon what we can learn from this man. Understood, sir. Right, sir. Still got some bite left, huh? Continues, those of the Allied Defense Force Military Command Center become aware of the astonishing developments taking place near the orbital space rim. Attach me crew to Earth's Supreme Command immediately. Nothing can stand up to them, sir. I'm afraid everyone on the space ring must be considered a casualty. Great Scott, Lieutenant. Are you saying the entire command has been wiped out? That we have no defense at all against these creatures? That is essentially correct, sir. No defense at all. From the way the situation is shaping up, my earnest recommendation to this committee would be to warn the civilian population to take whatever measures they can for their own defense. Excuse me, Mr. Chairman. It's Code Baker. Code B? Put it on the big screen. I've already taken the liberty, sir. This is a recording of the battle that took place on the space ring a few hours ago. Looks like recess is over. Now, I want an immediate investigation. 
Hang on. Oh, hey, we must be getting popular. Yeah, we're the life of the party. They just can't get enough of us. Heads up! Starboard thrusters losing power. It's getting difficult to maintain control. Brace yourself. I'm going to try to put her down. Hold on. That's no landing strip. It is now. Whew. Well, we made it. Better contact the command center. Roger. Nothing. Keep trying. We got a problem. Looks like we're not so popular anymore. <gasps> ah! Blade, are you? Hold it, Star. All we know about this guy is how dangerous he is. Suppose you explain to me just exactly what you are. I'm not exactly sure myself. Uh, 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 uh. What is it, Blade? What's the problem? I'm hungry. Need some food. You're hungry? Huh? Come in, please. Blue Earth. Blue Earth, will you please respond ASAP? Space Knight Command Center calling Blue Earth. It's no use, Commander. I just can't get through. Hmm. Well, this is just great. Our engine's conked out, and now the radio's being jammed. Hmm. Not to mention our little pets waiting outside. I suspect our friend here has neutralized them for a while. Wow, Blade. You've got quite an appetite, don't you? My techno mode is hypermetabolic. I burn up a lot of calories. Hmm. Oh, I see, but you still can't remember how you got that way. Nope. Your memory will come back eventually. You'll see. Look, I don't care how long it takes. All that's important now is fighting the enemy. I couldn't agree more. All we've got to do now is find out who the enemy is. Come on, Blake, tell me something about yourself. You a man? Or even a human being? And that transformation, how do you yes. change... Yes, I'm a human, Ringo. Okay, what kind of a human turns himself into a machine? Nobody I've ever seen before. Do you have parents like everyone else? Or were you turned out on an assembly line with a bunch of other machines? I'm afraid I just can't give you the answers you're looking for. If I could remember, I would tell you. Come on, that bunch of malarkey's gonna make my heart bleed all over the space ring. I'm probably gonna bust out ballin' before you've said ten more words. Go right ahead if it'll make you feel any better. Ah. Meanwhile, just leave me alone and mind your own business. I'm not bothering you and you could use a lesson in manners. Oh yeah? What, are you trying to prove my point? Why? Stop it, Ringo! What's the matter with you? In case you forgot, he's not the enemy. Besides, there's no time for this. We've got work to do. Where do you think you're going? How far do you intend on following me? As far as you're going. My orders were to bring you back to Earth. Well, come on, then. Let's see what's behind this. Oh! This is worse than I had imagined. Let's go. Wait, wait! Well, you gotta admit, he's got guts. Come on. I can't believe it. The finest scientific achievement ever conceived by the mind of man reduced to an empty shell. You'll leave it. Blade, do you really expect to find any survivors here? No, I'm afraid there won't be any. We're looking for something else. I'm not sure what it is, but I'll know it when I see it. I think we're getting warm. What is it? 
It's what the Venomoids are trying so hard to keep us away from. This must be the Ring's solar power center. What are those things? This is a spawning chamber. Something like a... like a... Yes? Something like what? I don't know. For a moment I thought... Blade, what is it? Something... I don't know. It's gone now. this creature listen we got to get out of here now there's no time to explain sure there is blade why don't you try me I'm a very reasonable man maybe you are but he's not come on follow me quickly come on you two through here hurry up hey wait a minute what are you doing Blade, get out of there it's too dangerous save yourselves get back to the ship and lift off Are you sure about this, Blade? Take off. It's your only chance. No! Star, now. I won't leave without him. Run while you still have a chance. Blade! Go on. There's nothing no. more we can do here. Come on. Let's go. Now. When I finish with you, I'll crush your puny comrades like worms. You haven't finished with me yet. The priming sensitizer's shot. Try it manually. We can't leave without blame. My duty is to this ship. At any price? That's right. You don't mean that. Maybe not. What's going on? Just need a little jump start. moving unless something's pushing us. Not something. Someone better take a peek at the aft monitor. Blade, I should have known. Hey, my supplementary backup is kicking in. We're on our way. All right. Did you really think it would be that easy, Blade? Now, it's my turn. Got a 
better recover Blade now. Star, my instincts are telling me that we better not. If we do, we might not make it back to Earth. Our mission is to take him back. Have you considered the destruction that he's capable of? The only thing I've seen him destroy are a bunch of spider crabs and, of course, our food supply. If that's what you're worried about, I'm certain we can arrange some extra rations for you. Terrific. Uh, all right, let's pick him up, but he better stay away from my apple pie. Stand by on the airlock. We'll be alongside in about 10 seconds. <laughs> now, Technoman, I'm going to give you the opportunity to become my personal property. <laughs> Command Center to Blue Earth, you're clear for final approach and landing. Thanks, Mac. We're coming in. Hey, Ringo, how'd that turbo boost work out for you, lad? Works great. That should have given you just the oomph you're looking for. Did Blade check out my computer tracking system? That Blade? I just can't believe how handsome he is. Tina, there's a lot more to Blade than his appearance, you know. Well, I know, Maggie, he's also very smart and incredibly brave, but I wonder why he seems so well, sad all the time. Well, suited. maybe he wouldn't be if he didn't feel like he was always being gawked at. That new turbo boost will sure help speed up those supply runs. Yeah, not to mention helping us outrun those creepy spider crabs. Hey, speaking of seafood, I'm famished. Let's go grab a bite to eat. You coming, Blade? Hey, Blade? Where is he? Hey, Blade! I wonder what makes him like that. Hey, buddy. We're going to get some chow. Don't you want some? I'm really not hungry. Besides, I have a lot of stuff to do, but thanks anyway. You sure? Ringo's buying. I said I'm not hungry. Blade, if you can spare a few minutes, I'd like you to undergo an MRI analysis. Hmm? Dr. Fromm says it might help us uncover the source of your power. So what? Well, if you knew the source of your power, you could give me some. <laughs> wouldn't want it. By using a biomagnetic field to scan Blade's body, we should be able to find any anomalies that could be responsible for his incredible transforming ability. So far, everything appears to be normal, sir. The brain and central nervous system are functioning properly. There are no foreign structures in the chest or abdominal areas, and the extremities contain nothing unusual. His body temperature, heart rate, and blood pressure are also normal, Commander. Well, then there has to be something that we're overlooking. Perhaps Tina's completed her examination of the crystal. Right. Tina, how's the spectral analysis coming along? Have you been able to crack the molecular code or identify the power source? The substance is unidentifiable and doesn't emit any independent energy readings. Amazing. Separately, neither blade nor the crystal are unique. Yet united, they create a formidable weapon. Meanwhile, at the Allied Defense Force Military Command Center. Captain, sensors indicate a disturbance in the space ring, accompanied by a tremendous loss of pressure. A piece of the space ring is broken off and is falling toward the Earth. Impact in 25 minutes. We have to intercept it! Well, thank you for being so cooperative. Yeah, too bad all of this hasn't told us anything we didn't know before. But you're finished, right? I can go? You're free to leave anytime you want. We had only hoped that through you we could understand the evil we are up against. But could you look at one thing before you leave? Guess so. Will it take long? That depends on you. Technopods! Excellent. You've lost most of your memory, but you did recognize these monstrosities. And now I'm certain that you could be the key to unlocking the mystery of these things. How do you figure that? All that we know is that these pods began raining down and taking root on Earth at about the same time that you arrived. We dug these up near the capital and brought them here to be analyzed. They are unlike any carbon-based plant life that we have seen before. Although they haven't actually caused any problems yet, I'm afraid of what they're capable of in the future. I'm asking you to please stay and help us uncover the purpose of these technopods, but you are free to go now if that's what you still want. What about my crystal? You're free to take it. It is your property. Thanks. I'll need it. Wish I could help you more, Commander, but I've got to go now. You see, I've got a score to settle. I guess this is goodbye. Take care, sir. I wish you and the Space Knights the best of luck. So long. Blade, is this a private battle or can anyone fight? Mm -hmm. Try not to let your anger cloud your judgment. You don't have to fight this menace all on your own. We can work together. 
You may have the power, but we have the technology and the equipment. We'd be a heck of a team. Almost unbeatable. You interested? I'll think about it. Speaking of timing, look who just arrived. Oh, too bad you weren't here. You missed a great show. Star was terrific. That's nice. But I just finished up with Commander Jameson. So, have you decided to stick around for a while? Of course he is. He can't leave now. We're just getting to know each other. Tina, he doesn't have to stay here if he doesn't want to. Well, I think it would be great if you stuck around. We could use some new blood around here. Thanks, but... Making me your friend isn't a very good idea. The people I get close to don't seem to live very long. What's with him? Hey, who knows? He's a strange one, that's for sure. What happened to you, Blade? What could have hurt you so much? No, we're on final approach. Excellent. This is General Galt. I'll be arriving at your command center shortly. Please designate landing site. Yes, General. Please proceed to Hangar 3, Docking Bay D. General Galt, welcome to the Space Night Command Center. Commander Jameson, good to see you. I'm sure you're aware of the emergency concerning the falling space ring section. Yes, we're monitoring it. The situation could become critical depending on the point of entry. I think we can pinpoint that for you. Computer, display section XT9 on screen. From the trajectory, compute the exact time and location of planetary impact. Space ring section XT9 has separated from the main structure and will collide with Earth in sector G in 13.9 minutes. I'm going to need your help if I'm to stop it. Exactly what kind of help do you need? Give up your command and place your crew and aircraft at our disposal. This command center and its personnel are not controlled by the armed forces. From this point on, you're under direct military command. I don't think so. You have no choice. Well, that's where we disagree, General. Oh, I don't know, Mac. Everyone is trying to talk me into staying. So? I don't understand. What's the problem? I don't know. Come on, lad. You have a terrific group of people welcoming you with open arms, but you're not sure you want to stay? It's not the people. I don't know. It's just, I can't explain it. What's the worst that could happen if you stay? All of us might start caring about each other. If you ask me, it sounds like a risk worth taking. Hmm. I don't understand what falling space debris has to do with your taking command here. How would control of the Space Knights benefit the military? It's really quite simple. Our missiles are not powerful enough to destroy the debris from the space ring prior to impact. But Technoman, with his tremendous power, will surely stop it in time. Blade is not officially a Space Knight, but we have been running some tests on him. We cannot determine the source of his power. So what? Until we know more about him, I think it would be unfair to thrust him into a dangerous situation where he could be seriously injured or killed. He is a civilian, General. You don't understand. Neither you nor he have a choice in this matter. He will obey my orders. Or I promise you, this base will disappear like that. Shall I call security, sir? No. Now, you must convince Technoman that the military can make the best use of his power. And if I don't, what then? You and your personnel will have to find another place to work because this command center will be totally demolished. Just turn Technoman over to me and I won't be forced to activate the troops and weapons that I positioned around this base before I arrived. Commander, look! As you can see, you are surrounded and outnumbered, Commander. Your people wouldn't stand a chance. Don't be a fool. So, what is your decision, Jameson? Do I get Technoman, or do I destroy you? Warning, Space Ring Section XT-9 will impact with Earth's Sector G in eight minutes. Warning, Space Ring Section XT-9 will impact with Earth's Sector G in eight minutes. So, Jameson, will you face the inevitable and relinquish your command, or face defeat by resisting? I remind you, General, Blade is a civilian not under my control. Very well, if that's the way you want it. But as a wise man once said, if you're not with us, you're against us. Even as we speak, my forces have infiltrated and taken control of your engineering facilities. All units, take up your positions. Secure all sectors as ordered and await further instructions before proceeding. All brown berets be at the ready. Wait for my command. 
Now, Commander, I assure you I am quite a reasonable fellow. Just summon the Space Knights and the Technoman Blade, and you might find all this worry has been for nothing. They might actually volunteer to serve with me. Not likely, but I'll call them. All Space Knight personnel, including Blade, report to the control room immediately. I repeat, all Space Knight personnel, all Space Knight personnel, report to the control room immediately. Anybody know what it's all about? It has something to do with Blade. Ah, there he is, Blade. He's the one I've heard so much about. Yeah, that's me. What's going on here, Commander? Hmm? Really quite incredible. Such power at such a young age. Hands off, General. Well now, a lot of fire. I like that. This gentleman is General Xerxes Galt of the Terran Allied Defense Force. To deal with the Space Ring emergency, he has come here demanding that I relinquish my authority over Blade and the Space Knights to the military. What? What are you talking about? On whose authority, Commander? No change in trajectory, General. Troops and all armored vehicles are in place, sir. Excellent. Remain on stand by alert. So that's the story. You're trying to force us into taking your orders. Not you. It's Technoman I want. He's not a piece of property you can bargain over, General. I say Blade is free to do what he wants. Your opinion is of no consequence. Look, Blade, you don't have to cooperate. We'll back you up no matter what. Yeah, thanks. I think that they should be the ones to cooperate. With me. What? Without me, they don't have the power to accomplish their mission. So it's my way or no way. I don't take orders from anyone. And especially not from the military. Now order your troops to stand down, General. And then apologize to Commander James. Want me to silence him, General? Go right ahead. But don't forget, you need me in one piece. I'm tired of this game. Fire! See, I'm not bluffing. Well, Jameson, do you cooperate or do I destroy the command center? Answer me! This is insanity. You've no authority here. The military can't force Blade or anyone else to work for them. <laughs> we'll see about that. All units, begin phase four of the attack. scrambled message from whom it's from the president sir it's coded urgent really what could he want your immediate resignation i hope Galt, that ring section is still falling toward earth why hasn't it been destroyed yet commander jameson isn't cooperating i was ordered at gunpoint to put blade under his command Galt, you weren't ordered to kidnap the man just ask for his help my apologies, Commander Jameson. Sometimes the good general becomes a little overly enthusiastic. We do, however, have an emergency situation that must be dealt with. My reports indicate less than six minutes until impact. Right, General? How shall I proceed, Mr. President? I assume Commander Jameson is capable of responding to this situation quite effectively on his own. I suggest you order your troops to stand down and let him do his job. Understood? <laughs> All troops, fall back, now. Blade, Space Ring Section XT-9 is broken free and will collide with Earth unless you can stop it. I'll do my best, Commander. All that anyone ever had to do was to just ask me. You get me up there and I'll take care of the rest. Just one thing. Keep out of my way. No interference. This job is tough enough without a bunch of amateurs getting in the way. Deal? Mm-hmm. Okay, Space Knights, take your positions and get the job done. Yes, yes, yes sir. Blue Earth, the Space Knight Command Center. All systems are go. I've engaged the new tracking system. It should lead us right to it. There. Get me in close. We're going in now. Closing to one kilometer. Spider crabs. Time to go to work. Be careful, Blade.
it is still falling at increasing speed. Pardon me, coming through. One minute till impact. Blade, listen, we're almost out of time. Hurry up. Almost done. Blade, what are you doing? Don't follow me in. Back off. Blade, hurry. statement of the century. Sensors indicate target has been destroyed. That's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. With Blade on our side, those mean old Venomoids don't stand a chance. You'll be hearing from me again, Jameson. Count on it. The most powerful weapon in the universe, and the president wants it controlled by a bunch of renegades. Well, we'll just see about that. Nice job, Blade. Mission accomplished. We're heading for home. We may have won the battle, but we haven't won the war. Darkon's still out there. All right, Mac, I'll take three cards. I'm telling you, I just don't trust that blade, dude. I mean, your boyfriend. He is not. Blade is the sensitive, caring, strong, silent type, that's all. And if he happens to be attracted to intelligent, quick-witted, ravishing redheads, who can blame him? Now then, let me see. Mm, I'll take five cards, please. Yeah, I suppose Blade is perfect for a girl like you. Got that right. Well, I still don't trust him. Well, there are lots of things we don't know about Blade. Uh, two for me. Yeah, he's right. A lot they don't know. Well, I'm looking forward to getting to know him a whole lot better. Hey, knock it off, Maggie. We're trying to play cards here. Okay, guys, what do you got? Three queens. Huh? I've got three kings. Oh! Three twos? <laughs> Hold it. How easy does it there, Ringo, my lad? Three kings beats three twos, you know. <laughs> Read them and weep. Oh, no, Brat. That's a joker. Well, looks like you got a loser, Mac. Got that right. Who knows, buddy? Maybe next time. But I gotta warn you, I try to make a habit of winning. Unlike that blade. Quiet! Honestly, Ringo, you and your big mouth. He's standing right over there. He'll hear you. Blade! We're having a card game. Come on and join us. Save your breath, Maggie. It's a waste of time. My dear sweet blade. Do you see what I mean? You know, I feel kind of sorry for the lad. Let's play cards. Right. Let's do it. Blade, it's time that I filled you in on our mission. <laughs> The entire Earth has been covered with these mysterious plants. It all started when the Venomoid spider crabs attacked us. The spider crabs destroyed anything that got in their way, leaving behind a strange vegetation. Soon the entire world was covered with these giant purple plants.
Every day I get more and more scared. These plants seem so harmless, yet I can't help but feel the world's in grave danger. We've got to find out everything we can about these plants. What are they for? How do the aliens plan to use them? Earth to Blade, haven't you heard a word I've said? The world is coming apart at the seams, don't you even care? Hey, what do you expect me to do about it? That's simple, Blade. Look, what do you want? To be a loner for the rest of your life? The Space Knights are a team, are you with us or not? With you? Yes. No, I could never be a member of the Space Knights. I have to fight the Venomoids by myself. By yourself? Star, I'm the only one who would have a chance against them. Determine the molecular cohesion factor. Interesting. A member of the team. Me, a space knight. There, that should do it for this one. A couple more and I'll be done. What in the. Oh! Star! Ah! What's going on? You all right? <laughs> what is it? The people. There were families here. The Venomoids destroyed their homes. They're all gone. Star? Deal the cost. I'll get you this time. Deal me out. I've had it. Come on, deal. What do you have left to bet? I've got something very special. A rare antique watch. Wow, that's a cool-looking timepiece. You just give me a chance to get even, lad, and I'll bet this watch against everything you've won so far. Okay, Mac. You got yourself a card game. Wait a minute, Blade. Let me get this straight. You lost your memory, but you know how to operate a computer? Yeah, I guess so. You know, there's a series of examinations we could run on you that might just help you regain some knowledge of your past. It'll take some time, but it might be worth it. And who knows, Blade, you might be able to remember everything. Could be. I sure hope so. So checking the hollow screen, it seems we've located an unidentified flying object. Your assignment, Space Knights, is to immediately go investigate this UFO. But be careful, it could be one of the Venomoid's tricks. Yeah, you got that right. Take a look at this. I can't stand the sight of them. They probably feel the same way about you. Space Knights, get moving. We're on our way. <laughs> hey, Ringo. Take care of my watch. I'm going to win it back next time. Yeah, right. All systems go preparing for launch. Which, according to my beautiful brand new watch, should be right about now. Launch window is optimum. Yeah, well, they better keep... 
keep their claws off my ship or their space dust. Just another day at the office, right, superhero? Ringo! So you really think you can fight the forces of Darkon all by yourself, huh? Ringo, I happen to be Earth's only hope. See ya! Star, I think we better have an alternate plan of action ready, just in case your good buddy Blade isn't as good as he thinks he is. Really, Ringo, I can't believe you. You can be such a jerk sometimes. Look, I'm just not sure Blade is all that trustworthy, that's all. What are you talking about? I don't know. He's hiding something. give him anything. But hey, all right, one more minute, and then we are out of here. I can't hold on much longer. seen a battle quite like this one before, Commander. I know you can do it, Blade. Come on. It's over two minutes, Star. His number's up. If we don't go now, we may never get back to Earth. He's not moving. Look, I feel for the guy, but we got to get out of here. What in blazes is going on up there? It looks like Blade fought it. And if we don't go now, we're next. Hey, where do you think you're going? Hang on, Blade. I'll have the airlock open in just a second. There. Thanks, Star. I guess I overdid it out there. I feel like I'm gonna... 180, back to the base, Ringo. Step on it. 180 degrees, Roger. Just in time, too. Oh, did I say just in time? Looks like I might have spoken a little too soon. Ringo! What? We've got to get him to a doctor. 
Will you forget about Blade for one minute and help me get this ship back down to Earth? How could anyone possibly be so cold-hearted? Hang on, Blade. You'll be okay. something, will you? <laughs> you idiot! Stars hurt because of you! Because of me? Yeah! <sighs> you're a bad apple, Blade. You think you said you're hot shot. Well, take a look in there. Are you proud of yourself? You just had to prove what a great fighter you are, but it turns out you aren't so great after all, which is why she's in the hospital with a cracked skull. Nice going, Blade. Listen, Blade. You've no cause to brood over this business. No one holds you responsible for the damage to the Blue Earth or for Star's injuries. However, I do have one concern. Your sudden loss of strength is still a mystery to me. What happened out there, Blade? Can we expect something like that to happen the next time you transform into Technoman? Greetings, Space Knights. General Galt again. That man makes me nervous. Quiet. He's not deaf, you know. I observed your last battle with interest. My congratulations on a hard-fought victory. A costly one as well. I heard what happened to Star. I guess your Technoman still has a few glitches, eh? What's on your mind, General? You guess this isn't a social call. As usual, Commander, you've assessed the situation perfectly. Go on, we're all ears. As you must know, our manpower is stretched pretty thin, so the military defense force is assigning you another mission. I'm sorry to have to interrupt your R&R &R this way, but you recall that technopod you intercepted last time. Well, more of them are coming. A whole cluster of them, in fact. No, not again. Our tactical fighter wings are barely holding their own against the squadrons of spider crafts the enemy's throwing at us. Losses are reaching a critical stage. The fighter pilots can't be expected to withstand that onslaught and deal with the technopods we've spotted descending toward the planet. That's where you come in. You're to intercept and destroy these technopods. There's no time to waste. You are to patch up the Blue Earth and get into position at once. Oh yes, one more thing I almost forgot. I sincerely hope your Technoman performs better than he did last time, or I shall be forced to take him off your hands. Like he'd really be heartbroken. That way he'd break up the Space Knights and get his hands on Blade at the same time. What would be gained by your taking Blade under your command, General Galt? We might be more capable than you of bringing out his full potential as a fighting machine. We'd hate to see him go to waste. Meanwhile, Commander, best of luck on your mission. We'll launch tomorrow at 0200. The Blue Earth will remain in reserve and will not engage the enemy. Blade, that means you will have to carry the load again. Blade, you don't think you'll have the same problem again, do you? I, I mean, I'm only thinking it would be such a shame to let them break up the team. Yeah, why let them do it, when Blade's doing such a good job of it himself? By the time he's done, there'll be none of us left. Huh? That's enough of that, Ringo. We're all sorry about what happened to Star, but nobody's to blame. She has yet to regain consciousness, but Sick Bay reports her condition is stable and the prognosis is encouraging. I have every hope that she'll be back with us soon. Obviously, though, not in time for this mission. So someone else will have to assume her duties as navigator on board the Blue Earth for the duration. How about it, Tina? You can count on me, Commander. Good. Mac, how long will it take you to install a laser cannon or two and wire them into the ship's guidance system? No time at all. Been wanting to do that for a while now. Yeah, it's about time, sir. Give the Blue Earth the means to fight for herself, and we won't need Technoman anymore. Stop talking like that. Just drop it, Ringo, will you? That kind of stuff does no one any good. I can't believe you two. You're acting like nothing happened. 
happened here? Star's lying unconscious because of this guy. She could even be dying. Stop it, Ringo, right now. Listen, space stud. If she doesn't recover 100%, you just might not either. I swear, I'll take it very personally. You got that? Perfectly. <laughs> Hyperlink analysis of stabilization system completed. System operational. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Mm -hmm. That's it, Crew 5. Take your break. You've got 10 minutes to eat your lunch, so get moving. I finished the diagnostics. Good. Mind if I take a few minutes off? I'd very much like a word with Ringo. You're going to talk to him about Blade, aren't you? Well, someone needs to. His attitude could prove extremely counterproductive. Leave him be. What? But surely for the sake of the crew's morale... That's something we're going to have to let him work out on his own. Save your breath, Lassie. because of me. I know now what made it happen. And I swear it'll never happen again. Because now I know what to do. Before I'll let anyone else get hurt, I'll sacrifice myself. A pen. I don't really know. It's an old expression. Sorry if I'm interrupting. I was too excited to sleep. It's not every day I get into the battle zone. <sighs> you worried? Oh, not a bit. You shouldn't worry about what Ringo said. It'll all work out. <laughs> it's spectacular, all right. But don't you think you ought to get some sleep, Blade, instead of staring at the moon all night? I can't help it, Tina. This just might be the last time I see it. <gasps> If you were told you had to destroy me, would you be able to? What? If that's a joke, it isn't very funny. In the last battle with the Venomoids, I wasn't just losing my strength, Tina. I was losing what makes me a human being. Huh? There's a kind of time limit. For up to 30 minutes, I'm safe. I'm in complete control of my powers. But after that, the techno power takes over. I can feel my humanity slipping away. The evil that made me what I am begins to get the upper hand. I can feel darkness overwhelming me, turning me into one of them. No, Blade! I can't believe that would happen! I refuse to believe it! Listen to me very carefully, Tina. If the battle tomorrow lasts longer than 30 minutes, you've got to blast me out of the sky. You've got to tell Ringo to destroy me before I become a Venomoid monster. Understand? But Blade, I... Promise me. Uh, I promise. As the Blue Earth rises to meet the alien foe, Ringo is unaware of the terrible secret shared by Tina and Blade. I've got a pinger at T Mark 20. Must be the Technopod. Locking on to intercept. I've got news for you, Tina. That's more than a technopod out there. Jeez, looks like a spider crab convention. Must be at least a hundred of them. You be careful out there. Yeah. And Blade, wrap things up quick, huh? I want to be home for lunch. Yeah, make it snappy. We're not going to wait for you this time. Hey, you weren't kidding, Tina. Are you really timing him? Techno power!
the seafood platter. Get a special spider crab on the half shell. There's too many of them, even for Blade. Why in the world doesn't General Galt send some fighter support? It's not fair. Don't expect any help from Galt. He's probably getting a big kick out of this. Yes! Now you guys are getting nasty. Okay now, fellas. I'm on kind of a deadline here, so let's stop playing around, okay? Headquarters of the Terran Military Defense Force. If the Space Knights fail in their mission, I'll finally gain control of Technoman and the awesome powers he possesses. If they succeed, then the Earth is saved and I'm hailed as a military genius. I think this is what's called a win-win situation. You guys mind if I slip into something more comfortable? So much for the bad guys. Huh? Oops. It's party time. Pringle, we can't just sit here. We've got to do something to help. Relax, Tina. There's nothing we can do. We're not to engage the enemy. Those were the old man's orders. Uh, 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 I think we just got engaged. Look what he's doing to the paint job. Time to check out these pea shooters Mac installed. Talk to me. Not bad. Ringo, no matter what huh? the commander said, we've got to help Layden quickly. He's almost out of time. Now this is what I call a sticky situation. And getting Is something gonna happen that I should know about? I want answers. Stop keeping me in the dark. He's only got 30 minutes and then he'll become... Yeah, he'll become what? He becomes evil. He becomes one of them. He made me promise we'd destroy him before that could happen. Destroy him. Jumping gyros, Tina. Why didn't you tell me? His time's almost up. Exactly when did he go out there? 12.30 sharp. That's four minutes. Okay, babe, hang on to your breakfast. This is gonna get a little bit hairy. Love these cannons. They're awful close. It'll have to be a perfect shot. Sorry, guys. Gotta cut the run. Thanks, Ringo. Pretty nice shoot. Yeah, it wasn't half bad. Wrap it up, Blake. Time for you to punch out and hit the showers. Not yet, guys. Look up ahead. It's the Technopod. It's huge. It must be some kind of hive or colony for the spider crabs. Okay, Blake, get him, but be quick. You got it. Now or never. Ringo, how much time? Party's over. Oh my gosh, his time's up! Blade, can you hear me? Come in, Blade! Come in! No! That's it. No, Ringo, don't pull that trigger. He might just be hurt or unconscious. Give him another minute just to be sure. No, Tina. We can't take the chance of him becoming one of them. No! Serve the 
better man. Ringo, I'll fight them alone. My job is to help you. Not you. Star, you're here because of me. But now I know what I have to do. I'll sacrifice myself before I let anyone else get hurt. I gotta do it. Sorry, kid. Yeah! What the? What was that for? Huh? I appreciate the wake-up call, but next time I try ringing a bell or something, it's bad enough I got spider crabs to deal with. Now my own people are shooting at me. A little fast on the draw, weren't you? I mean, come on. I know you're not crazy about me, Ringo, but my time wasn't up yet. Please! Oh, no! Hmm, hmm that explains it. The gear's out of alignment. It's running about five minutes fast. All right, Lenny, that's never happened before. What the heck should you do to it? What are you talking about? You did something to this watch. Give me a break, Mac. Oh. Uh, now that I think of it, I could have forgotten to whine it once or twice. You did more than that. What's the use of it? If it's so delicate, you can't use it. Idiot, that watch is handmade, a priceless antique. Delicate, huh? Well, let's see how delicate your skull is. Hey, knock it off, Mac. Oh, no, hey, Mac, what are you... I'm glad to see you looking so well, Star. You're beginning to feel like your old self? Yes, thank you, sir. Sorry about the ship, Mac. Is she gonna... The Blue Earth's just fine. In fact, she flew another mission while you were asleep. And Blade's all right, too. I'm sure you'll be happy to hear that. The way you go on about Blade, people could get ideas. Hmm, let them. Why should I care? The man's gorgeous, and I'm head over heels crazy about him. We're all friends, Maggie. Don't be shy. Tell us how you really feel. You've got to learn not to hold back, last <laughs> <laughs> By the way, where are Blade and Ringo? They're not fighting again, are they? When that moment came, and you thought you had to blow me out of the sky, tell me, you didn't even hesitate to pull that trigger, did you, Ringo? Not for a minute. Get this straight. I don't trust you. Now that I know what you're capable of becoming, I trust you even less. I'll always be watching you, with my finger on that trigger, ready to do what I gotta do. But I will give you this. Before that situation comes up again, I will get my watch fixed. If I do have to pull your plug someday, I wouldn't want anybody saying I didn't give you a fair chance. I appreciate your honesty. Now I know where I stand. Alone. At that very moment, on the far side of the moon, deep below its cratered surface, Darkon, the Venomoid Warlord, sits and broods in his lair.
This transmission was just picked up on an emergency band. That chemical plant is in the space ring. That means there are still survivors there. You really think so? There are lots of places to hide there. It's a big place, you know. I'm sending you on a rescue mission. We cannot allow any of our people to fall into the hands of the aliens. If the spider crabs didn't find them, how are we supposed to? Do whatever it takes, but those survivors cannot be abandoned. I want the Blue Earth made ready for immediate takeoff. Yes, yes sir. sir. How many of our people were able to survive the attack? It's strange that we didn't hear an SOS before this. They've been up there quite a while. You're right. It is strange. But the message said there were a lot of them. The fewer the better. What? What's that supposed to mean, Blade? You're telling me saving lives isn't important? The most important thing is to stop Darkon's invaders. Then what possible difference could it make how many there are? It doesn't. As long as it gets done. I don't think I'm quite catching your drift, Blade. Look, if it's only me, it doesn't matter if I come back or not. Transmission's been cut off, Ringo! Obviously, someone must have gotten to him first. Run a scan to find the nearest docking port to his star. Port 6, two clicks to starboard. Blue Earth! Blue Earth! We've just lost the signal from the space ring. Are you still tracking? It was cut off. We're just about to go in. Be careful! We will. Hold it, Ringo! The airlock isn't responding! Yeah, well... I know the secret knock. Stay here. I'm gonna go in by myself. What are you talking about, Blade? I'm going with you. Darkon could send his crabs against us at any time, and I'm the only one equipped to handle that. Going in alone doesn't make sense. You can't go in there without any backup. There's nothing to worry about. Just stay here and be ready to lift off. I didn't join the Space Knights to be a glorified chauffeur, but hey, if you want to take all the risks, go right ahead. But listen, Blade. Make sure you leave your channel open so we know what's going on in there. I'll stay in touch. And if you run into any evil techno men, tell them they'd better behave themselves or your chauffeur will run them over. That wasn't funny. Oh, so you're a critic now. Blade, what's happening in there? Just outside the camp plant. No signs of life at all so far. Copy that. Be careful. Ah, come on. Why should he be careful? If he's attacked, he can just pull out that magic crystal and transform into Technoman, Defender of the Realm. Oh, come on, Ringo. Give it a rest, will ya? Hello? Is anyone there? Call out if you can hear me. Is anyone in there? There's no answer. I'm going to run an atmospheric check now. Breathable. Is anybody there? Can anybody hear me? We're here to help you. Who's there? Thanks for coming, Blade. I knew that you would. Dang, impossible. Surprised? I imagine you are. You probably thought you had finished me, didn't you, Blade? Well, I'm afraid you were wrong. So there are no survivors, are there? Maybe. But I wouldn't count on it. Especially after I get rid of you. What is it, Star? Is Blade all right? Has he found any trace of the survivors? His transmission is breaking up. It sounds like he's having a conversation with someone down there. But about what? It was you who sent the SOS, wasn't it? Why, naturally, it was by far the easiest way to get you here, after all. 
But you won't be here for long, Blade. Dagger, no! You see the ruin of a face you left me? Now you shall pay for it. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Trendo power! It's not working! Oh no, it was a trap! There weren't really any survivors! It's Dagger! The Venomoid Techno Man? He's with Blade? Yes, he used that phony SOS to lure him here. But I thought Blade had destroyed that guy. Huh? I'm not certain what caused it, but I think that it happened after Blade tried to transform. <laughs> it's no use, Blade. I've planted spectrum disruptor crystals all around us, which, as you see, render your crystal quite useless. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> I beat Finally, you're mine. But don't think it's all over yet, Blade. I intend to make you suffer for what you've done to me. What is it, Star? Just before his signal cut out, it sounded like something was wrong with Blade, like... like he couldn't transform. What? How could that be? I don't know. Come on! Hey, where are you going? To find Blade, of course. What good is that going to do? But what if he... It's going to be all right. And you heard what he said. If he needs our help, he'll get in touch. Besides, there's a very good reason for our staying right here on the ship. It's the best chance we've got of making sure that we all get out of this thing alive. <laughs> Spectrum Disruptor Crystals. They're all over the space station. I'm going outside. No, don't! Negative. Return to the ship. Now! I'll be all right once I transform. But first, I've got to get outside the hull and away from these crystals. That's the only way I have a chance of taking out Dagger. Huh? Now I've got you! Ah! Put me down! You're going down, all right. For good. For humiliating me and for betraying Darkhawk. His comlink signal just disappeared. All right, that's it. Let's move. No, not without him. Didn't you hear what Blade said? He said he could fight if he could get outside the outer shell of the orbital station. Get a fix on his last coordinates. And we'll use a few blasts from the laser cannon to help him get where he wants to go. Fire all thrusters. <laughs> Taking a break so soon, Blade? Yeah. Time to say goodbye, old friend. A report from the Blue Earth, sir. It was a phony distress signal. There are no survivors. Blade is trapped inside the ring with one of Darkon's techno men. What? Blade, I hope he's all right. Disruptor crystals are everywhere. Oh, great. He's headed for the airlock, just as planned. 
Blake, do you read me? Come in, come in! I wonder why he's not answering anymore. Huh? What's that, Ringo? Aim the analyzer at those beams. What do you got for a reading? Analyzer indicates it's a kind of power scrambler beam. What? The same as inside? So even if he gets outside the station, he won't be able to transform. That thing has got to be destroyed or Blade doesn't have a chance. Let's do it. The airlock. This thing still works. So far, so good. This is great. Now we've got spider crabs. Ringo, Blade's still not responding. The transmitter must have gotten knocked out. Hey, we've got enough to worry about without worrying about Blade. He'll be all right. Don't you see? He's going to try to get outside the station in order to be able to transform. If we don't knock out that disruptor beam, he won't survive. Oh. Hurry up, airlock. Come on. Out of my way. That door is not gonna hold for long. Hold on, Star! This is gonna be tight. I've set my trap well, Blade. Ah, ah. Goodbye, Blade. Betrayer. Hold on! Our main reactors are burning up! We're going in anyway! Yeah! The Blue Earth! Blade, you don't look so hot. Never mind that. Dagger's still out there. I've got to go back. Are you nuts? That's crazy. Ringo, turn the ship around. Now. I can't do that. The reactors are barely functioning. Hey, what's the matter with you? You expect me to sacrifice this ship so you can get one guy? But Besides, I... you're in no shape to fight. It's the crystal. It's damaged. Crystal, it's been shattered. It's useless. Without it, I can't transform into Techno Man. But you haven't beaten me yet, Dagger. I'll find a way to defeat you. You and Darkon. Somehow, I'll find a way. 
sensing the opportunity for quick and total victory, the Venomoid warlord Darkon gathers his army of ruthless spider crabs and sends them plunging toward the helpless planet below. Incoming! Incoming! They're everywhere! Those pop guns don't have a chance of stopping those things. The South and North Pacific fleets both report they're under attack and have heavy damages. The Far Eastern Command's been knocked out. The enemy's made landings and secured positions in almost every sector. Looks like this is the big one. Nothing we can do is stopping them. All our reserves are being pushed to the limit. The bottom of the ninth inning and we're sitting on the bench. It's no mystery why they picked this moment to strike when the cat's away, the mice will play. I never thought I'd say this, but we could sure use Blade's help right about now. Commander, I hold you responsible for the loss of the Technoman. It wouldn't have happened if you'd turned him over to me. I do accept the responsibility, but may I remind you that I am answerable only to civilian authority, not to you gentlemen of the military. Really? I wouldn't be so sure of that if I Sit were you. Sit down. It's still not too late. Give him to us and we still might be able to salvage him. My crew is quite capable of salvaging the Technoman. The Space Knights have a tradition of solving our own problems. Whatever we begin, we finish, gentlemen. Now, if you'll excuse me. Good morning, Commander. Good morning, Tina. How's work progressing on the Technobot? Well, sir, to be honest, Mac and Maggie have their hands full. It's a pretty tall order. It is indeed. Tell them to keep at it. We're under the gun on this one. <laughs> I've managed to fuse the pieces of the emerald crystal back into a close approximation of its original structure. Now this schematic ought to show us what position Blade and the crystal should take in relation to each other in order to accomplish the transformation process. There you go. The computers designed the Technobot interlock chamber. Now the only thing left for you to do is go and build it. Finally, it's about time I got to have some fun around here. You're forgetting something. Oh, what's that? How can you build it without the plans? Oh, yeah. You've got a point now. Take it away! You've got to eat something. I'm not hungry. There's more to it than that. What's wrong, Blade? Just leave me alone. Forget about him. He's a loser. Let him starve if he wants. Who cares? I've always said the kid never had the stomach for a real fight. What are you talking about, Ringo? <sighs> you don't get it, do you? If I can't transform into Techno Man, I'm useless. Listen to him. He gets beaten one time and he's ready to pack it in. Get this through your head. They've taken away the only weapon I can use to fight them. Just imagine how you'd feel if it was the Blue Earth that had been destroyed. Hold on, mister. I won't let you just walk away. Oh, yeah? And just how are you going to stop me? <laughs> hey, what are you... You're coming with me. Oh. Take a look around, Blade. Have you any idea what all these people are doing? They've been working around the clock with no sleep. You know why? I'll give you one guess. Why not just tell me and save us both some time? Hmm? Hey, that's my crystal. By redirecting the crystal's polarity, we should get a reaction that ought... Not again! Rats! They're trying to find a way to help you turn into Technoman again. They're not giving up, even if you have. They know the battle's not over yet. You, Blade, stay right there! I'm on my way! I'm touched, but they're probably wasting their time. Oh, hi, Blade. Glad you're here. Oh, you too, Star. How's it going, Maggie? Fine, fine. Of course, we've got a few snags here and there. You're dealing with complex venomoid science. No offense, guys, but it's not something you learn overnight. Thank you, Mr. Wizard. We're not in the Stone Age, you know. This is what we do for a living. How close do you think you are to a breakthrough? Well, we haven't found the equation that will artificially induce the Technopod transformation process, but we're getting there, Blade. I know we are. I wish I could be so sure, man. You haven't much time. You should be concentrating on something that might work. You know, your attitude's starting to get on my nerves. Don't be so quick to count Maggie out. If anyone can decipher this avian gobbledygook, she can. The Technobot's the only chance we've got. Hang on, everyone. Here we go again. A few pieces of the crystal were lost, so I made synthetic fragments to take their place. Now here's where we find out if they'll hold. 
So far, so good. The synthetics are holding. Now here's the part where we've had some problems. The computer says this formula should redirect the crystal's polarity and start the transformation process. <laughs> Okay, keep your fingers crossed, everyone. If the computer's right, this should work. Oh, not again. Every time, the same thing. Oh, nothing works. Don't blame yourself. Even when these numbers add up, they don't add up. It's not your fault these stupid aliens figure that 2 plus 2 equals 5. We mustn't get discouraged. I won't give up now. It will work, Blade, I promise you. And you'll don your armor like some handsome knight of old defending the honor of his lady love. Jeez, Maggie, have a little self-respect. We'll make it work. Mag Maggie, keep working. The rest of you report to COM-1. Stand. <laughs> From the space ring orbiting high above the Earth, the invader resumes his attack, but now with new and deadly accuracy. I've got reports of precision air-to-surface strikes all across the map. I'm trying to determine if there's a pattern. Sir, someone's jamming my signal. Forgive this interruption of your communication, huh? but I have an old... It's coming from the space ring. Dagger. As you must know by now, you are helpless. But our warlord, Darkon, is merciful, and he offers you one last chance of survival. Hand over to us the Technoman known as Blade, and we will suspend the attack. He is a traitor and a renegade. Have him brought to the space ring by 1200 hours Earth time, or we'll renew our attack on your primary population centers. The Technoman is of no use to you now. Give him up, and your cities will be spared. Maybe it's just a bluff, huh? You don't have to bluff when you're the one holding all the cards. This guy's for real. Consider your response wisely. One Technoman in exchange for the survival of your species. You have until 1200 hours to decide. While the Space Knights consider his ultimatum, Dagger waits like a spider in his web, waiting for a fly. He will come, there's no doubt of that. All the powers of heaven and earth won't stop him from coming. And when he does, I will be waiting. How am I supposed to get any work done? It's like living in a constant fire drill around here. What's up? What is it now? Blade won't listen to reason. He insisted on flying to the space ring on his own. He what? How's he plan on getting there? The Blue Earth's nowhere near ready to launch. He doesn't need the Blue Earth. Hold on, what are you talking about? There's another kind of ship here in the command center? That's news to me. He's found an old decommissioned booster rocket that's been in mothballs for years. It's nothing more than a flying death trap. Blade, this is Commander Jameson. Kill your engines and abort your launch sequence at once. You heard him, Blade. You stupid kid. You're trying to be a hero. Remember, you're not a techno man anymore. I know that better than anyone, Ringo. That's why I'm going. Okay, so what's the point? You go up there and get your plug pulled. What then? One broken down ex techno man in exchange for millions of lies? It's a pretty good deal. Get serious. You don't believe these creeps are really going to stop the attack. Well, we know they won't stop if I don't go. Hey, it's worth a shot. Don't do it, kid. It's nuts. He's right, Blade. Systems go. Gantry doors open. Okay, let's see what this jalopy can do. So long, guys. It was fun while it lasted. It's all my fault Blade did this. If I'd only been smart enough to finish the Technobot, I... Maggie, pull yourself together and get back to work. We're not out of this game yet. He's right. The game ain't over until it's over. Yeah, good point. Whoa, so much for cutting-edge technology. Okay, computer, give me the answer I'm looking for. Here we go. Come on, baby, talk to Mama. Uh-oh, a welcoming committee. What's going on here? They're not attacking. They're letting me pass. Now, why don't I feel better about this? There's no logical explanation for this happening. It's not human error. It's almost like a glitch in the computer itself. That's impossible. 
Maggie, I found those data disks you wanted. Tina, watch out for those cables. Ah. Oh, no, the computer. Wait, the circuit board's rebooting. It's reanalyzing the data. Matt, when's the last time you serviced this thing? Well, I... Uh... Look, it's come up with the answer. Tina, you stumbled upon the solution, literally. I did? There's all you need to finish the Technobot. Get cracking, Matt. You've got it, lass. Meanwhile, far above, Blade approaches his rendezvous with destiny. Looks like nobody's home. Oops, no such luck. Greetings, Blade. I knew I could depend on you. Your audacity has always exceeded your intelligence. Yeah, yeah, sticks and stones. Oh, I have more than that. Fusion bomb. One tap on this trigger and we both end up space dust. The blue earth thunders into action. In its hold, it carries a payload on which the fate of the earth may very well depend. Be careful. Mac and I have put our hearts and souls into that technobot. So none of your reckless flying, Ringo, you cowboy. On the other hand, the clock's ticking, so no dawdling lap. Go slow, go fast, make up your minds. We're approaching the ring now. Where's your bomb now? You won't detonate it. Not as long as your simple mind tells you that you still have a chance of escaping with your life. Your instinct for survival is impressive, though rather annoying. But then we wouldn't want this to be too easy, would we? You may run, my friend, but you cannot hide. <laughs> I see him. They sent these clowns to make sure we don't crash their party. Well, I've never met a bouncer I couldn't wait. Hooah! Out of the way, boys. We're coming through. Blade? Ah, he's still with us, I see. Excellent. I so look forward to finishing this face to face. A pity this has to be the last time we meet. But without your techno powers, you frankly aren't much competition. Oh, yes, your little bomb I'd almost forgotten. Well, then, the only question left is Do you have the courage to detonate it? Anything to shut you up, Dagger. Very well, I'm willing to pay that price. If it means eliminating you. but do you really think this thing's gonna work? Well, I suppose there's only one way to find out. Good luck out there, Blade. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Ringo. And the same to you, buddy. What? Technobot, power on! It's over here. Open the interlock chamber!
do you know? It worked. All right, Dagger. Let's play ball. No, it can't be. You're a techno man again. But how? Your crystal was shattered. Amazing what they can do with shattered crystals nowadays, isn't it? I'd love to stop and play with you, Crab Cakes, but I've got bigger fish to fry. Very well, then. Techno man against techno man. A battle to the finish. Got that right. Say goodbye. I'll get you for this blade! He blew up good. Nice work, Blade. Thanks, Ringo. But I've got a feeling the battle has just begun. Concern is justified, for at that moment, deep below the surface, on the dark side of the moon, Dagger has failed, but he shall be replaced by a more powerful techno man who shall crush the traitor's blade like an insect. <laughs> the weary people of war-torn Earth try desperately to recuperate from the recent onslaught of denimoid attacks, aware that hovering above them is a dark force preparing to strike again. This is the tenth time this week. They just keep hitting us. When they run out of energy, they recharge and hit us again. I shudder to think what'll happen if this keeps up. Yes, sir. At least our major military installations are underground and we're protected, but I'm sure that's no solace for the civilians above ground. And you know how that makes us look when we can't protect them from an alien attack. But, General, there's one thing to be grateful for. The aliens rarely come down to the planet's surface because they know they'll have to deal with Technoman. Technoman. Because of him, the aliens have switched over to laser attack. If anything, he's made it more difficult to do battle with them. Now we're just a bunch of sitting ducks. We have no way to stop them. Sir, we could ask the Space Knights to destroy the lasers. Hmm, sir? If I only knew the secret of Technoman's power, things would be different. Yes, sir. I think I just might know a way. Balzac. He'll find what we're looking for. Is this the headquarters of the famous Space Knights? I've got an appointment with them. This is a level four security area. I've got to see your clearance papers to know who gave you your authorization. That guy right behind you. What guy? Sucker. Huh? Come back here! Authorized personnel only. Hey, keys. Ah! Keep typing it, my lad. We're just about there. Hey there, Blade. Is everything operational with your field control system? Yeah, and I sure hope it stays that way. What do you mean it'll hold up? I built it, didn't I? You know something, Blade. We're a team. It'd be nice if once in a while you had a little faith in your teammates. Hmm. Hey there, Maggie. What are you working on? Well, team, I'm attempting to reprogram the Technobot's movement response gyros, and I think I've got it licked. Last time Blade was in combat, he said the Technobot's response time was slow, and the visual acuity circuit needs work. Oh. Good afternoon, ladies. Who are you, and how'd you get in here? Actually, I happen to be here on assignment. I'm sorry if I startled you two lovely ladies. Oh, don't worry, it was nothing. We just weren't expecting anyone. Hey, you, Blondie, what are you doing in here? Now calm down, Mac, he's on assignment. Well, nobody told me about it. This area is off limits except for Space Knights. I want some answers, Blondie, and I want them now. Start talking. Oh, Mac, be nice. I'll talk. 
Just put me down, will you, buddy? If you want to remain healthy, you better tell me. Attention all space knights. Attention all space knights. Report to Central Communications immediately. You're not off the hook yet. Hey, wait for me. All right now, Blondie, you're going to tell me who you are and what you're doing here. In time. The greatest threat to our planet and its people are the alien laser beams. The military has asked that the Space Knights help them in their efforts to smash the laser satellites linked with the orbital ring. This request comes directly from General Galt. Yeah, sure. Whenever they can't get it right, they call us in to help them out. Let's try and remember that we're all fighting for the same thing. I know. It just seems like we get all the dirty work. Perhaps. Besides, asking them for a favor is like talking to a stone wall. Maybe. But you'd be better off worrying about those people that got hurt from the lasers and Instead of your disdain for the military, we have to take the lasers out, that we know. But sir, there are lots of them. How can we destroy them all by ourselves? This computer simulation shows there are 35 laser satellites in geosynchronous orbit around the Earth. If we tried to knock out each satellite one by one, it would take us months. By that time, Earth would be destroyed. <sighs> In order to avoid that gruesome fate, we need to somehow reprogram the laser's main computers and render them inoperative. Why don't we destroy the computer and be done with it? I'm afraid we can't do that. For what reason? If the computer is destroyed, its failsafe backup system becomes activated, which means all the satellites will fire their lasers simultaneously. And I don't need to tell you what that would do to our planet. <sighs> Guess we'll have to reprogram the computer. Exactly. Star, I want you and Maggie to design an alternate program. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, and a reporter's been assigned to us. Reporter? What reporter? That's me. Who are you? The name's Balzac. I'm a war correspondent, and I'm here to do a story on you space nights. Everybody wants to hear about you since you're in the middle of the action. They do? A war correspondent? Now I've heard everything. Whoever thought of this idea better think again. I hate to break it to you, but I'm here to stay. You're my assignment, so I'll be sticking to you guys like flypaper 24 hours a day. I can't believe this. Commander, I don't think it's a good idea to take a reporter to the war zone. This is another mandate from the military. They say it's to give hope to the people of the planet by telling them all about Blade and his fight against the Venomoids, and this comes directly from General Gaul. Figures. Yep, and you'd be wise to remember that. If I'm not mistaken, you're the one they call Technoman, right? Yeah, what's it to you? Rumor has it you can't remember anything about your past. Now, why don't you tell me the real story? You know something? That sounds like a question out of a scandal sheet, not a question from some war correspondent. Ouch. I'm gonna have to watch my step around you. Indeed you will, for you are here strictly as an observer. Understand this, I will only allow you to stay here under one condition. You are not to interfere with any of the Space Knights, especially during their maneuvers. Do we understand each other? Of course, Commander. Just want to do my job, like we all do. Very well. The operation will commence at 1100 hours today. Get moving. Yes, yes sir. sir. Prepare for liftoff. Systems are online. Hold on. We're taking this baby up. Full thrusters. I'm not doing anything. I'm just taking pictures of your Technobot. Just don't touch anything. Blade, let me ask you something. Can anyone who enters the Technobot transform into Technoman? Come on, man, you can tell me. Only I can use the Technobot. Well, what's the mystery? Why are you the only one who can transform? What is it about the Techno process that you're hiding from us? The Venomoids have their own Technoman. 
Now, I'm not implying that you're working for them, but I do think it's strange that you're the only human with that ability. In fact, if someone didn't know any better, they'd probably think that you were some kind of traitor. Okay, that's it. How dare you say that to me? You don't know anything. I'm doing everything I can to save this planet, and that's all you need to know. Calm down. I didn't say I think you're a traitor, but a journalist covers all the angles. It's my job to find out if you're hiding something. For example, you claim to have had a total loss of memory. Hmm? Seems awfully convenient. Are you sure you're not concealing something? They started up again. Don't these guys ever take a coffee break? Hold on, folks. They've sent out a welcoming committee. Wait, we could use Techno Man about now. Right. Techno Man, power on! Affirmative. All right. It seems I can't get the answers I want from you directly, so I'm just going to have to figure out the secret myself. By using the Technobot to amplify the power of his shattered crystal, Blade is able to undergo his amazing metamorphosis once again. His human body is imbued with superhuman powers, encased in impenetrable armor, and enhanced with quantum energy weapons. Once again, Blade is transformed into Technoman. You got it. Almost there. Great. Head for that overhead hatch. Maybe that's not such a hot idea. Oh no! What do we do now? Good question. 
question. Suggestions are welcome. I'll say one thing to this guy. He sure knows how to make an entrance. Blade, it is so good to see you. You guys okay? We're better now. Let's do it. Blade, follow us. Right behind. The main computer operating the lasers is right down this corridor. According to my calculations, it should be right behind this door. Can you get us through? Just about got it. There. This blob controls the computers? Look out! Stay down! Don't destroy it! Remember what Commander Jameson said! If the computer's destroyed, its backup system becomes activated. All the satellites will fire their lasers simultaneously. Technobot, target dead ahead. Secure and hold. Affirmative. Go on, take care of business. He's got a job to do, and so do we. Let's go. Right. I'm almost done. Yeah. Oh no! They set off their backup system! Star, can you disarm the lasers? I'll try. did it. I'm just glad you did. Me too. Pretty impressive. For a reporter, you seem to know an awful lot about computers. Who are you really, Balzac? I told you, I'm a reporter. I just happen to be good at computers. This is Balzac. It was a good thing I went along with the Space Knights on an assignment tonight. As it turned out, the Earth was spared another laser shower thanks to my computer expertise. Unfortunately... I haven't found out the secret of Technoman's power, but it's only a matter of time. This old boat seems to be sustaining a lot more damage since you joined the crew plane. She seems to be spending most of her time in the shop now. Ah, uh, stop complaining, Mac. We've all got a job to do. Hey, don't get me wrong, Landy. I like it. I wouldn't want it any other way. The only chance me and the old Blue Earth get to spend any time together is when she's down here in Dry Dock. Attention! Attention, Space Knights! Report on the double to Com 1 for a briefing from Command. Not again, that man's got more briefings than the sun's got spots. Out of the way, Balzac. Coming through. Pardon us. Hey, where's the meltdown? Watch out! Don't you know enough to clear the corridor during an alert? Sorry, next time I'll scrunch into a little ball and bounce out of the way. What's the flying parade all about? That is the convoy from Io, one of Jupiter's moons. Twelve beta transports carrying supplies vital to our defense. Food, metal ore, and something that may prove even more valuable. Wait, Commander, those are betas out there? Those ships are designed for docking at the orbital space ring, not for coming down and landing on the planet. If those ships try a belly landing on Earth, we could end up with a crater big enough for the moon and then some. Unfortunately, Mac, we haven't any choice now. 
They took off from their development base on Io before the space ring was occupied by the invaders. We informed them of the risk they were running, but they decided to proceed regardless. Not surprising, considering the convoy is commanded by Dr. Silas Random, one of the most determined and courageous men I've ever known. Sir, exactly how are the Space Knights involved in this? People, your orders for this mission have been issued by the President himself. Rendezvous with the convoy and secure its cargo at all costs. In fact, your only objective is to see that those supplies make it down to the planet. Your lives and the lives of the transport crews are to be considered expendable. Kamikaze mission. Terrific. Star, signal the convoy our rendezvous point in the asteroid belt. And please, don't forget to transmit in some kind of code. I prefer not to have any spider crabs showing up to crash our party. That's something I could live without. Got it? Ringo, if I didn't know better, I'd say you were nervous. Convoy's responding, but on an open channel, and they're not transmitting in code. What? Look at that thrust. She's purring like a kitten. Well, I have to admit, I didn't know she had it in her. Silas, you always were one for lost causes, weren't you, my old friend? Lonelier and more hopeless, the better. Gentlemen, I have come here one last time to beg you to vote this plan down. If you vote to establish this Allied military command, the generals will be answerable to no one. They'll be free to deplete the Earth's resources to fuel their war machines. The environmental destruction of the planet will accelerate. Gentlemen, I ask you, if we give these military men what they want, what sort of planet will we be left with? What is the point of having a strong army to defend our world if it's been turned into a lifeless ball of dust? Spoken like a true man of science, Dr. Random. Very eloquent, very profound, but unfortunately without any basis in reality, whatever. And a waste of time, like a blathering on when the question's already been decided. What do you mean? Sorry, Dr. Random. I really should have mentioned it before. The Council already voted on the military's proposal. It was approved overwhelmingly. And having accomplished that, this Council's duties are hereby at an end. Lieutenant Jameson? No! Wait! Listen to me! You men are condemning your own planet to extinction! You're committing suicide! Jameson, even you... forget that look in your eyes, as if we'd all betrayed you, a betrayal so deep it drove you to abandon everything, even your own planet. on my screen. How about you, Star? Your screen clear, too? Yeah. Great. Guess they didn't pick up the convoy's uncoded signal. Looks like we left out. They must have been tuning into the salsa station. Very funny. From all I've heard of Dr. Random, he's not the type to make mistakes like that. Hmm? If you ask me, it's almost like he wants them to hear what we're up to. Secure. The name's Ringo, sir. Pleased to meet you. I'm Star. 
Blake. Uh, this is Blake, Doctor. Don't mind him. He's kind of new to the team, and his manners aren't quite the best. <laughs> well, not being a military man, I prefer a handshake to a salute. I hope you don't mind. Welcome. Am I right in assuming you're the only one on board, sir? Yes, completely alone. Each one of these transports is being piloted by a crew of one. But don't look so worried. That doesn't mean you won't be well looked after. For instance, how about a nice hot cup of tea? I'm sorry I had to transmit on an open channel. I know it's risky. That's putting it mildly, Doctor. Oh, well, couldn't be helped, I'm afraid. We've been having radio trouble. You see, since passing through the Van Allen belt, we lost the use of our coded frequencies. The Van Allen belt, huh? On every radio in the convoy? Yes, strangely enough. Though we cultivated these plants on Io, they should thrive on Earth. In time, they'll produce enough to feed millions of people. What's in that weird container up there? That is the Doomsday device. A little surprise we developed in our laboratory. A surprise? For the Venomoids or us? It could prove of major significance in winning this war. The commander hinted you had something big on board. What is it exactly? For obvious reasons, it's classified. You'll just have to trust me on this one, guys. Convoy 1 to all transports. Remember, I have the D-Device aboard. Should we meet the enemy, it is essential that this ship get through. I sure wish he'd stop transmitting on an open channel. His radio's damaged. He has no choice. I don't know. Something about this random guy strikes me funny. He's way too calm and collected for my taste. I'm not nuts about tea either, come to think of it. Is that what you base your suspicions on? And this D-Device. If this gizmo's so darn important, how come we've never even been briefed on it, huh? I mean, come to Help think me of... Help me out, getting paranoid again. I'm not so sure he is. <laughs> well, what a surprise. They found us. Get to the hangar. We've got to launch the Blue Earth. Open the doors, Doc. We're out of here. So many of them. Good. It's working. Because it looks like everybody in his aunt for duties out there. Technobots, power on! Starter. Open the interlock chamber! ships on the moon. The D device has got to get through. What sort of game is Random playing? He's breaking formation. I'm going after him. Don't even think of it. Maintain your position or Blade will be overwhelmed. But sir... Negative. Let me worry about Dr. Random. This is a code of frequency. I'm surprised you're able to receive it. Our radio seemed to be working fine now. One of the explosions must have jogged the circuits. You can't fool me, Silas. I know what you're up to, and I must say I'm glad to see you helping the Allied Command again. What? You must be mad if you believe I'm doing this for that bunch of militaristic megalomaniacs. Tell me why, then. You don't have to wear a uniform to be a patriot, Jameson. I'm doing this for the Earth. <laughs> Dr. Random, are you all right? 
No, Blade. I'm very far from all right. I'll have you out of here in no time, sir. Don't bother. Too late for that. But there is something that you must do. You've got to pilot this transport and make sure she gets through the Earth's atmosphere. The friction of re-entry will set off an explosive device I've planted on board her. Destroying the ship and all the spider crabs along with it. All of them's being very optimistic, but at least a good number. You'll have to admit my little invitation seems to have provoked quite a response. So all that talk about a D device was just bait to lure them to you. I wanted to be sure the convoy got through safely, so you sacrificed yourself. I want you to have this. I'm tired. So tired. Doctor! Poor Dr. Random. I just think you suspected him of being up to no good. Okay, I was wrong about him, and I'm sure I'll feel rotten about it tomorrow, but right now we've got a convoy to protect. It's shields going up and Blake's still on board. Except for one. Dr. Random ship. Did anyone see Blade? He got off in time, right? Stop panicking, Maggie. I'm sure he's all right. Which is more than I can say for Dr. Random. Meanwhile, at the landing point, a detachment of troops from the Allied Military Command scour the heavens with anxious eyes. There they are, sir. At 10 o'clock. And they've got an escort. I think it's the Blue Earth. Sergeant, have everyone standing by and ready to unload those transports. Yes, sir. The convoy ought to be touching down in about 60 seconds. Mac, why haven't we had any word from Blade? Where is he? Now, Lassie, calm down. Will he's all right or not? There's nothing we can do about it. Just keep your fingers crossed and hope for the very best. Oh, Mac, if he doesn't come back, I'll, I'll never forgive him. It worked, Commander. The convoy is safe. The water cushioned their landing. With military precision, the troops begin unloading the transports of their precious cargo. Food for the hungry, equipment for the devastated factories of Earth, and those brave crew members injured in the descent. All the while, the Space Knights wait anxiously for some sign of their missing comrade. I gotta believe he made it. That kid's indestructible. Uh -huh. The Technobot! Compliments on a job well done. I've just spoken with military command and they're very satisfied with the results. Enough of the supplies got through all right? Yes, indeed. Losses were minimal. Some damage here and there, but considerably less than expected. All in all, the whole operation went off much better than we could have expected. And casualties, Captain, how many were there? Nothing to speak of. One man on the critical list, but that's about it. Only one man in the hospital. We might have had a lot more. Uh, Hold on. Hey, what do you think you're doing? What'd you hit me for? No big deal, huh? Blade, what's wrong? That was one man too many. Space ring orbiting the Earth. The military's toughest commandos have been sent on a special mission. Fire flares!
more where they came from. We've got 10 more sections to secure. Now move out! Uh -oh. Our commandos are now engaging the enemy. It's a top priority mission. They've got to fight their way through the aliens to the hangar section. That's where the ultra speed attack fighters are docked. And once they get there, what then, Commander? The answer's obvious, Ringo. They'll fly him back to Earth if they can. Don't tell me. The military brass has asked for Technoman's help again, right? Mm hmm. I won't order you to go up there. It'll have to be your decision. What has the military ever done for us, sir? Hmm? They treat the Space Knights like dirt until they need help. Oh, I'll do it. Because of the men up there, not because I was ordered to. I think what happened to the convoy fleet commander really shook him up. He's held a grudge against the leaders of the Allied military forces ever since. You ask me, what he said made a lot of sense. He'll get over it sooner or later. Well, I got a feeling it's gonna take a while. Terrific, that's it, go move. Yeah, that's perfect. Wait, have the robot put his arm down. It'll look better that way. Technobot, left hand down. Roger. Wow. Whoever designed that thing's artificial intelligence circuitry really knew what they were doing. That whoever just happens to be yours truly, I not only designed his internal circuitry, but his alloy armor, general configuration, and weapon systems as well. And the article I'm writing is gonna say just that. I'll tell the world about you. You're gonna be famous, Maggie. Oh, golly, you mean like a movie star? <laughs> sure, and I'll be your director. And my first direction is for you to stand clear of the launch pad. Come on, before we turn it into french fries. It's time, let's do it. All systems are at optimum. We should be in free fall in about 30 seconds. I can hold her steady with the secondaries. Won't the vibration shake us apart? Your guess is as good as mine, Star. It's too risky. Get back to the base. I'll complete this mission alone. Since when are you giving the orders? On the other hand, if we went back, I could have dinner with that little honey from Section D who said she. Very funny. Listen, Star Blade's right. The ship is almost unnavigable. Besides, Blade doesn't need any help. Don't forget, Techno Man is a superhero who can do it all by himself. Spare me the attitude, Ringo. I don't have the time right now. The second I'm clear of the ship, break contact and get back to the base as quickly as you can. Understood. Best of luck, Blade. Be careful out there. Thanks. Technobot! Power on! Affirmative. Be a lucky day, boys. They sent us a real-life superhero. My name's O'Rourke, Captain, Special Forces. This mission's under my command. What's with the 10-ton metal man? Is he a friend of yours? I am Technobot. Huh? I am under Blades Command. 
a robot with a sense of loyalty. Now I've seen everything. Except for you, Techno Man. All I've seen so far is your tin suit. <laughs> one of the Space Knights, and I have been assigned to assist you in carrying out your mission, sir. Ah, oh, yes, the Space Knights. We've been hearing a lot about your lads the past few weeks. And your leader, Commander Jameson. From what I've heard, he dislikes General Galt almost as much as I do. Uh, where are the other two members of your unit? I thought the Space Knights always worked as a team. I'm completing the mission without them. The Blue Earth was badly damaged by the spider craft, so they flew her back to the command center. We'll complete this mission without any help from you, superhero. You're wrong. Listen, my young friend, this is the most highly trained bunch of commandos in the army. We've never needed anyone's help before, and we don't now. Am I right, lads? Listen, O'Rourke, I don't care how good they are. Your men will never get those ships out of here and back to Earth without the help of techno power. Is that so? Mm-hmm. All right, consider yourself a member of the squad. But I think you'll be wanting a little nap before we go. Why is that? You ever heard of a graviton field? Graviton field? Nope. <clears throat> um, what's a graviton field? Ugh. We've had one on you ever since you walked in here. Have a nice sleep, son. Techno about that. It's too impersonal. A robot that can think and talk isn't just a machine. What you need is a name. And since you fly, from now on your name is Pegasus. This name, Pegasus, what does it signify? It's short for Pegasus, a horse who had wings. I approve this name. I am Pegasus. So, you talk. Can you sing? What is sing? Old soldier boy, you leave your home and heart. Huh? Hey, what's going on here? What's the story, O'Rourke? I'll say one thing for you, lad. You've got one heck of a constitution. To my knowledge, there's never been anyone subjected to a graviton field who's regained consciousness in less than three hours. Why'd you knock me out? I'm here to help you. Because O'Rourke's raiders don't depend on anyone but each other, son. But since you and Pegasus are here, I suppose I have no choice in the matter. I came here alone. I don't know anyone named Pegasus. You know him better than anyone. Isn't that right, Pegasus? Affirmative. Better suit up, lad. We've got company. Right. Technobot! I am Pegasus. Sorry, my mistake. All right, then. Pegasus! Power on!
want you to know that I consider it an honor to have fought alongside you, sir. Your men are disciplined and courageous fighters. I can see now why you've successfully completed so many missions. You call this mission a success, do you? Well, I'm sure the military brass back on Earth would agree with you. Because all they care about is the bottom line. Ratios and results. Ratios and results? I'm afraid I don't follow you, sir. I lost three men today. Three fine young men whose families won't ever see them again. Of course, we decimated the enemy and gained our objective, so militarily we're a success. But do you think those three families feel the same way? War isn't numbers, it's people. Don't ever forget that, Blade. You did your best, sir. And in spite of what happened, I think you are a success as a person and as a man. Thanks. <laughs> and thanks for listening to the ramblings of an old soldier who's feeling a bit sorry for himself. Looks like they've sent in reinforcements. Get going, Captain. This mission isn't over yet. We still gotta get the fighters back to Earth. On my way. Best of luck. Number two and number three, go! Yeah! Now give me all the power you got! gave up and went home. So now all you lads have got to do is get these flashy flying machines back where they belong without running into the side of the mountain. Think you can manage that? <laughs> Old soldier boy, you leave your home and heart today. The last you love, leave weeping down the There is no joy when sweethearts roam so far. Bot's speaking voice is bad enough, but his singing's worse than an off-key bagpiper accompanied by a chainsaw. Don't call him Technobot anymore, he prefers Pegasus. You know, I could delete the song from his memory, but to tell you the truth, I kind of like it. As far as I'm concerned, he can sing whatever he wants to. He learned that song from a great guy. Captain O'Rourke's a fine soldier. It's too bad we don't have more like him. You've never respected anyone who was in the military line. What's so different about this guy? Kinda hard to explain, Mac. You had to be there. Welcome home, Blade. And congratulations. You did a terrific job up there today. Jameson wants to see you on the double. The military might need you to give him a hand on another mission. I'm ready. Strange, knowing how Blade feels about working with the military. I was sure he'd be ticked off. Where Blade's concerned, you can't be sure of anything. The bold young soldier boy who goes to war. Watch your search. Intelligence has found an area where the aliens are vulnerable. These four generators, spaced at an equal distance along the outer rim of the orbiting space ring, represent targets which can help us reclaim our space station. If these are successfully destroyed, it will completely stop all power in the space ring. This would include the pupation chambers in their spawning area. Without power, they cannot breed more warriors. Our plan of attack? Code name, Ace High. It begins with a feint on two fronts. 
The core of the space ring will be subjected to an obvious attack by groups Queen and King. They will mount an assault on the Benamoid command pod. Queen group will attack from space, and King group will strike from inside the space ring itself. While our enemy is distracted, a third group will hit the generators. Though this action is in fact only a diversionary tactic, we're going to have to make as strong an effort as we can. This third group is a fighter squadron called Winning Hand. Do you really think this will work? Certainly. I know it will. With Queen topside and King's infantry working below, the Venomoid effort will be directed toward protecting their command pod. Timing is absolutely critical to this operation. If any one element fails, it will be fatal to all. King and Queen squads must provide Winning Hand with the time they need, for once their power source has been destroyed, the Spider Crab Warriors will be unable to reach maturity. With zero reproduction, the end is inevitable. It's only a matter of time. We can just sit back and wait until the Earth is safely ours again. Our course of action is clear, and we have no time to waste. Now then, Commander Jameson is responsible for mustering manpower for the diversionary actions. So my people are expendable. What about your Techno-Man? I thought he's supposed to be a match for anything the Venomoids come up with. Maybe. Maybe isn't good enough. If he fails to carry out his assignment, I'll hold you responsible. All right, you Jaybirds, let's knock off the gab and listen up. We've got a lot of territory to cover before launch time. Likes to talk, doesn't he? He's got a lot to talk about. He was brilliant in school. He could have done anything, but he joined the Space Knights. Make sure you got your head on straight. Axial rotation of the I Space remember this Ring is 20 years ago, last time I was up there. Hey, Pop, you mind? This is important. I know. The axial rotation of the Space Ring is what makes the artificial gravity. In the outer rings, you'll feel heavy. Yeah. So, you were up there 20 years ago, huh? I don't suppose there's anything else you'd like to share with us. Sure. Uh-oh. Son, I am not as sleepy as I look. When you're going into action where you've never been before, it's best to listen to those who have. Any pilots here? Uh, yes, me. I'm fully qualified. Yeah, as a pilot, I mean. <laughs> hey, what are you guys laughing at? I'm just as good as you are. Probably even better. Yeah, in your dreams. <laughs> he may be young, but he's as good as he says he is. He aced every simulation we threw at him. Good, but this isn't going to be a simulation on our video screen. It's the real thing. I know just how real it is. No one's going to keep me out of this fight. Son, you've got guts. Me, I respect that. Yes, sir. But just having guts isn't enough. We've also got to use our heads and think about what we're doing when we're up there. There's a job to do, and we're the ones to do it. Now, are you with me, man? Yeah! <laughs> You'll be primarily a diversionary force. It won't be easy, but it's crucial to the overall attack. No problem, piece of cake. We're gonna have to get them to concentrate their defenses on us. I'm a lot better at real fighting than this diversionary stuff. Hey, listen, Hotshot. If you want to be a cowboy, you'll have to get that techno body yours a saddle. Hmm? <laughs>
coming in, sir. King Squad. General King Squad is now in the elevator shaft. Lower ring, level four. They've been discovered, sir. The enemies found them. They're under attack. Son, now the life support systems. We've got passengers to think of back there. All systems are optimal, and all troopers are secured in acceleration seats. Good. And now comes the part that's really tough. Oh, what do you mean, sir? Waiting, son. Waiting. Just stay calm and concentrate. Right. Is everything going according to plan? Sir, they've engaged the enemy sooner than expected. They're moving forward ahead of schedule. And where's Green Squad? Undetected and in position, sir. Good. Notify Winning Hand to stand by. Winning Hand, Winning Hand, stand by for launch instructions. Wow, this is it. Act like a pro, son. Yes, sir. Like a pro. Diamond leader standing by for launch. Ready, son? Take us up. Diamond. Park. Glove. Spade. Systems are go and all ships A-OK. -okay. Winning hands away, sir. Long range sensors indicate Queen Squad now engaging the enemy. Establishing visual comm link in three, two, one. This is Queen Leader. We are within one minute of the orbital ring. Quite a sight, huh, guys? All right, let's go to work. Queen Leader here. We've reached the orbital ring and are beginning Operation Joker. Pegasus! to command center. This is Diamond Lee. We are landing on the space ring. Mm, good. Nice job. Listen here, son. Professional all the way. Gee, do you really think so, sir? My father'd be awful proud. Go check our passengers. Now, move it. 
Diamond, report. Diamond here. All safe. Ship and crew. Everything's A-OK. -okay. How you doing, Lily? Fine. I landed the ship. Myself. Hey, that's great. Way to go. Lieutenant, where is that report from Winning Hand? Right. Keep up the good work. Gotta go now. Winning Hand in position, General. What's the status of King and Queen? King has cleared the main shaft with Queen approaching from... Code Red message coming in, sir. Command Center, this is King Leader. We must retreat. I repeat, we must retreat. We can't hold on. You will hold on. You must hold on. So you want to dance, huh? Ah! to see you have an open mind. Command, we've got two charges to go. We should be done inside five minutes. Time for some spider grab on the half shell. But this yeah. guy needs some manicure. Yeah. She's armed and programmed, sir. Command, we've just placed our last charge. We're done. On the stage, the King's squad is being overrun by the Venomoids. We're gonna be wiped out. Command, Queen Squad is still on station. What's up? Status. Joker deadline is in 10 minutes. Command, we need help and we need it now. Hurry! Diamond Team, go and help them. This is Diamond Team. We're pinned down in this position. What are you saying? We've got to help them. They're trapped. Contact King Squad immediately. We've lost contact. We can't reach them, sir. We're doing everything we can to break through to them, sir. What's our current status? We're running out of time. Stand by, Queen Leader. What are your orders, sir? And Queen, you pick up King. We can't go. King. They've got us bottled up out here. We never get to him. Where's Blade? Still inside the ring. Hurry, Blade. Only six minutes to Joker. Command, Diamond Squad is done. Mission accomplished. We are out of here. Excellent. Move out.
There was no alien opposition to the landing, largely thanks to the Allied Military Command's recent assault on the Venomoids occupying our orbiting space ring. The man most responsible for that strategic masterstroke, General Xerxes Galt, had these comments today. There is absolutely no doubt that our attack on the space ring and the destruction of their power generators have dealt the enemy a crippling blow. This is by no means the end or even the beginning of the end of the invasion, but we can now see a light at the end of the tunnel. In short, the Allied Command has turned the tide of the battle. Typical. That pompous old windbag takes the credit when it was me and Blade who did the damage while he sat at home polishing that billiard ball he's got for a head. Hey, what did you expect? A victory parade or something? We're not doing this for brownie points. The convoy got through and we know it's mostly thanks to us. That's all the reward we can hope for. <laughs> for the first time in weeks, I feel like the pressure's off. At least for a while. What do you say, sir? Considering the situation, do you think you could allow us to stand down from general alert? We could all use the rest, I think. I couldn't agree more, Maggie. As of now, you're on shore leave, all of you. Shore leave? I can't believe it! First one since the invasion. Star, let's you and me go shop till we drop. Sounds like fun. Hold on. This isn't summer vacation. I want you all back here by 1,500 hours. Come on, Commander, have a heart. That's not enough time to even meet a girl, let alone find out her astrological sign and all that really other stuff. I think anyone would fall for that old line. What you sign? <laughs> hey, what's with Blade? Was it something I said? <laughs> Maybe he believes in astrology. Hey, kid, what's the matter? Don't you want to join him for some R&R? &R? Jeez, don't get bent out of shape. You just look like you could use a break, that's all. No offense, just trying to help. And so the happy crew descend to the city. But Tina is not the only one who's planned a shopping trip this afternoon. Look at everyone, Star. It's all so normal. It's kind of like another world, isn't it, Tina? You're telling me this place is so happy and peaceful you'd never have a clue there's a war going on and that the whole planet's fighting for its life. Until you looked up and see that thing, another one of those xenomorph spore plants. Hey, come on, we've got some serious shopping to do. Shopping, yeah! <laughs> Hey guys, I used to be pretty good at this game. Can I join you? Okay. Hey, not bad for an all right. <laughs> Think you bought enough stuff there, Tina? Sure, there's nothing else you want. Look who's talking. Yeah, we may have gone a little overboard. Wow, a store full of stuffed animals. Tina, grow up. Plenty of time for that later. Huh. Oh, sorry, my fault. Well, it certainly wasn't mine. Why don't you watch where you're going? Listen, you big grouch. I said I was sorry, didn't I? Tina? Maggie? I thought I recognized that voice. I should have known I'd bump into you in Star here, though. I didn't think it would be so literally. What brings you into a place like this? Oh, this store has always had the latest in hyper-technology. Fractal imagery scanners, metalogarithmic encryption decoders, you name it. Oh, fun. Uh, sorry about calling you a grouch. <laughs> That's all right. Huh? Blade? Hey, Blade! What is it? What's wrong, Star? Uh, Blade just went by. Huh? Blade? Here? I'm sure it was him, but he didn't even react when I called his name. Maybe he wanted to be alone. That last mission hit him pretty hard. You know, he comes off as the strong, silent type, but Blade's really very sensitive. Take a break, will ya? Relax, go get some fresh air. You mean go gallivanting around the city? No thanks, there's nothing for me down there. This is the first day off we've had in over two months. Why not take it easy for a while? Why are you pushing yourself so hard, lad? Guess it helps me take my mind off things. There's nothing wrong with that, but there's easier ways to do it, laddie.
No offense, Mac, but I have more fun watching an ice cap melt. What is it you're making anyway? Making a kite. A kite? Someday, when the war is over, I'm going to fill the sky with them. You want to try your hand at one of them? They're not as simple as they look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why not? That's the spirit, laddie. She was obviously nuts about me, but sometimes you just gotta say sorry, not available. Well, did you meet any girls, Blake? I don't know what you're talking about. Stop pretending you're Mr. All Work and No Play, because we're not buying you. We saw you shopping in the city. Huh? You were at the mall, right? I hate to disappoint you, Lass, but Blade was with me in my quarters all afternoon. Mm -hmm. We saw someone who looked just like you. Really amazing. He might have been your twin. You're sure you saw him clearly? He really looked like me. The spitting image. What is it, Blade? No, it can't be. How strange it is to be back. at once the identity of the stranger seen by the others earlier that day. The stranger who could be his twin, and whose familiar voice echoes insistently in his head, calling to him, forcing him to confront his own past, and the dark and deadly secrets buried deep in his clouded memory. Did you think you could forget me? That we would never meet again? Your place looks different somehow. I suppose it must be all these technopods growing everywhere. They are dormant now, but soon they will wake and bloom. And then no one, not even you, can prevent the conquest of Earth. You don't belong here anymore, Saber. Why have you come? I've just as much right to be here as you have. Stop playing games. What are you after? You won't like my mission very much. I've been sent to destroy a traitor. Meaning me, I suppose, because I won't let Darkon destroy this planet. Listen, you know as well as I do what Darkon is attempting is madness. On the contrary, I believe it's called survival of the fittest. That's not madness. It's just a fact of life, and you have to face it. You and me and all the other techno men come from this planet. These are our people you're helping him exterminate. You're a human being, Saber. Not anymore, I'm not. Huh? By allowing me to serve him, Darkon has shown me my true nature, and I have accepted it. On the other hand, you have not, and for that, you must be punished. Is that so? Much as it grieves me to have to be the one to do it to you, dear brother. Brother? Not anymore, I'm not. the games we used to play. Games like Cash! Come on, Pegas! Affirmative! Pegas, Technobot designed by Maggie and built by Maggie, amplifies the power of Blade's shattered pistol, thus allowing him to transform into Techno-Man. Pegasus also acts as Blade's transport, and when in battle mode, his fighting partner. Sir, the Technobot's been voice activated and launched. Hmm? That can only mean Blade's in some kind of bind. Well, what are we sitting around waiting for? An invitation? Commander? All right, but maintain radio contact at all times. I want to know where you are. Aye, aye, aye sir. sir. <laughs>
chase, Saber. Try taking on someone your own side. But you're the only one here. Comedy hour's over. Let's do it. My pleasure. Take it to Colton City. He must have landed. Whereabouts? Checking. Got a lock. Sector Z111. Right in the middle of all those Venomoid spore plants outside the city. What kind of a wild goose chase is he leading us on this time? Hang on. I'm bringing Pegasus' visual link up on the screen. Oh, no. You recognize him? You bet I recognize him. Get us there fast, Star. That guy's no joke. On our last mission, he took out half our assault force.
Right, I'm taking her down. Take it easy, Blade. You okay? You exceeded the time limit, didn't you? Ah! Who is that clown in the red suit, anyway? Sounds like you two have met before. What is this guy to you? Family. What do you mean, family? What's going on here? Blade? Blade! Adam, I found Blade's weak point. Neutralize him, destroy him, do what you will. But I want that renegade Technoman standing in my way no longer. As you wish, so it shall be, Master. You must also find a new source of energy to replace those generators destroyed by the humans. Accomplish these tasks and you will be rewarded. Fail, and my wrath shall be great. Never fear. There is an old earth saying, I'll kill two birds with one stone. You won't escape me next time, Blade. Strange, isn't it? To want to destroy your own brother? It seems unnatural. But unlike you, Blade, I have accepted Darkon as my master. And so you have become less a brother to me than the Venomoid hatchlings in the Technopods, who even now cry out the energy which the forces of Earth have deprived them of. isn't it? Why is it so special? I can't remember. It's as if it's a part of me, but I don't know why. He probably just gave some once to a girlfriend or something. Or maybe not. All quiet on the western, eastern, northern, and southern fronts. It's been days now since a perimeter observation post has reported any sign of venomoid activity. It's so peaceful, not a single pinger anywhere on the screen. It's peaceful, all right. So peaceful, it's boring, if you ask me. Speak for yourself, Ringo. You may prefer a spider crab attack, but me, I'll take boring any time, thank you very much. If they were attacking, at least we'd know what they were up to. All this quiet makes me nervous. It won't last long, take it from me. Those crab leg creepazoids are up to something. And the only one who knows what it might be isn't saying anything. It's nuts. How long are we supposed to keep working in the dark? It's not that I don't know about the scientific explanations and reasons for someone having amnesia, but I'm starting to think someone might know some things he doesn't want to tell us about. Hey, you are too much, Ringo. I can't believe you'd say that. Blade's doing everything he can to recover his memory, and we should be helping him, not trying... I'm all for helping him get his memory back. Why don't we try... Neutralize him, destroy him, do what you will. But I want that renegade Technoman standing in my way no longer. As you wish, so it shall be, Master. You must also find a new source of energy to replace those generators destroyed by the humans. Accomplish these tasks and you will be rewarded. Fail, and my wrath shall be great. Never fear. There is an old earth saying, I'll kill two birds with one stone. You won't escape me next time, Blade. Strange, isn't it? To want to destroy your own brother? It seems unnatural. But unlike you, Blade, I have accepted Darkon as my master. And so you have become less a brother to me than the Venomoid hatchlings in the Technopods, who even now cry out the energy which the forces of Earth have deprived them of. flower, isn't it? Why is it so special? I can't remember. It's as if it's a part of me, but I don't know why. He probably just gave some once to a girlfriend or something. Or maybe not. All quiet on the western, eastern, northern, and southern fronts. It's been days now since a perimeter observation post has reported any sign of venomoid activity. 
It's so peaceful, not a single pinger anywhere on the screen. It's peaceful, all right. So peaceful, it's boring, if you ask me. Speak for yourself, Ringo. You may prefer a spider crab attack, but me, I'll take boring any time, thank you very much. If they were attacking, at least we'd know what they were up to. All this quiet makes me nervous. It won't last long, take it from me. Those crab leg creepazoids are up to something. And the only one who knows what it might be isn't saying anything. It's nuts. How long are we supposed to keep working in the dark? It's not that I don't know about the scientific explanations and reasons for someone having amnesia, but I'm starting to think someone might know some things he doesn't want to tell us about. Hey, you are too much, Ringo. I can't believe you'd say that. Blade's doing everything he can to recover his memory, and we should be helping him, not trying... I'm all for helping him get his memory back. Why don't we try something like a bonk on the head with a pipe wrench? Stop it! Stop talking about him like he's not even in the room. Wait! Blade! Sometimes you can be such a jerk, Ringo, as if he didn't have enough problems without your riding him. Okay, okay, I was a bad boy, I'm sorry, but at least now that he's not in the room, can we talk about him like he's not in the room? Put a cork in it, Ringo. The poor guy! I'm gonna make sure he's okay. I'm pushed. Hey, how about a quick round of rollerball before you head home? What do you say? Nah, the wife's expecting me. You bachelors don't understand. So, tell me who he is. As a matter of fact, you've met him. I've met him? You mean it's somebody I already know? Tell me. Daddy! <laughs> oh, <laughs> CD. Well, has my little man behaved himself today? <laughs> oh, no. Surprised me. So I noticed. Who's Shara? <laughs> you said Shara just now when you saw me. Who is she? Do I remind you of her? <laughs> Maybe I was right about you buying flowers for someone. So, was she a girlfriend? Huh? Not quite. She was my sister. Really? I didn't know you had a sister. And I look like her? A little. Hard to say whether I'm flattered or not. Not having met her. Wait a minute, this means pieces of your memory are falling back into place. Are things getting clearer now? Not much. And I'm not sure that I want them to. What do you mean? Everyone wants to know where they've been and what they've done. Maybe I abandoned those memories for a reason. Maybe it's a mistake to try going back. A terrible mistake. I can't believe that. Huh? huh? Let's go. Right. They've concentrated their attack on one target, Cooper Nuclear Fusion Plant. They're not even trying to disguise their objective. The Venomoids are obviously desperate to secure a new source of energy since we managed to knock out their primary generators in our last assault. Yeah, but how are those guys able to collect the energy without zapping themselves to bits? I'll let Tina explain. The spider crabs can actually absorb energy into their bodies. Pretty efficiently, too. They've already drained the fusion plant of 20% of its power. So they suck up the energy and then carry it back home. Like bees bringing pollen to the hive. Isn't military command doing anything to stop these vampires? No way, there's too many of them. Sir? I want you to secure that power plant. Be ready to launch in ten minutes. Right. right. Whoa. Don't you just hate the way he's always ducking out of the room? Come on, Ringo. Yeah, yeah. As the Space Knights leap into action, a lone figure watches the destruction below. Calmly, coolly, 
as if all were going according to plan. What's keeping you, Blade? I'm waiting. Fifth Squad reporting. Our position has been completely overrun. We need reinforcements. And we need them fast! It's the Blue Earth! Thanks, guys! You were right, Blake. There's too many for the Army to handle. All their units have either been wiped out or pinned down without any hope of breaking free. That's no surprise, knowing the Army. They would know a foxhole from an open pit latrine. There he goes again. Power on! Affirmative. set this whole thing up just to get Blade to show his face. It was a trap? Oh, no, you don't. Blade will have to handle that guy while we take out the rest of the spider crabs. Right. It's just you and me in single combat. What a fitting way for our story to end. What do you mean? Joust? Kind of medieval, don't you think? <laughs> you are a space knight, aren't you? I thought you said it was just me! I lied! <laughs> This is pointless. You blast one of these monkeys and two more take its place. to erase your past, do you? Well, just look around you. Doesn't this place jog your memory? The lighthouse? The beach? The beach? But you can't catch me! already. Admit it, we could sure use Blade's help right about now, couldn't we? Well, I'm not
not saying I'd refuse it. Real big of you, Ringo. Oh, no. Take a look down there. They're glowing with energy. That means they'll be taking off soon. Then we gotta stop them before that happens. fight the memories, can you? The past comes flooding back on you. It weakens you while it makes me strong. That's the difference between you and me. The Amaryllis, our sister's favorite flower. How touched she'd be to know that your last thoughts were of her. Quiet! Leave her out of this. Ha! Perhaps I'll make a wreath out of them and lay it on your grave. Never! Look at them. They've sucked our energy. Now they're heading back to the space ring. All we can do is try to stop them. Wait, Ringo. Blade's been separated from the Technobot, and there's only three minutes left on his safety limit. As if we didn't have enough trouble. Forget the spider crabs for now. We've got to round up that Technobot. Right. Come here, Technobot. Here, boy. Here it is. Pegasus, disengage and follow us on the double.
<laughs> it worked. Your last ties to humanity have been snapped. You now serve Darkon. This is your true nature. This is your destiny. We are brothers once again. <laughs> just stands there. We still got to stop him somehow. Yeah. Come on, Blade. Wake up, pal. We gotta get out of that suit. Maybe I should just take the Blue Earth and ram you with it. I don't think so. Huh? Uh, Commander Jameson, I, I had no idea. It's not a good plan. We've got too much invested in the Blue Earth and you to waste it that way. Forget it, Ringo. Commander, is there any hope? There's always hope, but we need results. How do we get them? Obviously, a frontal attack won't work. We're not able to get through his armor and weaponry. But there's another possibility. What kind of a possibility? Getting a reading of his life support system. Learning what causes the 30-minute transformation limit. Then fixing it. in his transformation mode too long, General. I warned you of this 30-minute time limit some weeks ago. I don't care why it's happening. You're responsible for endangering the city. Everyone is working to bring Blade safely under control. I'm giving you the same 30-minute time limit. Half an hour? That's it, Jameson. After that, we'll deal with Technoman my way. We'll have to. By then, the city will be within range of his weapons. We've warned the residents to begin preparations for a total evacuation of the city. Once he reaches the urban area, the damage he could inflict is beyond calculation. We cannot allow Technoman to get near the city, so the following strategy is our fallback position. 
In this plan, if your team cannot take care of things, my crew will do it. We will use a quantum energy bomb. Huh? Oh, Blake. General Vault is gonna do what? He can't really mean it. Yeah. Well, Galt is just a... Ringo, now listen. If we can't bring Blade back to normal within the next 30 minutes, move the Blue Earth to a safe altitude and wait. What? What do you mean, move? No! Don't disconnect! Commander, wait! We've got half an hour to save him. Yeah, or what? Or we save ourselves when they drop the bomb. Let's do it. <clears throat> haven't noticed, pal. We've got a friend in trouble down there. See ya. And fire! City to save, and I don't feel like waiting anymore. Quantum energy bomb crew, stand by to fire! Prepare quantum energy missile to launch. Team leaders, check all systems. Warhead on. Launch complete release. Please save him. All goes according to plan. The Earth people will destroy Blade for us, or he will destroy them. I believe it's what humans call a win-win situation. Saber, are you certain that Blade will never regain his control and self-will? Who knows him better than I? No, he will never again be what he was. His treachery will be wiped away along with his memory. A brother knows. <laughs> afraid you're out of time. You have to leave now. But, now, sir... Star. Commander, look. We can't just leave Blade down there. Isn't there some way we can delay that countdown? You know what a quantum energy explosion will do. Yes. I'm well aware of what the weapon can do, but that is not your concern now. Mm -hmm. Now move out of the area. Aye, aye, aye sir. Launch control, fire! through that explosion. No! 
good. A techno suit protected blade, just as I thought it would. You're still here, son. I'll come back. Status on the Technobot. Just finishing up the last of the repairs now, sir. The final refit checkout should be done in 10 minutes, Commander. Tina, I've got a plan, but I am going to need your help. Yes? I want you to take a ship with a Technobot in it. And I want you to go talk to Blade. What? Commander, you simply cannot put her in danger like that. Don't you realize you're... Your Commander. Making command decisions for the good of this project and this planet. Tina has just the same rights and responsibilities as any soldier. This is a job only she can do. Yes, sir. Across this bridge and he's in the city. Oh, great. We can't stop him, Star. What are we going to do? It's Tina. Command Blue Earth, I'm about ready to land. Listen, I'm really scared. I know. Me too. Be brave. I'll, I'll try. Well, so long. Go get him.
Mike and Ringo. Blade, you okay? <laughs> Tina. She'll be fine, Blade. How are you doing? I tried to kill her! The space ring! I've got to get up there right now, and you're going to take me, understand? You're crazy! Your body can't take it! I've got to go! Please. All right. something to remember me by brother well brother I didn't think you had it in you guess I was wrong see you around sometime <laughs> Sorry I am. I wouldn't hurt you for the world. I owe you my life. Friends? Of course. Always. Now we know that Jameson's Techno Man can't be trusted. Keep your eyes open for anything that could help us build a case against him. I want you to report directly to me on a weekly basis. Yes, sir. Blade, your mask's about to come off.
personnel system. But that won't stop me. Looks like General Galt was right on the money. Jameson is hiding something, and not just from the military, but from his own team, which means whatever his secret is must be highly sensitive, classified information. Once the aliens intercept this open channel transmission, their attack will create a diversion that'll give me the time I need to find out what Jameson's hiding. Quadrant 48, Section A4. That'll do just fine, I think. By tomorrow, I'm out of here. Leaving tomorrow? But why? You just got here a few days ago. I finished the article about the Space Knights, and I'm being sent on another assignment. And I was just getting used to having you around. Couldn't you stay a little while longer? Hey, if it were up to me, I'd love to. But when you're in the Army, you've got to follow orders. Oh, listen, before I go, I wanted to give you these photos. Nice, huh? I think they're just great. Thank you, Balzac. You're right. These pictures are terrific. I almost look sort of <laughs> handsome in this one, don't you think? It's a shame you have to leave. I wanted you to be the one to take the pictures for my autobiography. I would have liked that. Now don't you worry, lass. I'll take them. Thanks, Mac. But a work of this stature needs the professional touch. No offense intended. Let me know when the paperback comes out. Very funny. Hey, guys, what's the news? I hope it's good for a change. Just the opposite. Balzac's leaving. Oh? Yeah, afraid so. First thing tomorrow. So, your article is finally done? Yes, and thanks for your cooperation. Especially you, Blade. You know, I don't think you took one picture of Blade. Why not take a couple before you leave? Just think of how great it'll make your family feel to see a photograph of their son as a space knight. Family? Blade? Wait! What's with that guy? You got me. <laughs> Easy Blade, I just wanted to ask you a few questions, that's all. What do you want to know? Is the Balzac profile ready? Yes, sir, got it right here. Give me everything you've got. Really? Yeah. So you mean after 30 minutes as Technoman, you have to change back? What if we could make one with no time limit? Huh? Make one? Not exactly. A Techno suit would be self-contained high-density mobile armor, equipped with Ultron weapons and an automatic navigational system. Really? Interested? <laughs> Why, when it's impossible? If we knew the power source of your Techno system, we could do it now. But you're the only one who knows how to use that power. So if anything happens to you and we lose Techno Man, we wouldn't have a chance of winning this war. What do you want, Balsack? Just get to the point, will you? Blade, suppose the Techno suit I've been telling you about was a reality, that somebody has already discovered a method of constructing it and decided to keep it a secret instead of sharing it with the world. What are you getting at? Huh? <laughs> You'd think he was right, and we both know why. But we'll have to discuss that later, won't we? One thing I forgot to ask you. What happens after half an hour? Hmm. The aliens attacked right on schedule. Now we'll find out what Jameson's hiding down there. Make any sense. Quadrant 48, Section 8 4 is of no military value and of no strategic importance. So why would the aliens choose that area to attack? I don't have a clue, but that guy sitting next to you knows better than anyone. What's up, Blade? Blade? Hmm? Blade? 
Yeah. What's up, Star? Have we gotten there already? Space Knights, your mission is to engage the enemy and repel their attack. But be careful out there. And Blade, remember your time limit. If you remain in your Technoman form for more than 30 minutes, you'll be a danger to your teammates and to the Earth. So remember, if you're even close to exceeding the time limit, get back to the ship as fast as you can. Good luck, Space Knights, and good hunting. Sir! No problem, Blade. If you're out there for more than half an hour, I'll use every laser we've got on board to turn you into space dust. So don't worry. Hi. Hello, how are you? so long. Blade, respond. Are you all right? While Jameson and Space Knights are dealing with the aliens, I'll find out what the commander's hiding down here.
good security system, but not good enough. Incredible, isn't he, Star? I sure am glad he's on our team. How much time does he have left? 20 minutes exactly. But what if... Come on, baby, come on. We knew Jameson was trying to develop synthetic techno armor, but we had no idea he'd gotten this far. This is incredible. Hello, Balzac. I've been expecting you. I know all about you. In fact, I just finished reading your dossier. I know that you're working for General Galt, and I also know why he sent you here. To find this, a record of everything we've learned about the techno power system. I admit it, you got me red-handed, Commander, and all this time I thought I had you fooled, that you'd bought my act hook, line, and sinker like the rest of the Space Knights, but I should have known that a smart cookie like you wouldn't fall for it. You're the man with the gun, Commander, what do we do now? Huh? Congratulations. You just completed your mission. Commander, are you serious? Oh, I get it. You want something in return, is that it? What do you want, Commander? Money? Power? Everybody's got their price. What's yours? No, that's not your style, is it? But then why are you doing it? I know you think Galt has been given too much power, so why would you furnish him information that will give him even more? There's a lot more at stake here than power and prestige. In case you've forgotten, the Earth is at war. But then I suppose it never would occur to you huh? that I'm doing this for the good of our planet and its people. They're headed for the research facility just south of you. Get over there, pronto. On my way. That facility is completely defenseless. I've got to stop them. Way to go, Blade. He doesn't have much time left. Don't worry, he'll make it back in time. I sure hope so. All right, he made it, Ringo. Welcome back, superhero. Nice work. Not bad for an amateur. And punctual, too. That'll look nifty on your resume. Funny. Very funny. How'd it go? Are they all right? They're all just fine, Commander Jameson. Blade knocked those spider crabs right out of the sky. The Blue Earth is headed back. They should be landing in a few minutes, sir. Good to hear. What are you up to, Jameson? Did you tell me the truth, or am I just another pawn in your chess game to be used for your own ends? Well, no matter. I got what I came here for, and that's all that matters as far as I'm concerned. So long, Blade. I've got a feeling that you and I will be seeing each other again real soon. The once glorious green planet known as Earth has been bombarded by the invading aliens to the point where its flowing rivers, majestic mountains, and blue skies are now just a memory. But the Terran Allied Defense Force still fights on. At the TADF Command Center, a constant stream of information is being monitored from all over the planet. Also being monitored are the personnel within the center, the most recent arrival of which is Balzac, an expert in covert operations. He's just returned from his latest mission, spying on the Space Knights and learning the secrets of the Techno Power System. Think of me now. Handsome devil, aren't I? <laughs> the military.
military will soon have their own techno suits. We've been running several tests on the computers, and I think the results will impress you. Excellent work. Thank you, General Gall. We couldn't have done it without Balzac. We've been checking out the entire system. Right now, they're evaluating the integrated gyro mechanism. Mm -hmm. If you're really interested, General, you can see them put one together. They are building a prototype in Lab A. All right. When should the first suit be ready? Very soon. So, what did you find out about Zetron? Balzac said it was listed under antimatter in the Technoman file. Does he use it to transform, and can we use it in our techno suits? Well, General Galt, we think Zetron is the substance he uses to transform. Just as I thought. Can our scientists develop the technology which will enable them to synthesize the substance in our research labs, enough to supply our needs? I believe it's possible to synthesize it. Marvelous, that's very good. Because of your diligence, we can finally turn the tables on the alien invaders. This is the added muscle I needed. This is my finest hour. The best part of this is, when we have our own techno suits, we won't need Blade anymore. Chase, I want you to go to Texas. Texas? That's right. Look at this. Well, that's an old piece of equipment. Looks like some ancient relic. This antique is a particle acceleration machine. It was used to produce antimatter. I don't get it. Why are you showing us lies of that thing? I'm getting to that. Wow! That place is humongous! Back in the old days, they needed a bigger facility. All the antimatter plants were large. This machine's not been used in some time, but the military wants us to acquire this facility. For some reason, they want to create their own Zetron. The problem is that the facility's cybernetic defense system is down. That's not surprising. It's just so old. Maybe it's rusted. Begging the commander's pardon, but if you start cooking up a batch of that antimatter, those aliens are bound to find out about it. You're right, Mac. The energy produced while creating Zetron is certain to attract the aliens to the facility. Your mission will be to protect the facility from alien attacks so that the cybernetic defense system can be repaired. This mission is of top priority to the military. Star, Blade, and Ringo will protect the facility. Tina will remain here in charge of communications. Maggie and Mac will repair the defense system. Move out. Yes, yes, yes sir. sir. Come on, Blade. What are you waiting for? Hey, Blade, the commander dismissed you. I can't imagine what he was thinking, can you, Commander? I don't know. Maybe he's worried about losing control again. I sure hope it's nothing serious. It's strange. When I called him for the meeting earlier, he looked like he'd seen a ghost. I hate to say it, Balzac, but you know those alien trees actually spruce up these New York slums. It gives the place a little color. Yeah, I know what you mean. Anything would be an improvement in this town. Still, those things give me the creeps. Mm-hmm. You know that as a little kid, I used to go to that lot right there. I used to have fun playing Space Invaders. <laughs> well, 
I hate to tell you this, but you're still playing Space Invaders. The only difference is it's for real this time. Come on, Marlo, I'll buy you a drink. Sounds good. I know a little club not too far from here. So where are you taking me? It's a great place. Real old New York. Uh, they even named it after an old Broadway show. Huh? Hey, mister! Mister! Can you spare some change? Here you go, kid. This never was a good neighborhood. Too bad we had to grow up here. Hey, I remember this dump. Does anybody come here anymore? You'd be surprised. Now, what were you saying? Something about no one ever coming here anymore? This place smells like an old moldy locker room. But what the heck, we're here and I'm thirsty. Why don't you go to the bar and get us a couple of cool ones? Sure thing. Hey, how you doing? Um, hey man, will you buy me a drink? Come on now. What do you say, my man? One lousy drink, huh? Come on, what do you say? I do. Huh? Baylor. Yeah, but uh, who... Take a look. Come on, don't you recognize me? It can't be. Oh, yes, it can. I'm Balzac. You remember me, don't you, pal? The three of us used to work together. That's right. We were partners, remember? So you ratted us out. My friend, I've so looked forward to seeing you again. <laughs> It was a while ago. We were all just kids. Come on, Balzac. Let's pull this job before the cops show up and bust us. Stop worrying. Mailer is keeping watch. If the cops come, he'll buzz us on this. All right, Mailer. Tell us where your pals are. They're right over here. They're in that shop over there. They're planning to rob it. All right, boys. Pick them up. You did very good, kid. Here, take it. Oh. <laughs> you better split. So long, kid. Hey, look, man, I'm sorry. We were just kids then, you know. Oh, don't apologize. If it weren't for you, we wouldn't be where we are today. That's right. If you hadn't ratted on us that night, we might have ended up like you. You did us a favor. Guard, open it up. You could spend the rest of your lives here in prison. Or you could do the right thing and serve your country. You two are just what we're looking for. A few good men that we can train and use for covert operations. So we started to train for undercover work. First, we had to take a few tests. Then they took us to a top secret military installation and analyzed our potentials. They discovered that Marlowe's IQ was 180. And they were so impressed with my ability to pick pockets and my nerves of steel that they trained me to be an undercover spy. We had no parents or any relatives. We were always hungry and cold, but our futures were secure thanks to you turning us in that one time. Yeah, that's right. So you see, this is really a celebration. It's party time. Drink up. Thanks. Thanks a lot. To Mailer. <laughs> Thanks again. You're welcome. It's always nice running into an old friend like you. He's no fun. He just fell right over. That's our way of saying thanks for riding on us that time, old pal. The jerk should have known we'd catch up with him eventually. Yeah, here's to you, old pal. So nice running into you again. <laughs> The 
circuits are a mess. You can say that again. I'm going to have to rewire some of this stuff. Yeah, I know. It certainly would help to have a schematic of the wiring, but that's too much to ask. What a lot of useless junk. Hey, in its day, it was state of the art. What about the defense system? Have you repaired it? This system's really messed up. I'm afraid it's going to take us longer. We're going to need at least a couple more hours. Well, the military hasn't arrived. We're out here on our own, so hurry it up. Just hope you finish before the aliens arrive. We'll do our best. But as you all know, there's not much time. Whoa. Hey, how you doing, Blade? I just wanted to say hi. You doing all right? Star? Yeah? If something happens, and it looks like I'm gonna lose control again, promise me you'll get away. Promise me. Don't worry, Blade. Hey, don't sweat it. I'm sure that last time it was just some sort of fluke or something. Too quiet. Kind of like the calm before the storm. Oh, alien bandits at one o'clock. There must be an entire squadron of them. They're heading straight for us and they're coming fast. Prepare to engage. Mag and Maggie, we've got a lot of company. You better watch yourselves. On your order, Commander. Attack. Be careful out there, you guys. Good luck, Blue Earth. Now what? The system's not ready. There's an anti-aircraft gun located at the other side. All right, I'll go. You stay here. No, you stay huh? here. Oh, so I just stay here, huh? Stay here and do nothing, huh? I'm on him. Come on, Blade, what are you waiting for? An invitation? Transform into Techno Man. Snap out of it. You're going to have to transform sooner or later. a little help here. I don't know how much longer we can sustain this barrage. Blade, uh, what are you waiting for? Get it together! Pegasus! Power on! Affirmative.
seen was armed like this one is. Blade, do you recognize it? No, I don't. Identify yourself. It's gonna fire. Whoa. Look out. Ah. He's aiming at the spider crab. Back, Maggie, get out of the way. Stay down. What's he doing now? Man, what else could it be? Whatever it is, it just destroyed a dozen spider crabs while I stood by watching, which is all I seem to be able to do. What happened out there? My screen shows half the spider crabs are gone. And without Blade ever having used his weaponry. Look, fighters from the Europa. Right on time, as usual. Crabs have all withdrawn, Commander. Blade never engaged them. It must be a new Techno Man. Yes, but I thought Blade said there weren't any more on our side. Hey, isn't that Colonel Bogard's squadron? What's he got to do with this? Something's going on here. An excellent demonstration. Balzac, I'm quite pleased. Your creation is a complete success, Marlowe. Thanks, Colonel. Wow, that thing? That's pretty incredible. I heard Marlowe was working on a top secret project. Well, from what I've seen, I'd say this is it. Looks like there's a new techno man in town. There's no Zetron breakdown, despite near continuous firing of your weapon. It's even better than I'd hoped for. You're too modest, Rizzi. It's a brilliant invention. What the? Ah, how nice of you space knights to come. You all look stunning, or is that stun? Don't you recognize me without a camera? It's Balzac! What do you think? Do you like me without a beard, Maggie? You already know the answer to that. Balzac, you mind telling us what's going on? I always knew you were more than just a reporter, but how come you're driving that mechanical monster? Monster? Hmm. I'd say. The only monster around here is right there. What? Isn't that right, Blade? What's the big hero think of Marlo's new tech armor suit? Come on, tell us. You saw it. I destroyed 20 spider crabs while you stood there and watched me. Nothing to say? I'm sure you're bright enough to have realized by now you're obsolete. What good's a techno man who goes haywire after a 30-minute time limit? So tell you what, why don't you just deactivate yourself before you lose control? And hurt someone or worse, monster. Ignore him, Blade. Blade! 
Come back! <laughs> See ya! <laughs> well, Marlo, our dream is about to come true. All these years, ever since we were growing up in that horrible slum, this is the day we've been waiting for. Now that you've perfected the tech armor, it's all within our grasp. Fame, fortune, power. And if all that by itself weren't enough to make us happy, our friend Blade is history. Balzac is just a reporter, Commander. Why is he piloting that? I'm afraid he was never just a reporter, Tina. He's one of Galt's spies sent here to steal data on the Technopower system. It would appear that he succeeded. And now Marlowe, Galt's top scientist, has used that information to construct an armored technosuit with weaponry almost as powerful as blades. That's amazing. Zetron Accelerator is at 83%. All readings normal. Roger. Increasing to 90%. Roger. Amazing in 3, 2, 1. Tina told me the commander knew Balzac was a spy. Right, and he just let Balzac hang around because he enjoyed his wonderful personality. I'd like to wring Balzac's scrawny neck. If the commander did know, he must have been hoping to feed Balzac phony information. That doesn't make any sense. Why feed him any information at all? But if that was his plan, it obviously didn't work too well. Marlowe's tech armor uses Zetron weapons, and you can guess what's next. Galt will build armored techno suits by the thousands. But if that's true, that would mean there'd be no assignment left for Blade. Pull yourself together, Blade. No matter how many tech armor suits they make, there's only one of you, and you're still the best weapon that we have. Aren't you glad we're all here to plan out your entire future for you, Blade? Come on, Blade. All this will work out. Why? <gasps> Come on, can't you take a joke? Wait, Blade, where are you going now? Shh. I'm worried about it. If the accelerator maintains this rate of synthesis, our estimates indicate that we should have enough Zetron for another test in about an hour. Report, Colonel Bogard. Tell me how our little project is proceeding. Extremely well, General. I'm glad to hear it. We are still on schedule then. You will shift the plant to full production of techno armor as soon as possible. As you wish, sir. And as for you, Lieutenant Balzac. Yes, General. I watched the tape of your battle with the spider crabs yesterday with great interest. A most impressive display. In fact, I'm promoting you to major, effective immediately. Thank you, sir. You will be in charge of training all techno armor personnel. Marlo, you are hereby named head of this laboratory. I want you to bring the Zetron to Washington for an official demonstration. Well, any questions? Consider it done, General. You can count on us, sir. Keep up the good work, man. You know, I could wind up the head of the entire space science agency. Mm-hmm. We're on our way. Wake me up by dreaming, Bossy. You're awake. And this is only the beginning, believe me. I can't give up. I've got to find a way to get through this. To be able to fight again. <laughs> Our jet's waiting. I don't suppose I have to tell you to guard that sea trap into your life. I will.
he? If I don't find him soon, it'll be too late. Wait! Come on! Spider crabs are attacking the airfield. We need your help right away. Are you all right? Why call me? Why not just call Balzac in his miracle suit? What are you talking about? If you just stand there and leave the whole thing to Balzac, then there's no telling what might happen. Everyone is counting on you, Blade. We still believe in you. You're a techno man. Only you command the Emerald Crystal, and with it all its power. For us, and especially for yourself, transform. I'll transform, Star, even though it's probably a mistake. A blade. Pegasus on! System enabled! Affirmative. minutes up? Not sure, but he's been out there quite a while. One spider crab left. What? Oh no! It's happening again! Ah! No! No, not Tina! I can't do it! I can't hurt Tina! No! No! Losing the control! Make it stop! What's uh, happening? Come on, Blade, you have to fight it! It's coming! Get out of there! Your eyes. What happened to the Zetron? It's safe. Don't worry. Good. Think that they'll still want me as the head of the science agency. Think we can still be rich and famous? I don't care about any of that. What? You mean the great Balzac isn't concerned with fame 
and fortune. All those things we talked about, all our plans, what are they to me without you to share them with? Because of you that Marlowe perished here today, you so-called techno man. If you've got no control during a battle, then you're nothing but a stinking monster. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a monster. I'm a man. Stop right there. You. Lady, no. Balzac, what have you done? Obviously, I was right all along. As Techno Man plays unstable, he's lost control and endangered everything. Have him arrested where he lies and brought here at once. Do you hear me? At once! What have you done? Don't worry, it's just a tranquilizer. He'll come to in an hour. Listen, if you want to arrest Blade, you'll have to take me first. Understand? It's a direct order from General Galt. Keep your nose out, Priest Monkey. Why, you'll take him away. That close to pulling it together. We almost made it. Oh, Blade. I'm sorry. Did you hear, sir? Blade! Yes. I heard, Tina. Unfortunately, there's little I can do. For now, Galt's orders will have to stand. Can't be true. I don't want to hurt anybody. I'm not a monster. Platoon leaders, stand by to begin loading. Troops and weaponry now in transit. This is Commander Brigade 2. Troop transport ready for takeoff in one minute and counting. Jameson, you going to be any help? Or would you rather waste my time with your criticism? General Gall, you know my suggestions always stem from a logical foundation. I suppose that depends on your point of view, doesn't it? Let's dispense with the pleasantries, General. I'm not in the mood. The only thing I want to talk to you about is Blade. Well, that's classified information. You'll have to demonstrate that you have a valid need to know. This is a human being we're talking about. What we're talking about is potential military weaponry. You've had him in your care for some time now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Your new techno suit is online. You don't need Blade anymore. What I need is my business, Commander. Very well. But I'm making whatever happens to that young man my business, understand? As long as I get Blade's secrets for my techno suit, I don't care. Get me the assault, Commander, aboard the space rig. I want a status report on how well the new techno suit is working. Technology. Stick with me and I'll show you some more. Ah, more volunteers for my demonstration. This is great. With this armor and weaponry, I'll be a hero, and Techno Man will be a bad memory. What do you mean, Gulp? 
won't get laid back. You're just going to leave it at that? Under current regulations, we've done everything we can. Commander Jameson, aren't we even going to try anything else? These swivel chair commandos, they're all the same, every one of them. I expected more from you, Jameson. We believed in you, but you were just waiting to let us down like everyone else. Why? Uh, give it up, Star. What's the point? I'm going outside. I don't like how the air smells in here. Admit, I sure do miss him. Listen, Chief, I've got to tell you, we all expected more. This isn't like you. Come on, we've got work to do. What? Mac? Hold on a minute, Mac. You mean we're supposed to just go back to work as if nothing's different? Yes, that's exactly what I mean, Maggie. And what about Blade? Don't you even care? Of course I do, but whatever the commander's done, I'm sure he has his reasons. Don't you think he feels bad about it? What can we do? We've got work. People depend on us. Oh, I know that, Mac. Then act like it, lass. All right, but if anything happens to Blade, I'm going to be one upset redhead. Understand? I'm shaking. Come on. Nina, come here, please. Yes, sir? I want you to take this and load it into the mainframe. Um, okay, sir. Ringo and the others are pretty upset right now, so please don't... Get away from me! Don't ever touch me. Blade, we're not trying to hurt you. We just want to get a quick analysis of your techno armor and its circuit paths. All that we need you to do is walk through this scanner. It's not going to hurt. You can trust us. I don't want any more. <clears throat> hey, what's wrong with him? I don't know, but now's our chance. <clears throat> ah, here we go. <clears throat> here we go, brother. Here we go. That's it. Right this way. There's nothing to worry about. Use the sleeping gas on him now! Come on, Brother Blade. You know you want to. Go ahead. Say no. Go ahead! to see our friend, all right? Leave right now before there's trouble. Mm -hmm. Star! What? Hey, you! <laughs> you know, you could have said something. I'm tired of talking. I'm going to do something. You with me? Let's do it. Wow. I gotta remember not to tick her off anymore. Where's my support squad? Get those energy packs, James. Hurry up. Come on, let's go. Keep your eyes peeled. There's a lot more where those came from. Lieutenant, my sensors are picking up a large object moving this way. Do we 
have here a would-be techno man. <laughs> it's Saber. I, I thought it was gone. I don't believe it. Give me a readout. General, sensors show that it is the techno man, Saber. Sir, our instruments indicate Balzac is having intermittent problems with his power circuits. Balzac, make it work. Hey, Saber, why don't you do us both a favor and leave? Oh, I'll be leaving all right, little man. But not until after I take your cute little suit apart. I want to see what makes it tick. And while I'm at it, I guess I'll take you apart, too. <laughs> further than this. Nah. This is military micromanagement. Electronic gates, daily passwords, you know. I'm even surprised we got this far. A laser cannon sure could help, you know. Let me think. <laughs> wow, you're amazing. Good job. I don't deserve any credit. I just got lucky. Come on, let's go. Right behind you. Come on, this is a little too easy. Oh yeah, there's another electronic lock to get through. Hey, wait. Looks like there's something coming through on the computer messaging system. We'd better wait and have a look. This one's a lot tougher. Star, hold it. It's just coming up on the screen. Now! Ringo, what's the matter? Only one person is good enough with computers to hack his way through Gold's headquarters and open all these electronic locks, and I was the one who accused him of betraying us. Jameson, how am I ever going to live this down? <laughs> the commander knows his stuff, that's for sure. It all worked just perfectly. Ringo! What's up? Oh, man. This does not look good. Blade... Hold your position, Sergeant. That's your job. I'll be out to save you in a second. All right, it's your time. Time for the final act. It's my turn. Let's go. Now. Go away. You're wasting your time. No argument there, pal. But Star just beat up some of Gaul's guards and took us through steel doors to get to you. We need you, Blade. Earth needs you. Much as I hate to admit it, the truth is you're the best thing we've got against the aliens. No, I can't do it. <laughs> No, you can't Blade, take me out. You're not thinking. Let go of me, you dangerous to everyone. No, Blade. you don't understand. I'm not human. I'm not convinced you're worth all the don't time and trouble. Get a grip and stop no. feeling so sorry for yourself. Get it no. together. Leave me alone. Go away. Go away, all of you, and forget that I ever existed. You got a job to do. No, I don't want to fight anymore. Don't make me fight anymore. I don't want to hurt me. Need you. No, no, no. Blade. Are you, Blade? Where have you gone? This isn't you. This is someone else speaking. Someone who doesn't recognize his friends when he sees them. Someone who doesn't care about anyone else. Come back to us, Blade. Please, come back. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Okay, 
Saber, you want to play rough? I can't be trusted. I'm a danger to you. I'm a danger to Earth. Within me is the same evil that drove my brother insane. I can't control it. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I do know. The only safe thing to do is to destroy me. Because I don't know when it will hit. I could turn on you without any warning. Where's my brother? I'd worry about myself if I were you. Big talk from Small Fry. Saber, you really don't have any idea what you're up against. So I'll show you. I've got enough firepower to take care of two of you, Saber. You're finished. I'll try to control my fear. I warned you. Good night, Saber. Troopers, concentrate your fire with the techno suits on the same target. That'll do it. Nice suit. But now you're going to find out what a Tecto Man is really made of. No! I don't believe it! Back! Get back! Where's my support squad? Cover me! Cover me! This is getting to be awfully boring. Is this really the best you can do? What? Playtime is over. This is the real thing. Please! No! General, we've lost contact with three of our squads on the space ring. We've got a report coming in from the fourth squad right uh, now. My squad, thousands of spider crabs are... Can't! Much longer, General! We need help, and right now! Oh! I don't believe it. The techno suit is gone. There's no defense against the Venomoids. We're helpless. I cleared the way for you. Go! Crush the Earth scum. Destroy every last one of them, except for one. My brother Blade. Save him. Save Blade for me. Find a shuttle pod. Got to get back to Earth. General Gulf, the monitor is picking up thousands of them. What's their heading? Working on it, sir. Apparent trajectory is. Our command center. They're going to land here, sir. Right here. No. Oh, Commander. Without Blade. Mm -hmm. Oh, Blade. Five minutes. The first wave will hit us sooner than that. Sir, a third wave of spider crabs is taking off from the far side of the space ring, estimating their number at 200. Approximate combined strength of entire attacking force, 500, sir. 500? Spider crabs? What the swamp is, General? The panicking and signal red alert. 
Arm the defense perimeter and man the laser cannon. Condition red. Condition red. Take stations for direct assault. All gunners to laser cannon. Frontline personnel to defense perimeter. Secure shields and blast canopy. Enemy in range in 10 seconds. Panic spreads on the surface. Far below, Star and Ringo face a different kind of dilemma. One that could prove even more disastrous for the people of Earth. <sighs> they breached the defenses. They're undermining the building's structure. Terrific. Guess what we need? Alien termites. <sighs> what about the laser cannon? Don't make me laugh. Those pop guns will hold them for a few minutes tops. Then we've got to do something, and quickly. Well, Blade? Come on, you know the situation better than anyone, Blade. They're about to wipe out the headquarters of Allied Command. We need Technoman's help. You know, I'm not the type to beg for stuff, but I am now. Forget it. Oh, yeah? Listen, stop lying around here feeling sorry for yourself, all right? We got bigger problems, like global survival. I give up. I'm licked. What's the use? I've had it with you. You're not worth it. Wise decision. Balzac was right about you, kid. All your techno powers aren't worth a wooden nickel. Ringo. It's the truth, isn't it? What good is he? We've got a cannon here without any cannonballs. Leave him alone. Well, kid? Well, am I right or am I right? What's with you? Say something. If you won't defend this planet, at least defend yourself. I'm starting to think he's a lost cause. Hey, snap out of it, kid! Forget that stuff I said. We need you. It's the fourth quarter. We can't have our star quarterback sitting on the bench. So how about it? You gonna play ball or what? <sighs> oh, forget it! Ringo? Well, I tried. I don't know what else to do. I wish there was some way I could reach you. Something I could say that would make you change your mind. Jeez, what's the use? It's like talking to a brick wall. second techno suit somewhere. Guess this must be the place. No, it's unthinkable, sir. The suit's weapon systems haven't even been tested yet, and there's all sorts of... Send it up. We'll give it a trial by fire. General, none of our test pilots have been briefed yet. Then I suggest you find one, brief him, and get him flying in the next ten minutes. It doesn't matter who he is. But General Galt, that's impossible. I'm your guy, boys. What the... Get out of there! Who do you think you are? You're lucky to have me. I'm overqualified. Hey! Weapons? Uh, quantum energy cannon, right arm, brainwave targeting. Nice. Shield up, systems on. Hey, where's the exit? What's the matter, fellas? Aren't you gonna wish me happy hunting? The defense perimeter is collapsing. Sectors 12 through 20 are in enemy hands. It's a disaster. What now, sir? 
All our units are in full retreat. These monsters are unstoppable. Our position's hopeless. We've got to pull out, General Galt. It was madness to try and defend this complex. We should have pulled out a long time ago. If we give the order to retreat now, most of our units can still get out. Inspiring words. But I think it might be a bit premature to abandon our position. First, let's see how Techno Suit Number 2 fares against them. What? Sir? Number 2? I had no idea it was ready. That is wonderful news, General. Yes, that changes everything. You really think that pilot can turn the tide? I hope so. If not, nobody can. And if he fails, we pull out. If not a second before. Things are looking bad at Allied Command. How long can they hold out? Are Star and Ringo still in there? Great so. They're with Blade somewhere in the complex. I don't get it. Why hasn't Blade transformed into Techno Man? I'm sure he has a good reason, but I wonder what it is. Huh? Well, speak of the devil. Ah, I knew he'd come. Wait a minute. Something's different. Hold on. That isn't Blade, is it? It's not Balzac. I wonder who it is. It's someone in Techno Suit number two. Number two? this feeling someone's following me. What do you want, an autograph? Yeah, pretty pleasant. It's almost too easy. Now this is the way I like it. Blade, what's wrong with you? Snap out of it. Pull yourself together. press home their attack against the military's headquarters. Star tries to deal with a strangely shell-shocked blade. Come on now. Yes, Commander. Are you two still with Blade? I am. Ringo's gone. Gone? Where? I really don't know, sir. When he left, he was kind of upset. Hmm. A second techno suit has just engaged the Benavoids. You mean Balzac? Negative, Star. It's an unauthorized pilot. Unauthorized? Ringo! It's gotta be. In the flesh, so to speak. Ringo! What are you doing in that techno suit? Hey, they left the keys in the ignition. Tell us they gets no sweat. I'll return this thing without a scratch on it. Wait a second! Sorry, Star. I gotta roll. Ringo! Ringo, come in! Did you hear that crazy hot dog? He doesn't have a clue what he's doing. He'll probably get himself blasted to atoms if we don't help him. Well, Blade. Easy, kiddo. Ammo may be limited. Better make every shot a bullseye. Jeez, one at a time, please. Pray. 1,001 ain't exactly fair odds. Come in. Come in, Ringo. He pulled the plug on his radio. Crazy fool's all alone out there. Come on, Blade. No! Why, Blade? Tell me why. I'm scared. We're all scared before a fight. No, I mean I'm scared of what I might become. You can't imagine what it's like to go out there knowing you might come back as one of the enemy. Why don't you face it, Blade? You're no longer human or venomous. You're a freak, that's what you are. No! No, Blade! Balzac was wrong! You're a space knight! You're a freak, that's what you are! It's a lie! You're a space knight! You're one of us! You're a monster, you know it! <laughs> You're one of us! A monster! You're one of us! A monster! than I thought. Oh, yes, Commander. Star here. Come in. Any progress? No, not much, I'm afraid. I think the Technobot should be sent here right away. Understood. What are you doing? 
Have you lost your mind? Do you enjoy watching me turn into a monster? Commander? You heard her. She knows what she's doing. Activating Technobot. <laughs> like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Gage is a redlining. Can't be. Is my ammo already that low? Swell. I drove this thing off the lot with only half a tank. Don't you see? Every time I become a Technoman, we all run the risk of my true nature taking over. What are you saying? That's not your true nature. You think you're any less human than me or Ringo? You can't believe that. That's the ball game. Yep, I think I hear the fat lady singing. Maneuverability's gone. Sure glad I test drove this heat before I signed the papers. So much for your techno suit number two. He's out of action. It was for this we delayed the order to pull out? I want the record to show that I was against this whole idea. We all were. We wasted precious time, Gold. Assign blame later, gentlemen. Now I suggest we get to the bunker. You think you know yourself, but you couldn't be more wrong. You think you're a Venomoid just because you become one after 30 minutes as a Technoman? A human exposed to radiation will end up looking like a freak, but so what? That doesn't mean that's his true nature. You're a human being despite anything Darkon may have done. Yes, Blade. Like me. Flesh and blood. No more, no less. We're the same. You're no monster. This blade that I'm touching right now, that's the real blade. A good man. A brave man. I couldn't feel the way I do if it weren't so. risked your life for me without thinking what kind of monster would have done that someone else needs you now i could sure use some help up here uh, hey anyone there hurry blade you're the only one who can help no matter the risk you've got to try if you let the fear of what may happen hold you back then we're all lost, because that means the Venomoids have won. Don't let them. Forget about where your powers came from. It doesn't matter. All that matters is how you use them. You really think that I... Actions are what prove a man's worth. You're right, Star. You're right. back to my senses and for giving me back my humanity. Affirmative. 
as long as I am here to defend it. For a moment there, I thought we'd lost you. I should have known that couldn't happen. You just had to learn how to believe in yourself as much as we believe in you. Welcome back to the Human Race Blade. Charlotte, my dear little sister, you're not the weakling I thought you were. Or you would already have been rejected by the techno system and liquidated within the pod. If your metamorphosis is total, you shall emerge from the pod as a techno man, nearly immortal, with powers beyond your wildest imaginings and loyal only to Darkon. If not, you will emerge as an unfinished techno man, with limited powers and only a few days left to live. Either way, by the time you emerge, I will have destroyed our brother Blade and his little space knight friends. The space knights. If it hadn't been for you, I wouldn't be human. But some kind of alien monster. I owe you all big time, especially you, Star. You're human. Your flesh and blood is me, not a monster. You risked your life for me. Would a monster have done that? If you stop fighting because you're afraid of what may happen, the aliens will have won. We can't let them. Don't you understand? You're the only one who can save the planet Earth. Listen to me. However you became what you are, doesn't matter. All that matters is what you do now. Right. Here's that update you asked for, sir, showing the location and growth rate of the spore plants. Very good work. Thank you, sir. Anything else, sir? No, you're free to go, Star. Commander? That's odd. I've never known Star to wear perfume before. Lovely scent, whatever it is. Just one more load and I'll be done. Mmm, what a wonderful scent. New perfume, Star? Yo, Earth to Star, do you copy? Way to go, Ringo. That techno suit is incredible. He hasn't missed once. Unfortunately, it's not ours. Commander Jameson agreed to give it back to the military as soon as we're finished testing it. And that means, of course, that old baldy General Galt will be taking control of it. Want to bet? After all, Ringo handled himself pretty well on that last mission. Who are they going to find who can pilot the techno suit as well as he can? Even old baldy will have to admit to that. Yeah, you're right. And if Blade wore a techno suit, he wouldn't have to transform, which would mean that our modification of Pegasus would no longer be necessary. Perry. Yeah, and he wouldn't have his Technoman powers either. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. All right, Mac, I'll finish the modifications as fast as I I'll can. I'll give you three more minutes, Maggie, just three more. You got that? Hey, Mac, let's take a break, huh? That's three hours straight. What do you think we're here for, laddie? Cocoa and cookies? Cocoa, anyone? Oh. I'm giving her cooking lessons, and that cocoa is her first assignment. Thank you, Lass. It smells wonderful. Nice. You know, it looks like those military guys finally did something right. That techno suit's terrific. Hmm? Is that perfume I smell? I guess you must be trying out a new one, right, Maggie? Not bad. Star's the one with the new perfume, Ringo, not me. 
Star, I've never known you to wear perfume before. Well, there's always a first time, right? I just thought I'd try something new. I don't understand what all the fuss is about. Careful, Star. Oh. Hi. Hello, Blade. Been working out at the gym? That's right. Excuse me, I gotta take a shower. <laughs> Star. You want to say something, say it. All right. Thank you for all the things you've done on my behalf. Huh? Our friendship means a lot to me. Just friends, understand? But what do you mean? Well, you know what I mean. What you need is to think about something else for a while. How about a little game of racquetball? Listen, I don't want to tell you how to run your love life, but don't you think it's about time you told Star how you feel? She likes you a lot, Blade, but she isn't going to wait forever. Wait for what? What are you talking about? This is driving me crazy. I don't know how he feels. You know what I'm talking about. You're in love with her. Whoops. Fall down, go boom. You are in love with her, aren't you? What's your point? I've known Star for a long time now, and I'll bet you anything you like, she feels the same way about you. That new perfume of hers? She's never worn perfume before, so why would she start wearing it now? The answer should be obvious, even to an insensitive dolt like you. She's in love with you, pal, and you feel the same way about her. But instead of doing something about it, you keep your feelings bottled up inside you. Because you're afraid that once she got to really know you, she wouldn't be in love with you anymore, right? That's right. How could she? Because what she wants is a man, not some storybook hero. She knows you're not perfect, and she loves you anyway. The ball's in your court, pal, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Good. Now I'm going to show you what this game's all about. Soon, Blade. Very soon. I shall emerge from the techno system with the power to destroy you. And then the planet Earth shall belong to my master, Dark Arm. Saber's last known location was point 1020 Mark 3, correct? That's right. Excuse me, folks, this is your pilot speaking. Welcome aboard and thanks for flying the Blue Earth. Hey, Blade, you sure these are the right coordinates? This place is as quiet as an empty church. Yeah, too quiet. Okay, you guys, listen up. I'll start at the northern end of the town and you start at the southern end. We'll join up in the middle. Good plan. Let's do it. Right. By the way, Star, I've been meaning to tell you, I love that perfume you wear. 
See ya. I think Saber must have split before we got here. If you were anywhere near this area, I'd have sensed his presence. What's up, Blade? Something wrong? No. Might as well take a look around. Star? Yes? I, uh, I really like your perfume. What? That scent you're wearing, it's nice. Huh? You mean you noticed? Thank you, Blade. He's here. What? We've got to find Ringo. Pegas, keep Star with you. Affirmative. Blade, wait! Blade! Good hiding place, Saber. Church is the last place I'd look for you. What do you want? If you don't know that, you're a bigger fool than I thought. Oh my gosh! That's the guy I saw in the mall, the one I told you about. Stay back, he's dangerous. Pegas, protect Star. Who are you, Saber? I'm your worst nightmare, sweetheart. Actually, I'm worse than that, because I'm a whole lot scarier than any character your tiny little brain is capable of imagining. I'm sure my brother would agree with me. No wonder they look alike. She's very pretty, Blade. A special friend, perhaps. You're wasting time. She has nothing to do with what's going on here. This is between you and me. Now let her go. Believe me, Blade, I wouldn't think of keeping her here against her will. I wouldn't want the young lady to be subjected to anything unpleasant. Perhaps she and I can become better acquainted after I'm through with you. What are you waiting for? What's wrong? You still afraid of me? Huh? Me afraid of you? Don't be absurd. When we were being trained in the martial arts, you were never able to beat me. You couldn't win then, and you won't be able to now. You really believe that, don't you? Your childhood memories are touching, to be sure. But you're about to find out we're not kids anymore. when you could join us as rulers of a galaxy. Because this particular dirt ball is the property of the human race, and we're not about to let you or anyone else take it away from us. That's where you're wrong, Blade. Dead wrong. Yeah! Your feelings for the human female called Star are strong, and therefore a weakness, but you'd obviously do anything to protect her. Well, well, I suppose get a nerve. I wonder how well you'd fight if she were around to cheer you on. What? Me you're after, not her. Save her! Wait! <laughs> yeah! Are you hurt? Just a flesh wound. Why attack Star Saber? She's no threat to you. I admit, it was a terrible thing to do. Attacking an innocent bystander without warning. My goodness. The question is, what are you going to do about it? Move. Techno bulls! Reflectors. Power on. Got the wind knocked out of me. Are you sure? Yeah, that new whip.
weapon of his caught me by surprise. Thanks to the newest addition to my techno weapon system, your most effective defense, the techno bolt, has been rendered useless. For my reflectors enable me to use our own power against you. <sighs> oh, too powerful. I can't win. How do you know until you try? I believe this techno bolt belongs to you. Here. Oh! Farewell, brother. Forget it, Saber. <laughs> Sorry I couldn't get here sooner. You do all right? Late isn't. Oh. Saber did a real number on him. Looks like the champ has another challenger. You ready, Saber? Anytime you are. Shara. She's close, very close. Can't let Saber win. Gonna fight. Till next time, Blade. How's he doing, Star? Is he gonna be okay? Yeah, I think so, but we've gotta get him back to the base. No problem. Leave it to me. Shara. Shara. You can't hide much longer, Shara. Sooner or later, I'll find you. You're a traitor like our brother Blade, but much easier to destroy. I'll be seeing you soon, little sister. Very soon. Twin brothers? That's incredible. You're absolutely sure, Star? Yes. I can see the headlines now. Space Knight's brother works for aliens, helping them to conquer the Earth. Save the humor. I'm just not in the mood for it. Knowing that he might not recover makes laughing a bit difficult. Right. Take care of him, Star. The human race is depending on him to give us our world back, to give us a future. Without Blade, without Techno Man, we wouldn't have a chance. Well, Maggie, been any change yet? No. They've tried a bunch of different treatments, but nothing's worked. long time, Blade. How long? Two and a half, maybe three days. <sighs> you were talking in your sleep about your sister. Her name is Shara, right? Perhaps you'll find her again someday. Shara's out there somewhere. You know she is. Proof of the seriousness of the latest threat to the Earth's security, Commander Jameson himself searches for a way to enhance Blade's techno powers enough to make him a match for Saber, the seemingly invincible Technoman warrior. With Tina's help, he meticulously probes every inch of Blade's Technoman armor. This technology is so alien to our computers. They're not even registering that there is a problem, let alone how to fix it. Patience, Tina. The answer's here in these schematics. You've just got to find it. Meanwhile, Maggie and Mac try a more hands-on approach to the problem, but with no better results. Hey, Maggie! Give me a hand. Oh, what's the use, Mac? Why are we doing this? What are you talking about? It'll be better for Blade if we don't repair it. What do you mean? The last time he and Saber fought almost turned out to be the end of him. Sending him out again would be like sending him on a suicide mission. Next time will be different. Oh, easy for you to say. How can you be sure of that? The top minds are working on it right this minute. What? Where? Who? Well, the old man for one. Commander Jameson? See, there's hope. A 
oblivious to all the efforts on his behalf. Blade himself is like a man possessed, concentrating solely on restoring his physical powers. Blade, you've been in here for hours. Don't you ever rest? He's not doing much of that. He says he gets bad dreams when he shuts his eyes. Uh. I see. Still, you've got to be careful not to overdo it. The last thing I want is for anything to happen to that body of yours. Huh? What? All I meant was that... Oh, oh, come on. Obviously, Blade's health is very important to all of us. That's all I meant. His body is a finely tuned machine that we have to maintain. Star, you better stop while you're ahead. Hey, what do you... Finely tuned machine. Ringo. Oh. Oh. Huh? Oh, Maggie, hi. What's happening? Oh, plenty. Trust me. Well, did any of you hear the news yet? Do you have any idea what Commander Jameson's up to? We haven't spoken to the Commander since yesterday. You'll never guess what he's coming up with. The suspense is killing us, Maggie. He's developing a brand new enhanced weapon system for Blade's Techno Armor. He's scrapping the Epaulette Shoulder Missile Launchers and replacing them with a new generation of weaponry. Blade, we're talking about antimatter warheads. You mean it? Yep. Poor Saber. He won't know what hit him. Great. It is great, isn't it? I suppose. Star? You don't sound very happy. No, it's just... Ringo, wait! What is it? All anybody seems to care about is fixing him up and sending him right back out again. Now, Commander Jameson, he's an okay guy. But now, he treats Blade like a piece of equipment. The kid's a human being. Hey, Kitty, the Chief around? I'm afraid Commander Jameson isn't here. Is he in his quarters? I've tried there, but he doesn't respond. Hmm, where the heck is he? The problem is this. The basic structure of the Technoman's quantum energy weapon system is not strong enough to support the launching of antimatter warheads. It's rather like trying to turn an old carbine rifle into a laser cannon. We've got to find a way to heighten the capacity of its detonators. Maybe it'd be easier if we just designed a whole new detonation system, Commander. Yes, maybe so. While Tina and the Commander grapple with the immense complexities of the data, someone else far away is locked in a much more fundamental struggle between life and death. Where are you, brother? Where are you? survivors once this whole planet's been turned into a desert. Hours later, in the village inhabited by a band of desert nomads. Slowly, you're not going anywhere. <sighs> Are you feeling better? Yes, thank you. You're very kind. Only crazy people try crossing the desert on foot. Are you a crazy person? <laughs> you're from some other place, aren't you? That's enough of your questions, Ahmed. She must rest now. All right, Grandfather. Mm. <laughs> Come on, Ollie. Oh! I'm sorry. 
I mean, I'm sorry for being a burden to you. face, its hands. It walks on cloven hooves. It's a monster, a devil. <gasps> no! Please, no! <laughs> Is there nowhere I belong? <laughs> I have so much to give in so little time. <laughs> As proof of their indomitable will and firm belief in ultimate victory, the people of Earth set about rebuilding the Allied Military Command headquarters, so recently destroyed in the Venomoid attack. Meanwhile, their efforts are observed by the man most responsible for the destruction itself, Blade's evil twin, Saber. How like insects they seem, rebuilding a little hive just to have it knocked down again. Still in search of his missing sister, Saber manages to enter the very heart of the Earth's defenses, disguised as his brother. You are Blade, aren't you? The Technoman! Huh? Yes. Golly, the boys will never believe this. Imagine me bumping into a Technoman in person. I don't mean to bug you, but I'm a cadet, you see, and the main reason I signed the enlistment papers was because of you. If it's not asking too much, can I shake your hand? Uh, sure. Wow, it feels almost human. Guess I thought you'd be made out of uranium or steel or something like that. <laughs> So tell me, sir, what brings you here? Just trying to find my way back to the base, that's all. What base? Oh, Space Knight Command Center. Is that what you mean? Uh, the Command Center, right. I suppose you guys were here for a briefing or something, huh? You got left behind? That's it, yeah. <laughs> no problem, I'll get you there. So you see, it's like this, sir. He got separated from the other Space Knights. He needs to get back. Can you take him, Captain? It's highly irregular, but yes, I suppose so. Great! There's your ride, sir. <laughs> so does anybody have a clue where Commander Jameson's hidden himself? Don't look at me, I don't know. Mac, you must have some idea. No, he didn't tell me and I didn't ask him. So what's the big deal? He's got to keep us all in the dark. Doesn't he trust us anymore? Cool your jets, Ringo. He let us know when there's something to know. So meanwhile, we just twiddle our thumbs? We did it! We designed a launcher that'll support the warheads. Now all we've got to do is build it! It's all there, Maggie. Terrific. Yeah? Really? Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Did you hear that, Blade? Antimatter warheads. The next time you and Saber meet, it'll be no contest. Maggie, Mac, get to work. 
Yes, sir. Aye, aye, sir. Mac, I'll race you to the lab. Commander, may I speak? Mm hmm. Don't you think we're being a little bit impersonal about this, sir? I mean, Blade's not a machine. He's more than a bundle of spare parts. He's laying his life on the line. And that's not some nameless alien he's fighting out there. It's his brother. We might consider his feelings. That's enough. You have no idea what huh? you're talking about. Ringo, you couldn't be more wrong about the commander. Show me another commanding officer who thinks as much about the health and well-being of his crew as he does. Calm down, Tina. All I'm saying... I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Nobody's safe in wartime. All we can do is give each other as much protection as we can. That's why we built Blade's new weapon system. So he'll be ready when he meets that loving brother of his. In times like these, we have to give up things, maybe even a little of our humanity. We all make sacrifices. Why don't you ask Commander Jameson what he's had to give up just to keep Blade here as part of the team? Huh? huh? Sir, tell us. As you know, Allied Military Command has always wanted its own Technomen. I resisted them for as long as I could, but it became apparent that Blade would be taken away from us unless I gave them enough data for them to build their own Technosuits. I didn't want to do it. I knew it would mean that my own authority would be diminished, but it was hardly as melodramatic a sacrifice as Tina makes it out to be. It could have meant the loss of his command, but he risked it all to keep Blade with us. Commander, I'm sorry. We had no idea, sir. Sir, I don't know what to say. Proximity <gasps> alert? What's going on? Pinger at 8 o'clock, switching to visual. Wait a minute. That's a military hover transport. What's it doing here? We're here, sir. Space Knight Command Center. Good work. Thanks. Want me to set down? Thanks. But you know, I don't think I'll be needing your services anymore. Sir? What happened? One moment it was there, the next moment That's it... what happened. Saber again. Looks like your brother's paying us a visit. Triangulate the defense system, Tina. Aye, aye, sir. this? A force field of some kind? Well, I get points for optimism. Meanwhile, Maggie and Matt work feverishly to finish overhauling Blade's missile launchers. Let me have it. No, not yet, Blade. It's not ready. But Saber's here. No, Blade! Hey, calm down, lad. Blade, aren't you going to come out and play? <sighs> There's no time. You little fool, wait till it's ready. In the meantime, he'll blow us to bits. We're working as fast as we can, and you're not helping any. Blade, listen to him. Stay out of their way and let them do their job. <laughs> hey. Don't do it, Blade. Matt's right. You're being a fool. What will you accomplish by taking the Technobot out now? Have you already forgotten what happened last time? No. <laughs>
Saber is not the only one searching for Blade. For at that very moment, far away, under the blinding rays of a cruel sun, it is. He's my brother. Blake, come back! Hey, Matt, you ever wonder how this place would be? I mean, if we weren't here to keep putting it back together? Well, for starters, Maggie, no one would ever get off the ground. Matt, I need the Technobot. What? I'm taking it out. Blake, you can't. The Technobot's not ready yet. In case you haven't noticed, we're in a little trouble. I said but... I'm going out. But, Blade... Listen here, lad. We've got an awful lot of work to do. Now try to grasp the fact that you're going nowhere. We've got a new weapon to install. You wouldn't be able to transform. Fix it so I can. Just what do you think we're doing? Please, it's the only chance we've got. Sorry, lad. Lighten up, pal. I know you worry too much. Huh? I'll buy you some time to get it done. Ringo, are you nuts? The Techno Suit can't stand up against Saber. I know, Blade. Even you couldn't kick your brother's tail, so I'm not going to try. Then why go? If I lead him away from headquarters, maybe Matt can finish the Technobot. Good idea, Ringo. Really? Thanks. But you won't be alone. This will be your backup. Wow. Holy cow! Where did that come from? I've never seen anything like it. This is an experimental vehicle that's been equipped with a new type of energy weapon we've been testing. Recharge time has been cut almost in half. Sounds good to me, Commander. Every little bit helps. Blade? You will wait for the Technobot. And who's gonna fly the new oh, ship? Oh, me! Let me! I'll fly! Hey! Just a minute! Man, look at this thing! It's even got that new ship smell! Can you believe it? This is great! Hold on a sec! Sorry, lad. This is one argument you're not going to win. You can say that again. Mm -hmm. Star, I want you to ride shotgun. Yes, sir! <laughs> What's the matter, Blade? Is my loving brother afraid of me? If I have to tear this base apart piece by piece to find you, that's what I'll do! What? Well, at least somebody wants to play. You look all dark and ugly! Check completed. All systems are go. We're ready for liftoff, Commander. Be careful, you two. Engine power on. Stand by for liftoff. Now let's go show this guy something. Let's get it. Gina, what's going on? Star and Maggie are on their way. Don't worry about what you can't control, Blade. Right now, concentrate on what you can do to help. Get me a power reading on the servo circuits. Oh, and if it starts fluctuating, let me know. All right, man. I'm on it. I hope they're coming soon. I'm not going to last much longer.
haven't seen any fluctuation yet, Mac. Well, that's good news. Watch it, Saber. This close, even you might not be able to handle this. <laughs> Puny little bug. Watch how I open a conversation. Fire! It's fine, Blade. Everything's under control. So far, no problems encountered. There's nothing for you to worry about. Great, thanks. Commander, why... Quiet, Tina. Enlarge the picture. Yes, sir. Again. Listen carefully. If you want this toy and the man in it back, give me Blade. Let him go! It's simple. You give me Blade, I give this useless creature back to you. If you don't, I'll destroy everything. You see, I'm not very nice. I warn you, I will not ask again. He means it, Commander! Commander? A little more, a little more. That's it. We're almost finished, lad. We just have to drop this unit in and fasten her down. And after that, it's all up to you. Right. We may not be under attack at the moment, Sergeant, but I'm telling you, we've got to be ready. Ready for what? They're attacking the Space Knights, not us. We're safe for now. There's no place on the planet that's safe, Sergeant. The military is helpless. We just have to hope that the Space Knights' special weapon is good enough. Oh, that Technoman thing? Space Knights, Space Knights. Technoman? Oh. Hey, Sleeping Beauty's awake, sir. How are you feeling? What? Sorry about the accommodations. Gravel doesn't make a very comfortable bed, does it? I've got some hot coffee here. Would you care for any? No. Where am I? And where is this techno man? From what I understand, he was at the Space Knight Command Center. Command Center? Are you sure that's where I can find techno man? Listen, miss, I'll be happy to answer any of your questions, but first I think you should eat something. <sighs> there you go. Tell me now, why are you here? I mean, how did you manage to wind up in the middle of the desert? My brother is with the Space Knights. I've got to find him. What? You mean actually go to their command center? I'm afraid that would be impossible, miss. The Space Knights are in the middle of an action zone. You can't go there. Just show me the way to their command center. Sorry, miss. It's too dangerous. And that's in a classified area. Besides, that zone would be knee-deep in spider crabs by now. Spider crabs? Don't worry, miss. You're safe with us. Now tell me, who are you? I've got to go. I've got to get to my brother now. Huh? Goodbye. Hey, wait a minute. Come back here. Miss? Where are you going? Come back here right now. Techno power! Huh? No disrespect, sir, but I don't think we should report this to you. But for, no one would believe us anyway. This isn't like you, Blade. Your friend is suffering. Come out! I'm running out of patience. Shara. Shara? Here, Blade. I've come home. This is some kind of a trick. I'm positive. My sister can't be here. Ah, 
So that's it. My whole loving family right here. Well, I guess I don't need this anymore. Ringo! Ringo, are you all right? Just peachy. We're all done, Blade. Get going. At the last, I can use it. No more waiting. You got it. The armor is tougher, and this new energy beam's the most powerful we've ever made. Commander Jameson? Yes, Mac? We're finished. Tell Blade Saber is retreated. Retreated? But why would he do that, Commander? We're not sure, Mac. Commander, let me go after him. Please! What's going on, Blade? There's another Technoman out there. Another Technoman? Yes, sir, and this one will help us against Saber. Sir, this may be our one and only chance. Mm-hmm. Why, you don't look happy to see me, Shara. What do you want? I want to see our brother. Did you have a nice meeting with him? Keep away, Saber! Sorry, I can't do that. Another new Techno Man? How many are there? Feeling better, I see. What took you so long to get there? Ringo, they didn't tell me how much trouble you were in or I would have been there for you. Don't worry about it, kid. You couldn't have done much good anyway. Even if you had been there, you'd have gotten your tail kicked just like I did. I suppose so. Hey, you. Easy on yourself. do something and fast if Saber comes out of this battle the winner the earth is finished Chara you must be strong Blade, help. hold on Chara Saber no yes no oh. goodbye little sister Chara hold on wait a minute that techno man is your sister what's going on here Funny you should say that, for this is the last moment you shall be anything. Work, Earth will be lost. 
The new beam weapon on the Technobot should combine with Blade's own Technobot. Together, they will be more powerful than any weapon known to man. Shara, get up! No, please! You can't leave me now! Not now! <laughs> oh, please! Don't let my sister die! Wade, we've come across some records concerning a Dr. Carter. Something happened to Dr. Carter's ship while he was investigating the moons of Jupiter, is that correct? Yes, but how did you know about that? We also know he had his daughter and his three sons along with him, and that his youngest son was named Nick. You're Nick Carter, aren't you? <laughs> Tell us what happened up there, son. Nick. Yes, that is my name. I've been doing some research, and I believe I can fill in some of the other gaps in your memory. Especially in regard to your father and his mission aboard the Argos. That rings a bell. Wasn't that some kind of expedition? The Argos was a deep space exploration ship sent out to map and study the moons of Saturn. It vanished without a trace. What happened has always been a mystery. Correct, but I think it's a mystery we may be close to solving. You see, the mission was led by Ulysses Carter, and his three sons were also on board. Two of whom were identical twins, one named Kane, the other Nick. Just what are you driving at, Commander? That Blade here was... I mean, is... one of them? That fits, since Star already found out that Saber and Blade are twins. Yes. But it leaves many things unexplained. Like what happened on board the Argos. There's only one person who can answer that. Even if I told you, you wouldn't believe it! I don't. Sick bay here. Patient's comatose state is deepening. Her vital signs are getting very weak. She needs a blood transfusion badly. Then do it. Take mine. Take every drop. Whatever it takes to keep her alive. Shara, don't go. Don't go. If you'll let me, I'd like to help. Thank you. I know how you feel. I know what it's like to be willing to sacrifice anything for someone else. Even your life. I never knew that feeling before, but now... You do. Yeah. Saber. Saber, wake up! But I demand more than mere obedience from you. I demand victory. You have been given more than one opportunity to destroy the traitor blade, and yet he still lives. His survival threatens to jeopardize the invasion. He won't escape me again. We 
the other traitor, Shara, must not be allowed to regain her strength. Only you and I know the danger we would face if she and Blade were to join forces. Here is your chance to prevent that. They are at their weakest now, vulnerable in mind and body. Why do you remain here? Now is the time to strike! Go! Shara! Calm down, Blade. The transfusion worked. Her condition stabilized, okay? Just take it easy. But how come they're wheeling her out? There's nothing to worry about. They're taking her to ICU for observation. Now, come on. We both lost a lot of blood. We need to rest now. Yeah. Yeah, some rest. You're right. out of a nightmare. It was our own fault. We opened Pandora's box. If only we hadn't explored that ship. But that's what we were out there to do. Explore. It all began as the Argos was reaching the outer rings of Saturn. There seems to be some kind of cosmic disturbance dead ahead. Mm-hmm. I see. Can you be a bit more specific, Shara? Sorry, Father. I've never seen anything like it. Very well. Most likely it's just some kind of gravity wave. Can you give us a visual, my dear? Yes, sir. Good Lord, that's a gravity wave. You can say that again. But what is it? It appears to be some kind of vessel, but obviously not one of ours. Not one of ours? What are you saying? He means it's alien. It's pulling us in with some sort of tractor beam. Hey, reverse course. Emergency procedures. Divert all power to the thrusters. It's too late, Dad. Arr! That ship. It was the Venomoids, of course. A galactic probe. Maybe we could have gotten away. Naturally, we didn't even try. It was Earth's first verifiable contact with an alien life form, after all. Not every day that sort of thing happens. So, of course, we just couldn't let it be. Damage report. Levels B4 through B6 show some rupturing of the hull, but bulkheads are holding and pressure is steady. Engines and power look okay, too. The life support systems are functioning smoothly. Looks like we came through all right, considering. Yes, we were lucky. Shara, any response from the other vessel? No, nothing. No radio contact or signs of activity whatsoever. Deserted? Maybe it's a wandering ghost ship. Or maybe they're just painfully shy. I'm getting readings of life aboard that ship. Definitely organic. Probably mold on some leftover cheese. Yeah, but it's alien mold. True. Shouldn't we wake up Catherine, Conrad, and the others for this? Yes, your brother would never forgive us if they weren't in on it. Shara, wake the rest of the crew from hypersleep while we go make a preliminary search of the ship. Yes, sir. Wow! Wow is right. Real aliens. This is going to make the Carter family famous. I better go first. We don't want them getting the wrong idea about humans. Funny. The poor kid. Sounds like his whole family was on that mission. Tough break. Poor Blade. Stupid. We were so stupid. We were like kids on a field trip. We never dreamed it would turn out to be a nightmare. Amazing! What is this place? Your guess is as good as mine, Nick. Watch out, everyone. Watch your step. Hey, don't touch anything. We have no way of knowing what we're dealing with here. Thank <laughs> you.
But that was it. Before we knew what was happening, it was over. They got Shara and Kane. I don't know what happened to my big brother Conrad and his fiance Catherine. Oh. Oh, Blaine. I'm sorry. transferred us to their ship and destroyed the Argus. Then we found out what the creatures were really up to. They'd been sent by the Venom ones to transform us into tech. <laughs> We were altered physically and emotionally. Our humanity was sucked out and replaced with the soul of a techno man. Blade, besides you and your sister, how many techno men are there? Five, as far as I know. Well, four actually, now the dagger's out of the picture. Two of them we already know about. When do we meet the rest? You mean there's two more of them out there as powerful as Saber? That's a scary notion. Sir, we've just barely managed to hold our own against one of them. What would we do if all four of these techno men decided to hit us all at once? Ooh, you're right. That would be a headache. We don't have enough place settings. Hmm? How can you joke about it, Ringo? We're talking about the fate of the planet here. Calm down, everybody. Whatever comes, we'll face it together, just like we always have, right? Yes, there's no point in worrying about what might happen. And don't forget, Blade's on our side. There's something I don't understand. Blade, how did you escape in time to avoid the full effects of the techno transformation? It was father. Your father? I don't understand. I thought your father was in one of the technopods himself. Yeah, he was, but he was released before the rest of us. You see, my old man didn't make it. By all rights, he should have been dead when the Technopod rejected him. The father was a tough old bird. There was one thing he wanted to do before he cashed in. He wanted to save the members of his family. But he only had time to save one. get you out in time. Is it you, Nick? Are you still you? I am Blade. Fight them, Nick. You're stronger than they are. You haven't been turned into one of their zombies yet. They need our bodies. They're trying to create a race of warrior slaves. I was rejected. I'm too old and not strong enough to suit their purposes. Now there's no time. You must leave immediately. Father, wait. You don't mean you want me to abandon the others, do you? To just give up on them? There's no choice. You must leave. Now. No, let me stay, Father. You and I can fight them. If you stay, I'll just finish the job they started on you. And as for me, it's too late. The transformation process of theirs sucked me dry before it spit me out. I'm on my last leg, son. Time's up, Nick. If you don't get off this vessel right now, you never will. Father! Don't waste time feeling sorry for me, Nick. My troubles are about to be over. Yours are just beginning. You're going to have a greater responsibility than any man in history. Father, wait! Listen. While they were fiddling with my brain, I learned a great deal about them. They're planning a full-scale invasion of the Earth. The survival of our planet depends on you. Me? But how? By escaping now and getting back home, son. You'll have to fight them, which will mean fighting any members of our family that have survived the transformation process. They won't be human anymore. They'll be aliens. You'll have to forget who they are. Forget that you ever had a family. Do you understand? These aliens, the Venomoids, are ruthless and will show no mercy. Those they transform are under their command. Never forget, they're your enemy. No! Father! Goodbye, son! How can I forget? Conrad! Kane! Sora! It was all gone. Just like that. My family, my life, everything. What is it? Are you crying? Well, what if I am? Star. For me? Who do you think, you big dope? Saddest story I've ever heard. <laughs> Come on, let's.
let's not go getting emotional. It seemed like forever I was stuck in that escape pod, helpless, while the Venomoid plan went forward. I still don't know when or from where Darkon appeared to take charge. It took more than six months for me to reach the Earth, but not him. When I finally arrived, the invasion was already underway. Six months is a long time to be alone with your thoughts. By the time I got here, all I cared about was destroying them, turning the powers they'd given me against them. Nick Carter was gone. Only Technoman Blade remained. Okay, you vampires, it's payback time. idea how much I've been hoping for this, Nick. This is all I wanted, just to see your face again. Just once more, I knew you'd be able to give me the strength I need to face the end. I dreaded the thought of having to face it all alone. Don't be silly. You're going to be all right, Shara. No, Nick, I'm not. There's nothing you or anyone can do. Nothing. It won't be long before I join Father. Transformation didn't take. I'll end up just like Dad. No. <laughs> What's going on in here? Huh, Blade? <laughs> huh. What's the matter? Why are you so upset? Well? Tell us. We don't want to intrude, but we're like a family here. And if something is bothering you, we'd like to help. Shara? Blade? See, the reason that I came is to tell you all about the trees that Darkon has sent to the Earth. Hmm? They're his secret weapon. We've been studying them. They seem harmless. Mm -hmm. That's Shana? what he wants you to think. Are you all right? Mm -hmm. Not really. Shara, is there anything we can do for you? Anything at all? Thank you, Commander Jameson, but I'm afraid I don't have much time left. That's
That's why I must tell you about Darkon's master plan. If those plants are allowed to keep growing, the Earth will be overrun by aliens. Can you tell us exactly what the trees are designed to do? They don't seem to affect anything. They will after the flowers start to bloom. It's flowers? That's right. When they bloom, it'll be all over. And the same nightmare that happened to me, Blade, and our family will happen to all of you, one by one. They will cover the entire earth, and when the flowers bloom, the pods from the trees will envelop every living creature and transform them into venomoid slaves. They will use the people of this planet to invade other worlds and enslave other life forms. They won't stop till they've conquered the entire galaxy. The Earth and life as we know it will be forgotten. We can't allow that to happen. You're going to have a tough battle ahead of you. Darkon has already hashed three more evil techno men. No. Three more? We've got trouble. Boy, you can say that again. Let's see. How many techno men does that make? There was Dagger and Saber and Blade and Shara. Do we count Darkon as a techno man or not? Maggie, Ooh. let's just listen to her, okay? The three new techno men are Axe, Rapier, and Lance. They're about ready to head toward Earth. That's great. Now Darkon's cooking up three more super fiends. Where are they now? There. Very near. Shara, you've got to tell us where. On Darkon's moon base. After Father was certain that you had escaped, he pushed the self-destruct button. The explosion damaged Darkon's vessel, and he had to make an emergency landing on the moon's surface. Darkon's ship isn't just a machine. It's a biomech which is programmed for self-repair. Meanwhile, he's using the ship as a command center for the invasion of Earth. I never knew what happened to the ship. And all this time, it's been Darkon's secret base on the dark side of the moon. Meanwhile, Darkon is about to welcome his newest and mightiest warriors. are yours to command, O oh Great One. We live to serve you, O oh mighty Darkon. We await your orders, most glorious Darkon. Welcome, my new warriors. I have a little assignment for you. You see, my warriors, there's a little pest I want you to dispose of for me. His name is Blade, and as you know, he is the one thing preventing me from achieving total domination of the planet Earth. Now go, and don't come back until Blade is destroyed. Yes, sir. We obey. We will not fail you. Farewell, Blade. <laughs> Darkon is physically unable to leave his base on the moon. You must attack soon and destroy his ship before the repairs are completed. Star, Ringo, come on. Right, let's do it. Now hold on. Char is right. If you run off half-cocked, you'll be no match for them. We need to make some plans. No, let's go. Ringo, hold on. We need to plan for all contingencies. We need a strategy. Without it, you're having a chance. Dina, we'll need those charts. Yes, sir. Wait. <gasps> I said I'm going. What? This is just a big waste of time. I'll go by myself. You stay here and play with your silly computers. I'll do the job alone. Don't be a fool, Blake. Don't do it, Blade. Shara! What's the matter? What is it? Shara! Tell me! Please! Look, her hands! Poor thing. Go! Get a medic! Right away, sir! Shara, hold on! Shara, don't leave me! Not now! Hold on! Consumed with anguish over his sister, is unaware that at this very moment, Darkon's three new Technomen warriors, Axe, Lance, and Rapier, are on their way to Earth.
I'm rechecking her vital signs now. I'm afraid it doesn't look good, sir. I see. Here, lass, why don't you drink some coffee? You've been at this for quite a while. Take a break or you'll go walleye. Thanks, Mac. I had a talk with a doctor. What did he say? I'm afraid Shara doesn't have much time left. What a shame. So young. It has something to do with the fact that her body rejected the Techna system. Blasted plants. Yes, indeed. Does Blade know that his sister doesn't have much time left? Afraid so. The medical staff says there's not much they can do. How awful. Blade must feel so helpless. I get it now. So that's why you wouldn't let Blade fly that mission alone, right, Commander? You knew about his sister's condition, so you didn't want Blade to be too far away. That was darn considerate of you, sir. Shara, how you doing? Fine. Hi, Shara. Is there anything we can do? Mm, I want to go to the ocean. Oh? Why there? Because the ocean's where I played with my family as a child. <laughs> Shara, let's go. That is if you feel well enough. What do you say? I think I'm well enough to go, Blade. But I don't want to go until it's morning. Why? Because I don't want to look at the moon. I'm tired. I need to sleep. Welcome, my Technoman brothers. I am preparing myself for victory. Together, there is no force in the universe that can stop us. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Terran Allied Military Command Center, General Galt, commander of the Terran Military Defense Force, is in the process of briefing his men on his secret plan, Thunderhawk. Throughout history, there have been many great leaders with the intestinal fortitude to take chances. General Reynolds in the taking of Huron 6 is a fine example of this. Hatton, MacArthur, Rommel, Page, Weiner. These are men that took risks. But General, this plan is highly dangerous. My one job is to eradicate the aliens. Got it, Captain? This missile will wipe out our enemy. We call it the Thunderhawk. It carries a 250 megaton nuclear warhead. I used to love to play in that old lighthouse. It sure doesn't look the way I remember it. Come on, Char. Let's go. I know a lot of things have changed, but it still feels good to be out here. It reminds me of all the good times we had together. Come on, don't just stand there. Let's go for a walk. Uh, sure. She's a brave kid. Running contingency program for lunar assault. Base to target retaliation. Lunar ground assault. Air to land missile assault. All right, Tina. Now run the covert op simulation and compare it with the other program. Well, Commander, hard at work? I'm in the middle of battle simulations, General. I'll need to get back to you. Oh, you'll want to talk to me when you hear why I've called. I have the Thunderhawk. You have the Thunderhawk? The nuclear missile? That's right, Jameson. Do you still insist on calling back? <laughs> it's so cold, but it feels good. Blade, are you having a good time out here? Uh, sure I am, Shara. What do you think of Star? She seems very nice. Are the two of you... you know? Um, well, I like her a lot. Uh, we're just... just friends. Oh. I hope that someday you marry the person of your dreams and have lots of children. You know, I'd hate to think of you all alone by yourself. Because I won't be around much longer.
Let's not talk about that now, Blade. Let's just have fun, all right? <laughs> we had a picnic right here. Remember? All our food was out and that big dog ate it up. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> I'm so glad we came here today. It means a lot to me to see this beach one more time. I wonder what they're talking about. Can you hear them? No, but I heard her laughing, and that's a good sign. Oh, General, you must know to release a bomb of that magnitude is insanity. Reconsider. I'm going ahead with it. My scientists inform me that if we shoot the Thunderfuck missile into the orbital ring, it'll explode, cause a huge nuclear reaction, ultimately causing the ring to collapse. When the orbital ring explodes, it's our hope that all the aliens will go with it, understand? Now here's where you come in. I want you and your space knights to distract the aliens just long enough to give us time to fire the missile. General, I can't go along with your decision. If the orbital ring breaks apart, it'll fall to Earth and millions will die. Are you certain? I've never been so certain of anything in my whole life. The orbital ring is held in place by a delicate balance of forces. If they fire the Thunderhawk, the explosion will separate the sections and the gravity of the Earth will pull them down upon us like giant bombs. This is the only way we can defeat these aliens. There are always casualties. A few people getting hurt can't stop us from saving the race. That stinks. What? How can you be so heartless? These are people you're talking about. Whose side are you on? You heard what the commander said. When it hits, it'll be just like a bomb. You can't risk the lives. Stop this insolence. Please, General, you can't do this. All life is precious. These people are counting on you to save them, not hurt them. Don't you have any family? Don't you know what it would feel like to lose someone close to you? <laughs> you don't have time to debate strategy, especially with underlings. We're firing at the ring, and that's final. General, what can you possibly hope to accomplish? Destroy the aliens, of course. You'll do nothing of the sort. I have information. Some new information about General the location Galt of... General Galt is... They're attacking, sir, but the missile's almost ready for launch. Blade! Blade, the base is being hit. Come on! Oh, no. <gasps> well, now, Commander, it looks like my plan has been put in motion. Just remember to hold up your end of the deal. But the aliens aren't on the ring. He's cut the transmission. Sir, we've got to stop him. Prepare the Thunderhawk for deployment immediately. Yes, sir. Attention all personnel. Thunderhawk locked in on primary target and ready for liftoff. It's time. Don't you worry about me, Sean. Blade. Okay? I'm not about to let Darkon defeat me. Pegasus, power on! Affirmative. I gotta take care of these guys. Hello, brother. You miss me? I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but we're going to have to destroy you. Save her! Not you! <laughs> <laughs> Well, my brother, 
The time has come to cut all family ties. I will demolish you and the rest of the Space Knights. If Blade wins, he makes my job that much easier. If he loses, I'll have greater control of the military. So I win either way. Maybe ought to send for reinforcements. <laughs> That's very funny, Blade. As Blade and his brother Saber are locked in mortal combat, their sister Shara lies in the Space Knight's infirmary, fighting a less violent, but no less deadly struggle. Her vital signs aren't looking very good. something we could do. Like what? It's out of our hands, Maggie. Hey, I kind of like being a techno man. Wonder if you could make a living at it. Uh-oh. Nice shooting, Pegasus. Look, Clay, I don't mean to be a nag or anything, but your 30 minutes of playtime are just about out. Beat it, Creed. Hey, seriously, kid, you're close to running out the clock. I suggest you shake these guys. I hear you, Ringo. I'll shake these guys, all right. Shake them up. Shake, rattle, and roll. Is that what you've been reduced to, Blade? Smoke screens and running away? Well, you haven't escaped, brother. Merely delayed the inevitable. <laughs> oh, what happened? Ringo, has Saber called off his attack? Well, I expected as much. Shara. <sighs> She's been like this for hours. We don't know what's causing these high levels of stress-related brainwave activity. A bad dream. <gasps> Saber and his pals. Those gorillas will pound this place to the ground. Our power feed is getting erratic. I'm not sure we can keep Shara stable through too many more hits like that one. Relentless as a force of nature, Saber and his followers continue their savage attack on the Space Knight's command center. We used to play this game of hide and seek when we were children, Blade. Do you remember? <laughs> Take a good long look at the command center, Mac. I don't think it'll be around much longer. Commander Jameson, this is Lieutenant McMillan of Allied Military Command. Can you read me, sir? Perfectly, son. Thank heavens. General Galt has activated the Ultron Bomb's enabling systems. The final countdown has begun. As of what time? Moments ago. I called you as soon as I found out, Commander. I'm breaking every regulation in the book, but someone has to stop him while there's still time. Encouraging insubordination, Commander. I'm shocked at you. Galt, stop the countdown. Don't be a fool, Jameson. I don't take orders from you. Besides, once the countdown's begun, there's no way of stopping it. In 25 minutes, the bomb will be launched. All you have to do is keep distracting the enemy until then. It's madness. It'll never work. You mustn't be such a pessimist. I'm sure if we all play our parts, it will come off perfectly. Keep up the good work. General Gall, listen to reason. General, you can't possibly think... He's cracked. The man's gone nuttier than a space monkey. The countdown is proceeding. Ultron energy levels, check. 
Capacitor integrity, check. Guidance and targeting systems, check. Stabilizers and blast shields, check. All functions are green and ready for firing, General. Excellent. All the great triumphs in history have been achieved at the cost of human lives. This one will be no different. A few million dead is a small price to pay for victory. Anytime you care to come out, Blade. My friends and I want to finish the game. Heads up, that madman Galtz brought the Ultron bomb online. He's gonna try to blow the space ring out of the sky. He's out of his mind. That's the understatement of the year. Come on, you can't be serious. Wait 20 minutes, you'll see how serious I am. Matt, there's no way to stop it, is that what you're saying? I believe Technoman might be able to do it. <laughs> But, sir, if we send Blade out there again, Saber and the others will be waiting for him. He must move quickly and quietly. But they'll be watching every possible way out. Every ventilation shaft, do you think? I completely forgot about them. There's one two kilometers to the east. But will he be able to get away without being seen? With a little luck, maybe so. We need a diversion. If I can distract those clowns long enough with the Blue Earth, that might do it. But hey, Ringo... believe me, I'd be more than happy to listen to other suggestions, but frankly, I can't think of any. Can you, Star? Maggie, would it be possible to augment the Technobot speed with an auxiliary booster? Mm-hmm. I don't see why not. Sure thing. We can give the Technobot enough horsepower to reach the Ultron bomb launching site with time to spare. Well, then it's up to you, Blade. I know you don't want to leave your sister's side, but will you go? Hmm? Yes, you must go, Blade. Save your strength. They're counting on you. Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. Shara. How do you think I'd feel knowing I kept you here when there's so much at stake? Don't make me bear that burden. Please, Blade, go. Go. you promise me one thing. I'll wait for you, Blade. Is that what you want to hear? Promise. Of course. I'm not going anywhere until we've walked along the beach once more. Just like when we were children. The Technobot's coming out in 30 seconds, so it's time to make a commotion, Ringo. I got you. One big commotion coming up. Technobot has left the yes, center. but look at what they've done to the catapult. This may be the Blue Earth's last takeoff for a while. Not so fast. No! Come on, pull up, pull up, Ringo. I can't believe the blade was on board that ship. Which means he must still be cowering inside the command center. Blade must almost be there by now. You're right. If only I could... <sighs> Don't worry about your brother. He's pretty good at this type of thing. He'll come back. I'm sure he will. Not about that, at least. What then, Shara? Please tell me. Star, please take care of him after I'm gone. <laughs> Condition red. All non-essential personnel prepare to evacuate. Everybody below ground at the shuttle docks. The command center is about to collapse. When that happens, anyone left above ground level will be done for. Only three more minutes. Can you feel it? Can you feel the tide of battle shifting and the course of history being altered? Hmm? Take the man.
What's the meaning of this? Why have you come here? General Galt, call off the launch. Awaiting your order, sir. Shall we call it off? Call it off? You must be out of your mind. I was going to say the same about you. This scheme of yours is madness. It's madness? To want to save the planet and destroy the enemy? Blow up the space ring and destruction will rain down on millions of innocent people the world over. And you still won't have achieved your mission. Uh, 30 seconds to launch, sir. Stop wasting my time. The countdown will continue. Carry on. You'll have solved nothing, General. The space ring is just a venomoid outpost. Of course you'd say that. They're your friends, aren't they? Their real base is located on the far side of the moon. You think I'd trust anything you say? Conniving traitor. So that's the way it's gonna be, huh? Don't touch that control panel! In the final 60 seconds, the countdown cannot be terminated. Any attempt to do so will merely result in the self-destruction of this missile base. Sit back and watch the fireworks with the rest of us. <laughs> you are insane. <laughs> Savior of all humanity! <laughs> Pegas! Bring me in closer, Pegas. Hurry! this Ultron bomb can dish out. Now we'll find out if it can take it. Set for maximum range and payload. G3 area is... Yes, our own location. Oh, no! It means our escape route's been cut off. We're boxed in. I was a fool not to have ordered the evacuation sooner. What do we do? Stay calm and shut off that intercom. Shara, what in the world do you think you're doing? Let me go, I've got to... Don't be ridiculous, get back in bed! <gasps> I'm sorry, Star. sent you to fight his battles for him. It's my battle now! I've got to get back to Shara. wrong, sister. You seem to be a little off your game today. Not feeling well, hmm? 
hang on. I'm feeling well enough to deal with you, you monster. You traitor! Optimistic. Oh, oh. Hang on, that doesn't mean that I've lost all hope. The Blue Earth was designed to withstand a direct hit from a Class G asteroid, wasn't it, Mac? Yes, sir. The Blue Earth can take quite a licking. So keep on trying to raise him, Tina. of Earth. All goes according to plan. As we suspected, their puny armies are no match for our spider crabs. Their feeble weapons have little firepower, and their so-called planetary defense force is nearly helpless. Their troops are being defeated all over the planet. Within a few weeks, all resistance will be crushed, and the planet Earth will be completely under our control. But beware of the Technoman called Blade. He escaped before completing the transformation and may still be loyal to Earth. If he attempts to interfere, destroy him. They're attacking the space ring. I've got to stop them. Vacation? was right. You are a traitor. Depends on your point of view. I don't know how you escaped from the techno system, but there'll be no escape this time. Don't stop now, I'm just getting warmed up. Sorry, but the Phenomoids will have to find another planet to conquer. You're through, Jagger! That's what you think. <laughs> you fool. Did you 
really think you can stop us? You haven't won yet. Our victory is only a matter of time. But your time has run out. Goodbye, Blade. something. Look, he's human, all right. Yeah. The question is, who is he? He took quite a beating, but most of his wounds are superficial. He should be waking up any minute. See? What did I tell you? Wonder who he is. You. Do you serve the Venomoid invaders? Or are you loyal to the planet Earth? Answer me! Venomoid? You mean the aliens? An answer! I want an answer! Yeah? Listen, you jerk, we're space knights. We're fighting for the Earth, not against it. If anyone here is the enemy, it's you, pal. Set's up! Intruder alert. Unauthorized entrance. Anger three. Right! <laughs> We've only got a few seconds. Powering up. Come on, right behind. Ah! Space ring. I have to destroy as many as I can. From the inside of the airlock? That would be a silly idea, wouldn't it? I plan to fight them out in space, Ringo. That is impossible. There's no oxygen out there. It's a total vacuum. You don't have a chance. Wrong. Are you nuts or something? Didn't you hear me? Don't you understand, Blade? It's you two that don't understand. What's he up to? Cut off all circuits to the aft section and to the main airlock. Who knows what he'll do? Roger. The amazing power of his emerald techno crystal, which calls upon the universal forces of time and space. Blade is endowed with impenetrable armor, quantum energy weapons, and superhuman powers, transforming him into the warrior superhero known as Techno Man! Boy, and is it ever exciting! Techno Man is terrific, and oh, isn't it absolutely rad when he's beating the tar out of those? No need to go overboard, Tina. But I must admit, his battle prowess is very impressive. The most powerful weapon in the universe, and the president wants it controlled by a bunch of renegades. Well, we'll just see about that. In the last battle with the Venomoids, I wasn't just losing my strength, Tina. I was losing what makes me a human being. Huh? There's a kind of time limit. For up to 30 minutes, I'm safe. I'm in complete control of my powers. But after that, the techno power takes over. I can feel my humanity slipping away. The evil that made me what I am begins to get the upper hand. Get this straight. I don't trust you. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Techno power! It's a trap! There weren't really any- 
any survivors. It's Dagger. The crystal is damaged. Crystal, it's been shattered. It's useless. Without it, I can't transform into Techno Man. One Techno Man in exchange for the survival of your species. You have until 1200 hours to decide. What? Bot up here that's got your name on it. What? The thing's voice activated, so you gotta make the commands loud and clear. Got it? No, it can't be. You're a techno man again. What are you doing? You know what time it is, Dagger? What? It's time to say goodbye. Oh yes, and a reporter's been assigned to us. Reporter? What reporter? That's me. Who are you? The name's Balzac. I'm a war correspondent and I'm here to do a story on you space knights. I lost three men today. Three fine young men whose families won't ever see them again. Of course, we decimated the enemy and gained our objective, so militarily we're a success. But do you think those three families feel the same way? War isn't numbers, it's people. Don't ever forget that blade. Our plan of attack? Code name Ace High. It begins with a feint on two fronts. The core of the Space Wing will be subjected to an obvious attack by groups Queen and King. Where are you, Blade? Gone already? What a pity you left me for the final curtain. You're going to miss the finale. What was that? It's another Techno Man! What went wrong, Blade? What happened? Darkon has sent another Techno Man to replace Dagger. Techno power! You were given the sort of power men can only dream of. You threw it
Space nights to come. You all look stunning, or is that stun? Don't you recognize me without a camera? It's Paul Zack! Can't be true. I don't want to hurt anybody. I'm not a monster. Or am I? Actions are what prove a man's worth. You're right, Star. You're right. Was never like you. No monster. I'm a human being. Where are you? at its face, its hands. It walks on cloven hooves. It's a monster, a devil. <gasps> no! Please, no! <laughs> Is there nowhere I belong? <laughs> Lay, I'm here. Please answer me. Hello, dear sister. Oh. Goodbye, little sister. Madman Goltz brought the Ultron bomb online. No! Set for maximum range and payload. Stay here doing nothing. 
save him, to save them all. All I ask is a little more time. Shara! is now controlled by enemy forces. And if we don't evacuate within the next few minutes, our last remaining escape routes will be cut off. All personnel under my command have been given the coordinates of the new Space Knight Command Center, which is currently under construction, and have been ordered to regroup at that location three months from this date. Meanwhile, they are to find safety and shelter as best they can. Know this. We shall do everything in our power to protect the human race from its enemies. We'll fight to the last man, to the last breath. We'll never give up. Never. Look! Rashid, no, be still. To the pit, hurry! That should hold it. That is our hope. The question is, for just how long will the beast be held? Why are we using a trap? Why don't we just destroy this spider crab, Grandfather? Our weapons are the reason for this, Rashid. These monsters are too strong for mere bullets to harm them. But as long as the creature is trapped here, we are safe for a while. I see. Then we wait for the Savior in Red. Huh? What do you mean? They all talk about the Savior in Red. How he can destroy the spider crabs with help from no one. They always tell such stories. They lie. I heard this from someone who saw it with his very own eyes. Then this person lied to you, my grandson. There is no savior in red or any other color who can protect us from them. Ever since these monsters came down from the space ring, people have wanted to have a protector. But there is no one. We must ourselves be strong. This is truth, my grandson. Yet if there really is a red savior, grandfather, we wouldn't have to fear the spider crabs. The village would be safe. It's true. It's as they say. Our savior is the Technoman Blade. Technoman Blade? Rashid, this is only a story that you heard somewhere. We are alone. This Technoman will not save us. But, Grandfather, what if he truly can? Rashid, you must not let daydreams govern your life. We depend only on ourselves. That is the only way we shall survive. Understand? I said, do you understand, Rashid? Yes, Grandfather. Then come along. All of you. Yes, at once, Effendi. We still have power. At once, Effendi. Yes, Effendi. again, Effendi. Quickly, before we attract more spider crabs. Oh, 
I see you are new to the village, my friend. You are not the first, nor will be the last to journey here. All who come here come seeking the power we still have, but since the monsters came, we are willing to share. Excuse me, sir, are you thirsty? Would you like to have a drink? Mm-hmm. <gasps> what is that? If that creature destroys our generator, we can no longer live in the village. We must run for our lives. If the Red Savior is out there, let him come to us now! Keep going! I'll cover you! We cannot do that! Do it anyway! Come on, baby! almost a waste of my powers to use them on such a puny opponent. If you fight as well as you talk, you might be a challenge, but somehow I doubt it. If he's not Blade, he can't win. <laughs> Look at it this way. At least you have the honor of being destroyed by the greatest Technoman of them all. You'll pardon me if I decline the offer. Your tongue. <laughs> Are you all right? Are you hurt? He needs help. Rashid, come back. Don't go out there. What do you think you're doing, kid? Go back. No. We are together. And together we will face what is to come. You mean it, don't you? You got a lot of guts, kid. I appreciate the offer. But this is my fight, not yours. But you are not the Red Savior. What can you do? Until this Red Savior yours shows up, the only thing I can do is keep fighting. Come meet your doom. I don't think so. What? You still dare to oppose me? Huh? <laughs> Clap <laughs> this off, Chuckles! <laughs> I'm scared! Yeah. Uh. Uh. 
Yeah. The game's over, techno wimps. No! Ah. <laughs> But it is, and so is this. Pegasus Battle Mode! Affirmative. Son, I am sorry for doubting you. You have said, Grandfather, living is learning. All right, Axe, it's time to answer a few questions. I hope I like the answers. <laughs> You're a big talker, but I noticed you took your time in getting here. Well, I'm here now. I don't believe it. Yeah! I'll never forgive you for what you did to Shara. started come back your ex we're not finished yes we are blade but don't worry I'll be back again you can count on it <laughs> I'll be waiting thanks Ringo I have not ever seen anything like that. You saved our village. You saved our power. You saved us. This is my grandfather Mubarak. He is the leader of our village. My grandson. The village is safe. We thank you, Techno Man. It's good to see you, pal. And you. After all these months, we weren't sure anymore. We didn't know where you'd gone. Yeah. None of our contact points got any messages. Why didn't you leave us some word? The truth is, my friend, I didn't know what I was doing or where I was going. I was lost. I don't understand. What, what were you so confused about? What happened? I lost my family, Ringo. Save her! No! Ah! No! Shara! Ah, just in time to say goodbye. Sorry, buddy. We all liked her a lot. 
we've got to find a way to get the aliens off this planet. We're the only ones who can ensure the survival of the human race. I've got to destroy Darkon. I've got to get up to the moon. In what? Don't you worry about that, Ringo. I know where the base is, and I know how to get there. There are no spaceships. They were all destroyed. So you're not planning to fly there? Yes, that's exactly what I plan on doing. By redirecting the quantum energy power of a Technoman crystal. That's why I've been traveling. I need to find another crystal. Listen, you're one taco short of a combination plate. You listen, Ringo. The last thing my sister gave me was Darkon's base coordinates. Sorry, Blade. I know how you felt about Shara, and I didn't mean any disrespect. I know. I know you didn't. Blade, what are we going to do? What's this planet going to be like? It's going to be better. After we rebuild, it's going to be better. Well, you get no argument from me there. No way it could get any worse. Ringo, it could be a lot worse. Yeah, well, I gotta admit it, you got a point there, all right. After all, we're still alive and kicking, aren't we? Somehow I never thought of you as a cockeyed optimist. <laughs> Did everyone get out all right? Are you asking about everyone in general? Or are you asking about someone in particular? Come on. What is this? An ammunition belt or fried potatoes? If you don't like the way I cook, why don't you do it next time? Listen, I'm a mechanic, and in my professional opinion, this is beyond repair. Oh, yeah? What would a grease monkey know about cooking? More than you do, button pusher. Is that sink private, or can anybody wash dishes? What are you waiting for? It's good to see you. Oh. You look beautiful. I've been wanting to tell you that. I've been wanting to tell you... How much you care. indicators are they stable yep they look just fine way to go maggie that's great and the data feed systems are they still online checking now yes still online it's better than we could have hoped for technobot you passed inspection you may now shut down all non-essential operations Affirmative. we're about out of juice if we don't get a charge soon we're not going anywhere all of our energy tanks are nearly empty, and we're still a long way from anywhere. I don't mean to be a drag or anything, but... Then don't be. Think of a way to keep going instead. We can always get out and push. Hi, guys. Good news. We finished scanning the Technobot and Technosuit. And we're selling them for scrap, right? Quite the contrary, Ringo. They're both functioning remarkably well, considering what they've been through. That's a relief, isn't it, Blade? A little good news for a team. They're not in perfect shape by any means. They've sustained considerable damage, structurally and systemically. The most serious damage being to the Emerald Crystal in the Technobot. It's going to have to be replaced, if we can even find another one. Sure we can. We'll just take the crystal out of one of those other Technomen, Saber, or those goons he hangs with. It won't be easy, but if we can find a new crystal, it'll give me the power to reach Darkon's base on the far side side of the moon. Hold on. First things first, Blade. If we did install a new crystal, I'd want to run some tests first. Back in my lab in the command center. What's that? I thought the command center was totally destroyed. It was. The effort to rebuild it is being overseen by Mac and Commander Jameson. Up there. The damage is so extensive, there's no saying when or even if it'll ever be fully operational. So you see, before we can do that, we've got to shore up the structure. And before we can do that, we've got to tear down this catapult and rebuild it. When will it be completed? <sighs> 
don't know. Because we haven't been able to make radio contact with them. Meanwhile, for five months now, we've been wandering around like a bunch of blind mice, trying to find a shuttle, a ship, a blimp, anything to replace the Blue Earth. And in the meantime, our friend Darkon has been one busy beaver, turning our planet into one giant hothouse for these spore plants of theirs. The spores are everywhere, Blade, and they're getting ready to bloom all over the planet. That's what your sister Shara was warning us about. And when they do, the Venomoids will have accomplished their goal. Yes, I know. But there's got to be more to it than that. Well, if it comes to you, let us know, will you, pal? The one thing I am sure of is that I've got to defeat Saber and the other Technoman and use one of their crystals to replace mine. That won't be easy. I know. Yeah, if you're going to take on all four of them, tell me where I should send the flowers. Ringo, jeez, grow up. Look, a town. A town. People. Lights. Power. Hot water. Showers. You see, no big thing. I told you we'd make it. I don't know what everyone was getting so excited about. <laughs> Blade and Ringo go into town to search for a way to recharge the energy tanks. The others remain behind with the land cruiser. Where'd you learn about cooking, Star? Oh, here and there. Ow! Oh, oh, I hate peeling potatoes. I guess Star's a little more comfortable punching a keyboard than cooking. At this rate, we'll have more fingers than potatoes in the stew. Oh! oh. Here, let me do that while you, uh, triangulate our coordinates or something. You're right. I might as well stick to something I'm good at, huh? Well, that was really diplomatic. Honestly, Maggie, sometimes you can be so dense. Making this dinner for Blade meant a lot to her. And then you had to go and make her feel like she was just getting in the way. I honestly didn't mean to hurt her feelings. It's just, we don't have many potatoes left. What was I thinking? I'm no good around anything but machines and circuit boards. I can't even peel a potato. Meanwhile, Blade and Ringo have found a community living on the bleak edge of oblivion. Its inhabitants struggling to survive. For the last time, the answer is no. We have barely enough power reserves for ourselves without doling it out to every stranger who wanders into town. Yes, but we only need a little, just enough. And a little's more than we can give you. We're not a welfare station for wandering beggars. As it is, we can only power up our generator once a month. Once, that's it. And even then, for no longer than five hours. That's so the spider crabs won't have time to find us. So you see, stranger, even if we wanted to help you, which we don't, we can't, so we won't. Now, get out of here before I get angry. Mister, you don't know who you're talking to. We're Space Knights. Yeah, I thought as much. <laughs> I got news for you. Space Knights aren't too popular around here. It's thanks to you guys that we're in the fix we're in. If you'd have done the job you were paid for, there wouldn't be any spider crabs were there. Now leave me alone. You're giving me a headache. Hang on. No. Save your breath, Ringo. Friendly little burg, isn't it? Look at these guys. I'd feel more welcome walking in on a spider crab slumber party. Can you really blame them? Their energy is the most precious thing they've got. Yeah, well, maybe we'll have a little bit better luck in the morning. Excuse me, would you like to buy a flower? Star loves flowers. Why not buy her some? <laughs> hey, don't be shy. Look, it's not like she doesn't already know how you feel about her. You guys were getting pretty tight before the team split up and you disappeared into the woodwork. The whole time you were missing, when we thought maybe you'd bought the farm, it hit her pretty hard. She was as low as I've ever seen her. I'm being serious, kid. I've never known Star to be especially religious, but one time, I think I even saw her praying for you. She was? Personally, I have no idea whether that stuff works or not. Listen, between you and me, you may owe that girl your life. A few flowers is the least you can do. The mayor said no? 
And so you come crawling back here with your tail between your legs, you're just gonna leave it at that? We're Space Knights, Ringo. We never take no for an answer. I can't believe you'd let him get away with it. No! Oh! Sorry. Don't worry about it. Nothing a few skin grafts couldn't fix. Anyway, tomorrow's the day they're scheduled to fire up the generator. We'll try asking again then. You think they'll be any more helpful tomorrow? Just let me deal with them, the greedy creepazoids. I'll teach them to be more helpful. We can only power up our generator once a month, and then for no longer than five hours. That's so the Venomoids won't have time to find us. I'm sorry. You will be all alone now. Forgive me. Blade? Hmm? What's up there? That monster on the far side of the moon? Or were you thinking about Shara again? Shara and Darkon, how powerless I am. Oh, that'll change, Blade. Someday everything will be put right again. I'm sure of it. Otherwise, the universe wouldn't make much sense. Now would it? Here, maybe this is the first step. It's a data file I've put together on one of Saber's henchmen named Technoman Axe. Yeah, go on. I figured if we could track him down, we'd have a shot at taking his crystal. Good idea. Thanks, Star. I know it's not a lot, but it's all I've got for now. We won't be going anywhere if we don't find a power source. Yeah, you're right. With the rising of the morning sun, the town gathers near the dilapidated old generator tower, waiting anxiously for it to give them the power they need for another month of existence. Come on, we only want enough to get us to the next outpost. You wouldn't even miss it. We're not gonna beg if that's what you want. We're space knights. If it weren't for us, none of you would even be alive. Save your breath. We're not impressed. What did you expect? That we be intimidated by those fancy uniforms you wear? Well, we've got you outmanned and outgunned, and we won't be pushed around. Ringo? Hit the road, soldier, before things get ugly. He's right. Now's not the time. <laughs> All right. Turn on the generator. All clear so far, sir. Go ahead and start her up. Start the turbine. Selfish, overfed oaf. Who does he think he is? Hasn't he ever heard of share and share alike? You ought to pay him a visit in the techno suit, Ringo. That would sure wipe the grin off his face. What are you talking about? Get a hold of yourselves. They're civilians. We're not attacking them no matter how unfriendly they may be. Now at half power, we should have enough energy to get to the next outpost. So let's get going. Space Knights. <laughs> that was easier than I thought it would be. So much for them. Nothing on the horizon yet. Huh? What's going on? The energy flow's been interrupted. What's going on? <sighs> it's the spider craft. Quick, stop the turbine. We can't. We lost control of it. Shut down the generator. Shut it down. A spider crab. It's huge! Yeah, looks like they started pumping energy at the wrong time. That monster's about to make a power lunch out of that generator of theirs. I'm taking us back. Come on, Star, don't be a simp. They weren't gonna help us. Why should we help them? It's our job. We can't just turn our backs. You better get into your techno suit. They treat us like dirt. Now we have to go out and save their hides? Boy, there are times this job is no fun at all. Pegasus! Cruiser launching dock open. Ready when you are, Blade. Star 
car's on our way now. Tina and I will coordinate the attack from here. Ringo, can you hear me? Roger. This is a bad idea. Get ready to back up late. We need all the firepower we've got. Take me down, Pegasus. <gasps> What a surprise. Those goons of yours seem so brave when they were facing unarmed people. You just can't get good help nowadays, can you? It's about time. What were you Space Knights waiting for? An engraved invitation? Stop those things. Jeez, this guy really wins the Engrade of the Year award. You know, I have half a mind to just leave him here. Whoa, where'd that big sucker come from? I got him, Ringo. Yeah! I think you just gave him a headache. Watch out! The generator! Sure can take a punch. Huh? The flower girl. What's she doing there? Blade, watch out! Do it not with her in the blast range. Your warheads, Blade. Fire them. The fool, what's he waiting for? Go on, let him have it. He's pointing D down there. <gasps> the child. Gave us quite a scare, young lady. Are you okay? Fine. Good. I never meant anything personal. You gotta believe me. Okay, the power feed from the generator is coming online now. It all looks good here, Tina. Energy tanks are already at 60% capacity. Roger, Star. Everything's fine at this end, too. Looks like we're up and running again. I, I know they're not much. I owe you a lot more than a, a, a bunch of flowers. But, well... I can be satisfied with these. For now. We must be getting warmer. It looks like this place has been attacked recently. Yeah, I can still see it smoking. Maybe those rumors were true. The Technoman Axe has been in the neighborhood. It's possible he attacked some other cities around here, but not this one. No? How can you be so sure, Blake? Look around, Maggie. If a Technoman had attacked this place, there wouldn't be anything left standing. Yes, you've got a point. Ringo, are you all right? Ringo? I want to check out those large estates on the far side of town. Maybe we'll get lucky and find a private energy dump. 
right. Maggie and I will reconnoiter the city center and look for survivors. Let's rendezvous back here in two hours. Right. Keep on your toes and watch your backs, guys. Whoever's responsible for all this damage might still be around and want to finish what they started. Wish I knew what it was that was bothering Ringo. Ringo, what? Sorry, road isn't what it used to be. Looks like we'll have to take another road. Hey, look! Baruse Avenue! I've heard that somewhere before. Ringo, isn't Baruse the street that you grew up on? What? Hang on! Let him go. I think I know where he's headed. At the academy, they always teased him about how he came from such an old aristocratic family. They called him Little Lord Fondleroy. That's his family's crest. I saw it on a letter he got once. So this is Ringo's home? Yes, what's left of it. Hello? Father? It's you! Why, Master Richard, you've come back at last. I was an idiot not to recognize your voice. Forgive me, old friend. Oh, no, sir. It was I who was to blame. Skip it, Wannabe. I'm just happy you're alive. Hey, I just realized why the house is deserted. Because of me, right? Since you didn't recognize me, you sent everybody to the shelter. Nice to see you, sir. It's been a long time. Welcome home, sir. Welcome back. Hello, everyone. It's great to see you again. But where's my dad? I am sorry, Master Richard, but your father, the general, is not here. As soon as he learned that an attack was imminent, he ordered all the servants and their children into the shelter while he remained above ground to face the aliens. We haven't seen him since. Sounds like father. Shed no tears for the man who falls in the line of duty. He's only done what's expected of him. The least you can ask of any soldier. Okay, old man. No tears. Meanwhile, on the far side of the village... How long have you been tracking it? 
for several minutes. Purpose and identity unknown, but suspicious. Right. What are you talking about? Time we got a look at them, Pegasus. Affirmative. No! Ah, <laughs> hey, let me go! What's a big idea? Out with it. Why have you been following us? I'm sorry, a case of mistaken identity. I thought you were someone else. <gasps> Who exactly? I thought you might be one of that bunch who tore up this town. The aliens? No, not them. That motorcycle gang, the hyenas. They're the real monsters, not the aliens. You mean human beings did this? Yeah, if you can believe it. As human as you and me. You always said you'd be a teacher, didn't you, Sophia? Yes, but our school's a shambles. We have no computers. We don't even have books. <laughs> These are hard times for everybody, but they're toughest on the kids, I guess. Here you go, little guy. The main problem is boredom. There's so little for them to do. Richard, I wonder. Huh? You used to play soccer. Do you think you could teach them how to play? Come on. This is no time for fun and games, Sophia. We happen to be in the middle of a war. How can I forget? And that's precisely why I think it's so important. I think there should be more to life than mere survival. Now more than ever, they need to have fun. They need to have something to fill their days besides chaos, burnt out homes, and brutality. But where would your playing field be? There isn't a patch of ground anywhere in town not covered with debris. Yes, I'm afraid that's true. It's not exactly safe out there. Especially with the hyenas still around, that crazy bunch of animals might return any minute to finish the job they started. So Blade was right about it not being techno men who attacked this town, it was people. And that's the point, I don't want these children to become like them. I want to get them something besides violence to hang on to. Something good and healthy and pure and civilized. Okay, Sophia, you've convinced me. We'll set up a playing field on my father's estate, but I'll only do it on one condition. Anything, Richard, just name it. Stop calling me Richard. Nowadays, it's Ringo to my friends. We've got a soccer field! Here, I've never seen you sweat before. <laughs> Thanks, Tina. Now all we need to get things started is a real soccer ball. Don't you worry, Ringo. Sophia's taking care of it. I think she's got something special in mind. Special? What do you mean? The ball Richard won the championship with. I've kept it all this time. Wanna come out and play with us? We're back! What's that? Water fire? I fear that Richard Band of Murderers has returned, Master Richard. <laughs> Your girlfriend can't play today. I'm afraid she's kind of tied up right now. I give up. Who are these buzzards? Look, they got kids are tied up there. Uh, stay back, everyone. What you gonna do about it, rich boys? Number you, sir. Careful. Listen, you pinheads, put her down and get off my property. Or what? You and that spindly old butler of yours gonna take us on? <laughs> I never thought there'd be a day I'd be happy to see a spider crab. Most likely they were drawn here by those idiots firing their mortars. Keep an eye on the others. Forget about our little rich boy for now, guys. Get ready to move out! <laughs> Hurry, Ringo, I've got your techno suit. <laughs> Take her, Scar. I think she's fainted. I've got her. 
Don't worry, sir. I got you covered. Barney, stay out of this. Take Sophia to the shelter. You go with him, Star. Time for you to bail out too, Ringo. You can't handle them all, and you must be running low on ammo. Sorry, but I gotta go the route. You know how it is. Like father, like son. Laid the groundwork. Is that what you were doing? Your family had a beautiful home, Ringo. I'm sorry it's gone. It was awfully nice of you to donate the land to the school. It's great that the kids finally have a place to play. Oh, oh. Aren't you gonna miss me? He me! Nah. I'm sure your father would be proud. Come on, let's go. Wait, what's the rush? I hate long goodbyes. That's good because there's no time to waste. I've picked up a distress signal from Sector Blue Tango 12 describing an attack. It sounds like it could be the Technoman Axe. And what are we waiting for? Just what we needed, another false alarm. These wild goose chases are starting to get me a little depressed. How about you, Blade? You could say that. I bet sure. Blade wouldn't be depressed if you were a lonely star on a wild goose chase. <laughs> I bet you got that right. You are so silly. Sure, Star may be good with computers and handy in a fight, but I can give you all of that as well as a perfectly executed souffle. Why, I don't think she would even know how to boil an egg or make toast. <laughs> oh, come on, Star. You knew I was only joking, didn't you? This is no joke. Look up ahead, everybody. Somebody's sure burning the midnight oil. Jeez, what do you think it is? A big waste of energy, for one thing. Are they nuts? Those spotlights will draw the spider crabs for sure. Ooh, Star, what are you trying to do? Wow, this place is lit up like a giant birthday cake. Or a spider crab invitation. Let's go in there and pull the plug. Hey, 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 what are you easy, doing? Easy, chill out, kid. We don't want to go in there half cocked. Ringo's got a good point. Whoever that is in there may not be in a mood to cooperate. But it's wrong. Somebody has to stop them. Look, maybe we ought to give him a break. Who can blame him for wanting to blow off a little steam? Are you saying we should just stand by and do nothing in spite of the danger? Let the poor guys have some fun while they can. Well, it's certainly not normal procedure. Later that night, aboard the Space Knight's land cruiser, the Green Earth. I can't believe we just left them to carry on like that. It's incredibly irresponsible. Hey, come on, Star. Give me a little credit. I have a hidden purpose. Meaning what, exactly? Meaning he's got some kind of a plan, right, Ringo? A plan, right. Well, let's hear it. Listen, all the energy pouring out of that Honky Tonk Cafe is bound to draw Axe or one of the other techno men out of the woodwork. And when he shows up, we'll be here waiting for him. It certainly beats driving around looking for them under every rock. Exactly. Exactly. On top of everything, we save fuel. You're suggesting we use those people as bait? Who cares about that bunch of bums? They deserve what they get. You mean we'd be there to intervene before anybody got hurt. Isn't that right, Ringo? A techno man trap. Yeah, it's worth a try. I'm beginning to think we may not be the first to have thought of it. Huh. What is it, Maggie? It just occurred to me that there is a mechanized mortar squad whose base is somewhere right about here. The military? Here? The computer is showing a 90-man unit posted less than five kilometers to the west of us. You think those voices coming from the cafe were soldiers? They might have had the very same idea we had. So they're trying to get the aliens' attention. But they have no idea what they're in for. Gee, I take back what I said about them. Those guys aren't bums. They're more like a bunch of suicidal maniacs. Maybe not. They might have a carefully worked out plan that we know nothing about. It's possible that by involving ourselves, we run the risk of jeopardizing their whole operation. Come on, without our help, they won't have a chance. Hate to break this up. But if those incoming pingers on the monitor mean what I think they mean, the decision's out of our hands. Looks like those jugheads got what they were looking for. You're on, Blade. Keep your fire steady! That's it! Damn it! He's blessed, sucker! Get on the blower and tell those morons to leave this to us. Tell them to pull out of there before the whole squad's lost. Tell them yourself. Their commander's right here on the vid screen. Welcome, Space Knights! Join the fun! <laughs> Who is this guy? Sir, my ammo's having...
have a no effect, what do you suggest? I suggest you prepare to be destroyed! There's some backup, sir! I don't like the looks of this guy! The feeling's mutual, you pathetic little insect! Fire! time be, Ringo. How many homes have to be destroyed, cities leveled, lives put in danger, in order for me to find another crystal? I'm starting to wonder, is all this destruction worth it? Maybe there's a better way. If there is, we'll find it. It looks like the entire world has become a wasteland. Nothing but desolation as far as the eye can see. We'll soon be out of this. Monitor shows there's a clearing not far from here. A warning of hostile entities dead ahead. Spider crabs, big ones. Not again. Let's go. Wait a minute, guys. Take a look over there. They're turning into plants! And the plants are spreading more spores. Apparently they don't have any fear of us. They aren't even bothering to attack. All right, let's move out. Pointless to remain. Wow, check it out. What is it? Cool place. It's where we're going to spend the night. What if the owner doesn't want visitors? Shouldn't be a problem. It's probably been abandoned for a long time. Gotta be. This area is crawling with aliens. Come on, let's get out of here. Any place this creepy sure must be deserted. Boy, you're not kidding. Looks like something out of an old horror movie. We still shouldn't barge right in. I'll check it out. Anybody home? Evidently not. Not a problem. Piece of cake. Vegas, front and center. What do you want him for? Can opener. Vegas, open this, will ya? Affirmative. No, no, Pegasus, please stop. Affirmative. Pegasus, obey my order. Pegasus, you'll do as I say. I am confused. Stop it, you two. Pegasus can't obey both of you. Woo! Someone's home. Welcome. Welcome to Elysian Fields. I am Torg. I shall escort you to the mistress. Wow, ain't this some pad? It's right up your alley, isn't it, Star? Beautiful. Yeah, if your taste happens to run to gaudy antiques, I suppose it is. You bet. These objects are priceless. Much of what you see is early renaissance. You mean they're over 500 years old? That's amazing. 542. Excuse me, my mistake. <laughs> <laughs> It's old, all right. Yes, however, the robot is slightly inaccurate. For instance, that statuary over there is late Renaissance. Only about 490 years old. Must you know everything? Huh. Ow! 
the mistress will join you in the grand ballroom. Mm. Yeah, that figures. Is this some sort of dream? Don't see how it could be. She's real enough. Yes, she certainly is. Oh, she's lovely. Welcome. I am Gloria. We're very pleased to meet you. <laughs> We have so few visitors. I hope you can stay on here for a while. Well, I don't know. I I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Surely you must be aware of the danger that surrounds your home. Is there anyone else here that could protect you? Not at present. My grandfather is lord of the castle, but he's been abroad for some time. How long has he been gone? Been gone? I really don't know exactly. Was it before the mass invasion of all the spider crabs? More likely after. He probably went for help. Mm -hmm. Then you must be completely unprotected here in your own home. I think you're terribly brave to stay here all alone. Living here all by yourself, don't you get lonely? Why, no, I have talk. Excuse me, milady. Yes, what is it? The tea is ready to be served, milady. Thank you, Tog. That would be heavenly. Serving tea is a tradition we try to maintain in these difficult times. I hope you like it. Yes, very much. Uh, excuse me, miss, but why haven't you and your robot gone in search of your grandfather? It's very simple. I promised grandfather somebody has to maintain the place. I must do what he thinks is best. But aren't you concerned about the vegetation closing in all around your property? You mean the trees? I admit they're strange, but why should I be concerned about something as perfectly natural and harmless as a tree? Uh, harmless? You have reason to think otherwise? Yes, ma'am. A very good reason. They're extremely dangerous. They're all around your home. I'm sure they are, but you all must be very tired and we can discuss that later. My home is at your complete disposal and we'll try to make you as comfortable as possible. Torg, will you show our guests to their rooms? As you wish, milady. Oh, Miss Tina, I was just noticing you're my size. I have many dresses I don't wear anymore. Perhaps you'd like to wear them. Well, I... Don't take her up on it, kid. You wouldn't want to get used to something you're not going to be able to wear again, especially where we're going. Oh, my! Mind your own business. I'd be very pleased, miss. Hey, wait just a minute. <coughs> oh, isn't she a lovely child? A real bed. Oh, this is sheer heaven. Oh, wow. This place is gorgeous. We hope that you are comfortable. I'll manage. If you need anything, just ring. You are too large for these rooms. Won't you wait in the hall? You heard the man, Pegasus. Affirmative. We dine promptly at the hour of six o'clock. If you wish to freshen up first, please feel free to do so. Thank you, Torg. Wow, look at him go. That guy really moves, doesn't he? Oh, I may just have to sleep for the next few years. Don't get too comfortable. Those pods are getting closer every minute. The girl seems oblivious to the danger. Yeah, I know what you mean. What do you think happened to her grandfather? That's pretty obvious. The guy never made it. Who knows? The main thing is, how do we get her to leave here? Someone has got to convince her that it's too dangerous to stay here. You mean all of these beautiful dresses belong to you? I've never seen so many. I have many more. Here, yeah, try this one on while I check on something else. Thank you. I think I have just the right accessories for that dress. This belonged to my grandmother. Oh, you mustn't. Nonsense, dear. Gee. She would have wanted you to have it because we're going to be sisters. Huh? Uh, I mean, could we pretend to be sisters for a while? Well, sure, for a while. That'd be fun. Oh, it'll be simply marvelous. My original classification was warrior robot during Earth's civil wars. I was assigned here 62 years ago. To serve the mistress of this household. Understood. All right, are we all agreed then? Absolutely. It's settled. We take the girl along when we leave. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Dinner is served.
What's with Pegas? Designation Butler. Butler? You know, Pegas, I think you finally found your true calling. Good evening. I have an exciting surprise for you all. Tina Dia? Tina! Oh, whoa! Mm, you be looking mighty fine. I'm sorry to be late. Welcome, miss. And may I say, you look lovely tonight. Thank you. You're beautiful. I can't believe it. Whoa! Oh! Maggie! Pegas, you make a lousy butler. Affirmative. Oh. <laughs> it's so peaceful and quiet here. So relaxing. Sure is a beautiful place, isn't it? find some way to persuade the girl to come with us. Yeah, me too. Gloria, we'll be leaving in the morning. Are you coming with us? Well, would I? You're in danger here. Your home's about to be gobbled up by spider crabs. I can't. I must wait for my grandfather to come back. Once we've gone, you'll be here all alone again. Your grandfather's been gone an awfully long time. He's already been gone for quite a while. He may not come back at all. My goodness. This old piano needs tuning. Would you stay here with me until he comes back? I'm afraid I couldn't do that. Oh, please, Tina. We could have so much fun if you would stay, and you promised me we would be like sisters. Gloria. It's creepy down here. Let's go. We really shouldn't be down here without asking permission anyway. Ah, come on. Don't be such a chicken. A mansion as big as this is bound to have a decent wine cellar. Yeah, and maybe a crypt. Look, you want to go back upstairs? Go right ahead. But the candelabra's coming with me. Uh, wait a minute. I'm coming. Bet this is it. This can't be a wine cellar. Yeah? Look, it's got an electric lock. Won't know till we see what's inside. Go ahead, try and open it. It's already open. Hmm? Really? See for yourself. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Hostile entities approaching from all surrounding quadrants. Intruder alert! Huh? Intruder alert! Come with me. Affirmative. This is definitely not a wine cellar. That it's not. Hmm, looks like some sort of crude science lab. Look, what's this? Huh. An old photograph. With Torg and Grandpa the year he passed away. What? Wait a minute, that doesn't make any sense. Happy birthday to Gloria. In the... 2077! Hey, that was over 10 years ago. Wait a minute, this is nuts. If he died 10 years ago... No. Did you just say something, Ringo? Maggie! Grandfather, I'd stay here till he got back. Ugh, stop this foolishness. We've got to leave now. Tina, Gloria, open up quickly. Oh no! 
There's nothing to be afraid of. We have a shelter underground. Come on. Gloria, don't you understand? We've got to leave. We've got to get out of here. You'll see, Tina. We'll have so much fun living as sisters in our home under the ground forever and ever. Are you serious? Just in time. I hate to miss a party. I think the party's about to heat up a bit. They're surrounding the castle. We've got to get out of here. Blade, Ringo, I'm on board the Green Earth, but the others haven't shown up yet. Something's wrong. Star and Tina should have been here by now. I'll go check it out. You'll have to hold your own for a while. I'll be fine. Now get moving. Gloria, let go of me! It's lovely down there, cool and serene and ever so quiet, and you'll be able to meet all my ancestors in the Great Vault. Tina! Gloria! Open this door! Do you hear me? Put me down, Torque, please! Dog, take my sister to the shelter. Please let me go. Everything is gonna be just fine. Uh, you mustn't, Torque! Milady's orders, I must take sister to safety underground. Tina and come with me. Oh! Please run away. I must take my mistress to the underground shelter. Dog! Oh. Tina, come on. Take care of her, Torg. My primary directive is to protect human life. You must run away now, miss. Tina! Gloria, goodbye. Oh, Torg, you'll protect me, won't you? If you'll follow me, ladies, your limo's right this way. Ah, thank goodness. What a pity my sister had to leave so soon. She belongs with her friends, milady. You won't leave me alone, will you? My master's orders are to stay and protect you, mistress, and protect you I shall. Dear grandfather, hates a messy house. We'll have a lot of cleaning up to do. That may be. May I suggest, milady, that you leave the castle with the others? Not. I promised him I'd be here, didn't I? Now let's go to the shelter and have a nice cup of tea. As you wish. Golly, do you think she's all right? I hope so. They've probably taken refuge in some sort of shelter. Continue their desperate fight against the aliens. Come across a young lady in desperate need of help. Ringo, get her out of there! I'm on my way, Blake! Oh. Uh. 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 Come on! Thanks for flying the unfriendly skies. You all right? Uh, yeah, I think so. How can I thank you? I owe you my life. It was my pleasure. You're just about the prettiest thing I've seen since the invasion. Ringo, you're embarrassing her. There, good as new. Rachel, we understand there's a town nearby. Well, there was a town around here, but it was destroyed by the aliens. How awful. Mm -hmm. That's just great. We're almost on empty. How are we supposed to fill the tank now? Man, that 
that was rough. Are you trying to ruin dinner? All the potatoes fell on the floor. It's difficult enough to try to prepare these meals without you hitting every single bump along the way. What? Potatoes again? I am so sorry, mademoiselle. We are out of Chateaubriand. Perhaps I can make it for you tomorrow. Hey, listen, we're lucky to have anything to eat at all. Ugh, you don't have to be so mean. Hey, listen, why don't all of you come to my house for dinner? Really? Huh? I bet you haven't had a home-cooked meal in quite a while. That's so sweet. Are you sure it's all right? It's my pleasure. We don't get much company out here nowadays. Yahoo! We're finally gonna get something decent for dinner. I heard that. Hey, take it easy, Maggie. Once in a while, we'd like something other than potatoes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> <laughs> This one looks good. Hey, we're not supposed to pick those. Huh? I saw you do that. <laughs> Here, now we're partners in crime. Thanks. Mm, not good. <laughs> mm, yummy. Who's that? Looks like my sister's bringing company. Hey, Rachel, over here! Oh, oh hey! Space Knights. Hi, sis! Oh, I'm glad you're back. I brought some friends. See? Who are they? They're nice people who saved my life. Hi! Hello. Glad to meet you. So tell me something, Rachel. Do you and your little brother live here all alone? No, a friend of mine lives here, too. You can see him down there at the end of the field. Just my luck. She lives with a guy. Oh, come on now, Ringo. Welcome to our little farm. Seems like forever since the last time we saw each other. So tell me, Blade, have you missed me? It's Balzac. I bet you never expected to run into me again, especially way out here in the middle of nowhere. Life can play some pretty funny tricks on you sometimes, know what I mean? We had some good times, though, didn't we, fellas? Oh, that's it. Somebody ought to smack you. Take it easy, Ringo. Like to join us for dinner? Your sister Rachel's quite a cook. Come on, Rick. We've got chores to do. I'd better get started in the kitchen. <laughs> this is oh, just everything delicious. is just wonderful, isn't it? Mm, this piece looks just perfect. Hey, Tina, I wanted to eat that. Too bad. First come, first serve. Oh, that is so rude. You know I wanted that piece, and I was going to take it, too, just as soon as I finished chewing. I didn't see your name on it. I have just as much right to it as you do. Do you think you own the entire plate? Besides, as far as I can see, you don't need the extra piece. Why, you little... All right, that's enough. Now, knock it off. She was a fine Hey, we are guests here, ladies. That's all right, Ringo. Actually, it's kind of nice. I haven't heard anyone argue in a long time. What's the matter, Blake? Don't you like it? Uh, I wouldn't take it personally, Rachel. He just wiped out. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, snap out of it, man. You're being rude to our hostess. Tell her the meal was delicious, huh? <laughs> That's all right, Ringo. Let him relax. I still think it's astounding that you know my friend Balzac. How do you guys know each other? Did you work together in the army? Were you a spy just like he was? Yes, how do you all know each other? Long story. Um, what's up? Aren't you two friends? I thought you guys worked together. Yeah, sure. Balzac used to be one of the best Space Knights. Huh? <laughs> That's so cool! I didn't know you were one of the Space Knights! When I get a... Ugh. I know you're excited, but that food belongs in your mouth, not on the table. Mm. So, what have you been doing? How have you been keeping yourself busy over the last few months? Unlike you, I've been minding my own business, not playing 20 questions. Hey! Don't. Excuse me. It was nice seeing all of you again, but I've got to get up early. Good night. But 
Rick finally went to sleep. Great. He and I learned something about you today. Yeah? I never knew that you used to be a member of the Space Knights. I was more like an undercover Space Knight. Really? Here, Rachel, let me give you a hand. I'll wash and you dry, all right? Sure, thanks. I really owe you a lot. You and your brother Rick have done an awful lot for me. And I'll always be grateful. Before I met you, when I was working with those guys, I was a very different person. All I cared about was doing my job and getting ahead. I didn't care how I got there or who I hurt. I smashed anybody who got my way. But what I didn't know was that I was headed for a fall. <sighs> bottomed out. While I lay there, I had time to think about my life. If it was over, I didn't have anything to show for it. I hoped that I would be given another chance. It was so ironic. I had spent a lifetime pursuing power, and there I was, helpless as a little kitten. Rachel, look down there! It's a man! Oh, I hope he's all right. Where am I? What happened? How did I get to this joint? I'll never forget it, that moment when I first looked out the door and saw this magnificent valley. It was so incredible I started to cry. The trees, the wheat blowing gently in the wind, the hills, the sun. I'd forgotten how beautiful the earth could be. You did more than save my life that day. You saved my soul as well. It gave me back my heart. So there's something I wanted to say to you, Rachel. No matter what happens, I will take care of you and Rick forever, I promise you that. Dear Balzac, you mean a great deal to me. everything together. If it hadn't been for you and the techno suit you designed, I never would have survived. If only you could be here now. I do miss you, pal. And I'll never forget you. But you see, I've really changed. I'm not the same guy you used to know. I have somebody who cares. I'm gonna get that dark on, I swear it! For what he did to you, and for the sake of all humanity. Huh? Late. What are you doing up so late? I thought you'd gone to bed. I couldn't sleep. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I had a hard time getting to sleep myself. Well, see you in the morning. Good night. Balzac, we've located Darkon's base. It's on the moon. But he might as well be in another galaxy unless we can get our hands on one of the techno crystals. That's the only thing that will give us the power to get up there. Are you sure? You wouldn't be lying to me now, would you? If we get this crystal, we can really get to Darkon? Uh, late, I'm sorry. It's just whenever I think about Darkon, I lose control. But hey, those days are behind me, right? That has nothing to do with me now. Good night, Blade. I've got a lot of work to do. I better get started. He's already made up his mind.
enemy is headed this way. I can't believe they know where we are. We'd better get going. Star, take care of Rachel and Rick. Tina, open the hatch. Let's move. Right. Pegasus, power on. Affirmative. Nice of you to drop in. Now let's get this over with, shall we? Bring it on, crab bait. Uh, adios, dos crabos. Oh man, they just keep coming. Got one cartridge left. Better make this a good one. sure was close. Uh, I was calling to you, but I guess you didn't hear me. I was so afraid that something was going to happen to you. Are you all right? Yeah, are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Balzac, you know, I've been thinking about what you said to me last night, and I really appreciate it, you wanting to take care of Rick and me, but I also overheard you talking to Blade last night. And I remember you talking about Marlo, your best friend, and I know all too well what it feels like to lose someone you care deeply about. I really want you to help the Space Knights. Are you sure? Yes, because they really need your help. And you know it, they just can't do it alone. And I know you have to avenge your friend Marlo. I was afraid you'd leave me, but I'm not afraid anymore. You have to do what you have to do, so go, and when you come back, I'll be here. Thanks, Rachel. <laughs> well, Blade, I'm afraid I'm going to have to cut this meeting short. No! Oh, man, I'm out of ammo! Oh! Ah! <laughs> what? What was that? What's the matter? Having a little trouble with your techno suit, Ringo? Balzac? You're through, Blade. Hi, come to see us off? Hey, Balzac, thanks for helping out. Don't mention it. From now on, I'll be helping you guys out all the time. You see, I'm going with you. Huh? You're what? I'm joining up. I think it's pretty obvious you guys need me. I don't think so, guy. We haven't forgotten about the last time. I know I've done some things in the past, but that was then and this is now. Besides, you guys need my Z-Tron and Technosuit. Ah. From what I can see, you're going to need all the help you can get, Ringo. Listen, Balzac. You can take your help. Welcome and aboard, Balzac. Thanks. Well, what do you say, Ringo? All right, you're on. But the first time you let us down, Balzac, I'll be all over you like a cheap suit. Got that? Yeah, fine. Look, Rick, you're the man while I'm gone, okay? Okay. I'll be back, Rachel. Take care of yourself. Blade, 
Are you really that certain that we can trust him? I'm certain. Mind telling me why? That's easy. He wants Darkon as badly as I do. It's because he loves us that he did go. He's going to help the Space Knights make the world safe again. And then he'll be back. The alien invaders have transformed the Earth into a strange and hellish garden. A venomoid nursery for the alien plant life which is spewing its deadly spores into the Earth's biosphere. From his headquarters on the dark side of the moon, Darkon, commander of the alien forces, uses long-range biotech sensors to receive updated reports from his Tectoman warriors on Earth. Ah, Axe. All goes according to plan. Yes, Darkon. There are two items which concern me. Firstly, the disbursement of the spore plants. There are still some target zones which have not been properly saturated. This error must be corrected. Even more important, the Technoman Blade is still alive. He must be destroyed as soon as possible. He'll be taken care of soon. I have a plan. Excellent. I'm glad to hear it. Explain this plan of yours. Blade and his friends, the Space Knights, believe that the only way they can defeat us is to attack your base on the moon. But at present, they have no way to get there. I see. Very well, go on. My crystal. Since that's what Blade needs, he'll come after me to get it. <laughs> yes, you're right, he will. And then? I'll easily lure him into my trap by making it appear as though he's found me rather than the other way around. <laughs> he thinks this crystal will save him and his friends. But in fact, it will do exactly the opposite. Because this crystal is what's going to destroy him. And then nothing will stand in our way. The planet Earth shall be ours. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it was necessary for all of you to come along on this trip. If you had a breakdown, just how would you handle the repairs yourself? I'm not planning on a breakdown. Who does? Look, this is going to be a very messy fight. Axe is extremely dangerous. I know him. That bad? But to go in without any weapons? That's the way it's got to be. I've got no choice. Can you win? If he doesn't, we're in real trouble. The whole planet is. Oh, Blade, do you really think you can get to the moon? Oh, I have a plan. This. That? A piece of crystal? Shara's crystal. Shara, right. This is all I have left of my sister. Her powers, her crystal. It was just weeks after the Space Knights Command Center had been destroyed. After I'd lost Shara. The sky was darkened by the alien invasion and I could only watch and remember. No! can't just sit here. Pegasus, open interlock! Affirmative. There's so much power in here. I didn't stop to think. I just roared upward in the technic bar. The spider crowd was destroyed as I passed. Upward, I flew so fast I couldn't breathe. Then the techno transformation. When it was over and I'd left.
left the interlock chamber, I could hardly believe what I saw. In that short space of time, I had traveled thousands of miles. I was floating weightless in space, only a few feet from the orbital ring. The beautiful blues and greens of the Earth below me. The power of Char's crystal had taken me further and faster than I could have ever imagined on my own. Just this one small piece of it. It's a constant reminder of how much I've lost and how much my sister gave back to me. With a complete crystal, there would be so much power I could go to the moon and destroy Darkon's base there. What is it, Gringo? I don't like the looks of this. Those Venomoid trees are getting really thick up there. Stop here or go on? Keep going. Axe is in there calling me. I've got to go in and meet him. Our future depends on it. Blade, I'm waiting for you. It's been quite a while. Let's get reacquainted, shall we? I don't know. Are you sure about this, Blade? Yes. Keep going. Guys, I think we got a little problem here. Nice job, pal. Great. If you broke it, then I'm going to have to fix it. Man. Let's move it. Man, we are really stuck. Oh, no. Even our four-wheel drive won't get us out of this muck. Looks like we're at the end of the line. Blade, wait. Stay here. Where are you going? Blade. Wait up. Hey. I'll be back. Told you I didn't like the looks of these woods. That makes two of us, partner. We've got to get out of here. Blade! Blade! Blade. Blade. You have no idea how much I've been looking forward to this little get-together. <laughs> I didn't come here to play games, Axe. Why did you call me here? What do you want? Oh, nothing much. I know you're a busy man, so I'll get right to the point. It's really quite simple, in fact. I'll bet you already know the answer. I called you here in order to destroy you. <laughs> hey, great hunter, it's obvious we should have been on foot from the very beginning. Why didn't you suggest it now? Now, children, stop arguing and I'll buy you some ice cream. Oh, goody, goody, goody. You knew I was coming. I knew you were here. Now what? It's really strange how things turn out. I trained your whole family to fight, but I never expected you to use it on each other. Your father's gone. Your sister's gone. Your brother, well, he's not in good shape. And you, what about you, Blade? What kind of shape are you in? You've got no family, you've got no crystal. What you really need is a good friend. <laughs> Don't you think? Darkon is willing to take you back. Honestly, aren't you getting tired of fighting against your own future? Listen, it'll be just like before, only better. Believe me. Huh. No thank you. Don't be hasty. Give it some thought. Never. Never is an awfully long time, son. He's meeting Axe. 
rocks in a cathedral? It used to be beautiful. I'm glad it's still standing. There aren't many left. Let's go. Huh? What's it doing? Look out! Blade, I'm afraid you're every bit as hard-headed as you were when I was training you. I can respect that. I admire you. And I admire your brother as well. Difference is, you're a traitor! To protect your brother, Saber, I'll destroy you! Just like the old days, you'd rather defend yourself than fight! I would count on that if I were you! What is that thing? What's it doing? What's the matter? Slowing down? Yeah! Don't you remember, Blade? If you make the same moves every time, you'll always be beaten. Well, my friend, it appears as though you've learned something after all. <laughs> but then you always were a good student. Pegas! Power on! I gave you every chance, Blade. You've sown disrespect. Now you're going to reap the whirlwind. Oh, yeah? Pegas! Now! Maybe your robot's a little tied up. Huh? That's impossible! Mobility nullified. Insufficient power. It was a trap! What do we do now? How do we help Blade? Well, we don't. Not with Pegasus out of action. No Man. way. Isn't there some way of dissolving that stuff? How should I know? Out of the way! Coming through! Let's get this through! It's like fighting bubblegum with brains! This stuff is awful tough. We've got to do something to help Blade. Oh. That's it, coward. Run away. It's no use. You've only got one chance, 
so make it good. This has got to work. Skirts of a small village. Blade continues his desperate struggle against the strongest enemy he's faced so far, the Technoman Axe. Uh, uh, no! Tough break. You're about to get cut from the team. Not bad. You ain't seen nothing yet. is quite a fighter. I'm not sure that Blade can beat him. Oh, Blade. What do we do? Well, we've got to do something. Balzac, come on. you got to help him. I just powered up your techno suit. It should be fine. Now get out there and help Blade. Don't you think I would if I could? I'm frozen here like the abominable snowman. since the last time we fought, but you can never defeat me. I taught you how to fight. It wasn't that long ago you were in my dojo, remember? You weren't always Techno Man. I recall a time when you were just Nick Carter, my student. Bow and begin. <laughs> That's it. Nick wins. If my wrists weren't injured, I could have beaten you. When you're actually fighting, there are no excuses. You were great today. Really? And your punches were very powerful. Those sidekicks of yours almost got me. They were deadly. I thought that Nick was in great form today. Didn't you, Mr. Goddard? Not bad for an amateur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! You were good back then, Nick. But you're only a student. And now it's time for your final lesson. Got her. Well now, Nick, you fought a very good battle. You 
should be glad. Instead, you seem unhappy about something. What's the matter? It's just that I feel rotten, because during the fight, I knew that Kane's wrist was injured, and I hit him there anyway. Let me ask you something, Nick. Do you think Kane would really appreciate it if he knew you were holding back on your punches? I don't think so. If he's anything like you, he would want you to try your best and be a worthy opponent. You're right. Do me a favor and don't even tell him I was bothered about it. I won't. You can always trust me, my friend. <laughs> I see you still remember everything I taught you. Let's see you dodge this one, student. According to the information we got from Commander Jameson, Blade and his Space Knight friends should be at this location, sir. But so far, my monitors aren't picking up any signs of them. Can you see anything, Milo? I don't see Blade anywhere, Sergeant. Not a trace. I thought the information we got was accurate, but now, I don't know. That's it! Both barrels! Whoa! Ringo! Hey, Ringo! You okay, man? Yeah, just get me out of this, goof, huh? Watch that last step. It's a doozy. <laughs> this guy's a lap a minute. Come on, let's go show him what we think of his ass. Yeah, you go on ahead. I'll catch up in a minute. <laughs> This guy was my teacher. How can I beat him? He's too strong. Say goodbye forever, Blade. A little premature there, aren't you, big guy? Whoa! This guy's nothing! Your puny weapons don't impress me! I suppose I should thank you for giving my axe something to glow about. Ringo! Balzac! It's too dangerous! Get out of there! A meter save! Let him alone, axe! I'm the one you want! I hate when this happens. You all right, Ringo? I'm still breathing, I think. Balzac, what about you? I'm wiped out, man. Your two little playmates should have minded their own business. This is between you and me. Stop the others from interfering, Master, and I will destroy him. Well, guys, what do we do now? I don't know. Blade, can you hear us? Blade, are you all right? Blade, are you okay? Blade! So, do you like what I've done with the place? Nice, huh? He's created a barrier with those trees. Now we'll never be able to get to him. I'm picking up some activity on the other side of those hills, sir. It looks like it just could be our boy. Good. That's just fine, lads. Now, step on it. Yes, sir. How will Blade ever get out of there? Ew, look! It's about to grow! What'll we do? I thought it would be nice to have some privacy. You know, away from your annoying little friends. So we can settle this once and for all. That's fine by me. I don't need any help to take care of the likes of you. You overestimate yourself, young student. You really think you can take me on? <laughs> I think you've forgotten exactly who you're dealing with. I know who you were, and I know what you've become. <laughs> Perhaps you remember when we were together on the spaceship Argos. We had just gone into orbit when you asked me if I would look after your brother Kane. Do you recall that day you asked me to protect him? Yes! Things were different back then. Only the names have changed. I am Axe, and your brother is Saber. Not anymore, he's not. Like it or not, Saber is your brother, and I am sworn to defend him. And any 
anyone who stands in our way will be destroyed! Yeah! Including you. At the new Space Knight Command Center, tucked away amidst the frozen tundra of the Arctic wasteland, Commander Jameson continues his search for a way to defeat the alien invaders. Me, Commander. I brought you some coffee. You look like you could use some. I think it would do you a lot of good to get a little rest once in a while. I know you feel like you're carrying the world on your shoulders, but even Atlas needs a break. Thanks. Now, go ahead and take a drink. You'll feel better. Mac, we've done a complete diagnostic on the Blue Earth. We've adjusted the output, but we need you to make the final check. Right. We're having a problem with Spectre 5 cooling units, and the boosters are malfunctioning. Could you take a look at this? Check the solenoid on the Spectre 5 and reprogram the toggle on the boosters. I'll be right back. So much for a nice, quiet coffee break. See ya, Commander. <laughs> I've got to find a way to make him invincible. Losing your touch, oh great one? Didn't I teach you not to be so cocky during combat? You still have a whole lot to learn about respect. Well, I won't be learning it from you. You have to realize we are too powerful. You can't stop us. This is your last chance. Join us or... decision because it would be a shame such a waste of good training we could use someone of your ability if i were the last human on earth i wouldn't join you oh you won't be the last and pretty soon there won't be any humans at all left on earth all that will remain will be darkon soldiers i don't think so you are trying to rebel against the natural order of things it is inevitable that we will take over this is meant to be you cannot stop evolution no but i can stop you you cannot win you are out Outpowered and outmanned. Only a hot-headed young fool would continue to fight us. Save the sales pitch, Axe. I'm not buying. The Earth belongs to Darkon. Sorry, but he can't have it. It already belongs to someone else. Blade needs us now, and we can't even get in there to help him. We have to figure out a way to get through this stuff. Any ideas? Not really, but I do know this. If we don't get him out of there soon, he'll transform into an evil techno-man. You're right, his time's running out. We have to get him out of there. I believe we've established that. Now, does anyone have a plan? <laughs> Looking for Technoman. Is he inside that giant cluster of trees over there? You got it. Is there any way to get in there, or is that thing completely sealed off? It's sealed tight. He's inside there, taking on Axe alone, while we go out of our minds trying to figure out how to get in there. Now don't concern yourself with that. That'll be our job. If there's any way at all to get in there, we'll find it. This stuff is pretty thick. Keep looking, lads. There must be a weak point around here somewhere. We're charged up and ready, sir. Cannon is calibrated. Sensors activated. Let's move out. Come on, hustle up. We're going to see if we can trim this shrub. Hold on a minute, O'Gore. We're going along with you. No, you guys stay put. Hang on to this and wait here till we get back. It's nothing personal, mind you. It's just that we like to work alone. You're right to keep them out of it, sir. Even a bunch of commandos like us will need a lot of luck. These new Ultron shells will bring us more luck than kissing the Blarney Stone. <laughs> that Space Knight brunette is quite a looker, I tell you. That she is. Now, step on it! You were a good fighter once, Blade. 
speed, but it looks like you've lost your touch. You've lost your edge. I'm afraid you've had it, my friend. Quite frankly, Blade, I don't think you can continue to put up much of a fight. Don't worry about me. I was hoping you'd be more of a challenge, Techno Man. Come on now, Nick. Stay focused. Never let your opponent get the better of you. You're right, Mr. Goddard. the structure, sir. Good work, Milo. All right, lads. Let's hope we can get him out of there before it's too late. Ready the gun. Load up those Ultron shells as quick as you can. It's all over now, Blade. Oh, yeah? Time to do what I came here to do. The worse it'll be. Fire! What was that? Here. I think this belongs to you. I'm not done yet. When you're beaten, accept it gracefully. You taught me that. Perhaps I taught you too well, Nick. I must say that you are very good. You showed tremendous valor fighting me and all the other techno men. I have to admit it makes me proud to have been your instructor. I just can't tell you how thrilling it is to be admired by a deranged psychopath. Give it up, Max. I must stop you. I cannot allow you to reach the moon. Really? I have to eliminate you! to be alive, son, just like the last little get-together we had. You were lucky then, too, as I recall, weren't you, lad? It's you. O'Rourke, isn't it? Glad I finally found you, lad. We've got a lot to talk about. A full moon. Once the symbol of romance, now a symbol of menace. Where a lone figure sits and contemplates the passing of a friend and thinks about what has been and what is yet to come. Goddard was our sensei. As we were growing up, we couldn't even imagine beating him in a fight. He taught us well. Too well, it seems. For Blade has defeated him. And now it's Blade's turn to lose. Culture boy, he leave your home and heart today. The last you love, leave weeping at the door. There is no joy. When sweethearts go so far away But the old young soldier So you're the one who taught the Technobot that song. I should have realized. Yeah, I taught him the song. You got a problem with that? No, I was just asking. Supper's ready, all right? Yeah, great. I'm starving. 
Thanks. And even though you're leaving, leaves a heart to shore. That you, old soldier boy, must go to war. So tell me, Sergeant, how did you and Blade first get to know each other? I was a sergeant in the Special Forces Unit of the Terran Allied Military Command before it went bust. That's how I know him. Blade helped us out. I gotta tell you, at first, I didn't think much of this Technoman stuff, but when the chips were down, he really saved my bacon. Eh, uh, Blade? Hey, Blade? I'm talking to you, son. Didn't you hear me? Talk to us. What's the matter? Uh, well, nothing really. Look, why don't we all just cut him some slack? He's probably just upset that he wasn't able to get that crystal from Axe, right? None of us blame you for that, Blade. You were lucky to get out of there alive. But to get to the moon, we need that crystal. Right, Blade? Hey, you guys, what's the rush? The moon's not going anywhere, right? <laughs> all right. I think I have something that'll cheer you all up. Hello, how's everyone doing? Hi, Chief. So far, everything here is going according to plan. But there's not much time. Let's get right to the point. I sent you out on a mission to investigate the proliferation of the alien plants. I was hopeful that you might be able to obtain a suitable spaceship. I realize, of course, that was wishful thinking on my part. But it was crucial to our operation if we were to meet our deadline. I had a hunch that you'd run into Blade at the same time. And if you're listening to this disc, that's happened. I'd like you to come to the new station right away. That's it. Your commander wanted me to bring this disc to you. He wanted you to know that your vessel's nearly ready. That's terrific! With the Blue Earth back in action, we don't need the crystal. Yeah, you got that right. Hey, Blade! Isn't that great? What is it, lad? You seem down in the mouth. Uh... Are you all right? Blade, what's wrong? Nothing. I'm fine. Are you sure? Maybe you're coming down with the flu or something. Well... I'm fine. Well, you don't look too good. I'm okay. Leave me alone. Hey, go easy on that. There's not a lot of fresh water left. All right. Don't cry. There's more in the Jeep. I know Blade didn't have a chance to thank you, but you really did save his hide back there when he was fighting Axe. I only did what any good soldier would have to do, and that's to protect your best weapon. I hate to say it, but he's our only chance against these aliens. I'm in this too. We're all in this thing together, son, and we're fighting for our lives. We can't let our egos get in our way. In order to win, we have to be one unit. So when do we leave, and where are we going? Exactly where is this new command center? Well, the new headquarters are in Alaska, but we've got a stop to make along the way. What are you talking about? Iceland. We are manufacturing some arms for us to use on the moon. There's a warehouse there that has a special microchip we need to pick up before we go to the Space Night headquarters in Alaska. You follow me? Mm-hmm. Good lad. Now we should get some shut-eye. We've got a long journey ahead of us. Yeah. Well, see you in the morning, Sarge. Hang on. Before you hit the sack, there's something I should tell you about. The other night, I was passing by Blade's window and I saw him getting a glass of water. What's wrong with me? Impossible. It's nuts. I wouldn't have believed it either if I hadn't seen him. Let's just hope that this condition is temporary. Because when we have to battle and he's not 100% in charge, the aliens will win. Count on it. Don't say anything about this. I don't want to alarm the others. Huh? Blade? What are you doing sitting in the dark? You okay? Blade? Hmm? You all right, man? Yeah, sure. I'm just a little tired, that's all. I ought to go to sleep. Night. Good night. Blade! Oh. I don't need any help, Ringo. I'm just a little burned out. Don't worry. Good night. O'Rourke was right. There's something wrong here. Very wrong. 
Early the next morning, the Space Knights gather for a briefing by Sergeant O'Rourke about their next assignment. This little piece of the puzzle can mean the difference between winning this war or losing it. It's a computer chip. A computer chip? That's right. This is a layout of the factory. Let me get this straight. The computer chip is in a warehouse at the bottom of a lake in Iceland? You're catching on, lass. The factory was built by our government years ago to conduct underwater experiments. And they were safeguarding the chip there because they thought it was safe from the aliens. Well, good morning, everyone. Oh, Blade's not here. He's still asleep. Well, that's not at all like Blade. Isn't he usually the first one up in the morning? Mm-hmm. He's just a little under the weather, I think. to me. <laughs> Feels like my skin is... Later, Sergeant O'Rourke and the Space Knights arrive in Iceland only to discover that the above-ground portion of the factory warehouse has been demolished by alien forces. They hit it pretty hard. The elevators down to the underwater facility have all been totally destroyed. In that case, we'll just have to figure out another way down there to retrieve the chip. I'll go get it. What? Blade, you all right? Blade! Oh, what is it? What's wrong? You're hot. Uh, yeah, just a little fever. It's nothing. Blade, maybe you should go back to bed. Yeah, go catch some Z's, pal. It's not exactly like we're in battle. Basically, we have to recover the microchip. Balzac and I can do that, huh? No big deal. Uh, but that's fine. We'll do it. That's right. Their techno suits can also double as underwater diving suits. Blade, why don't you sit this one out? Be careful down there. We will. All right. What say we go get us that chip? Check. Geronimo! Now I know how a popsicle feels. There's the underwater warehouse. How do we get inside? O'Rourke said there was some sort of airlock underneath the building. Maybe he should be down here. I don't think the good sergeant would be able to fit into our techno suits. <laughs> good point. Let's get down there and find that airlock. This looks like it. Check it out. Watch yourself, partner. I'm gonna pop the emergency seal. Where's that ship? O'Rourke said it would be right. Bingo. Got it. Maybe you should go lie down in your room. I've got to stay here in case they need help. Please, no, Blade. Star. Hey, landlubbers. Good news. We got the goods. And we're on our way up. <laughs> All right! <laughs> Real nice job. See you topside. Did you see anything move down there? No, I didn't see anything. I'm sure it's just a fish or something. Let's get out of here. Wait a minute. What's that? Hmm. Whatever they are, they kind of remind me of the lights we used to put on our tree at holiday time. Kind of pretty, but... Wait a minute. I think we got a problem here. Mayday, folks. We got a whole lot of company uh -oh. down here. It's unbelievable. You should see these things. They seem to be an aquatic version of the spider crabs. I'm sure they see us, but they're not attacking us. It's like we're not even here. You guys all right? So far. We can always blast them with the quantum energy beam. The quantum energy beam? No, don't! Don't shoot! What? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. But if I wasn't wearing my suit, I'd be 
the shouter right now. You got that right. That's why I tried to prevent you from shooting the energy beam. As you've just discovered, Zetron explodes when discharged in water. How you doing? The blast must have knocked out my propulsion system. Come on, let's blow this pot stand. Great. These weapons are useless down here. There's just too many of them, and our weapons are useless against them. We can really use your help, Blade. Please, Blade. Don't go. Stay here, all right? I can't. Blade, don't listen to Balzac. What are you talking about? I realize he's not 100%, but we really need him. Now! Blade can't help us. What's the matter with you? Snap out of it! Blade comes down here to be the end of him. Huh? What? What do you mean? Ringo, you know what's wrong with Blade, don't you? Whatever it is, he has the right to know. We all do. I'm afraid she's right. I was waiting for the right time to try and tell you this, Blade, but... Well, your body's degenerating. But exactly what does that mean? His tissue structure is collapsing. Collapsing? But why? Apparently, every time you transform, it takes a toll on you. And the wear and tear on your body is cumulative. Commander Jameson was doing some research, and he stumbled upon the fact that this Technoman business is very hard on your body. Ultimately, it will drain all your energy, and you'll find even the simple tasks like holding a glass of water difficult. That's why Ringo didn't want you to try to help them, because he knows if you transform once more, you just might not come back. What you say may be true. Don't go. But I won't let them die. They need my help and I'll give it to them. Come on! Don't you do it, Blake. Don't you come down here. Be careful. For Ringo and Balzac's sake, I hope he can do it. Pegasus!
Thanks for saving our bacon back there. You would have done the same for me. Blade! Oh, thank goodness. Here it is. Thank you. I'm sorry. An apology is not needed. Oh, Blade, are you all right? I promise you this, guys. I'm never going to let you down again. Oh, Blade! Hey, no! What's going on? out quickly when continually exposed to the techno transformation. So Blade, my greatest obstacle will soon be out of the way. Unfortunately, my own techno men are equally affected by this deterioration. But no matter, they've enough time to serve my purposes. And by the time they crumble into dust, the planet Earth shall be mine. We need some help here, Pegasus. Roger. Push harder, Pegasus. Now give it everything you've got. Come on, you big blue bucket of bolts. Get moving. Affirmative. Prepare for continuation of vehicular motion. Sergeant, they're getting closer. Keep firing! Go get them, Pegasus. The Greenland Expedition. Should Shh, we? Everything's fine. Go back to sleep. Oh. Oh. There's no end to these bugs. Time for Plan B, Ringo. You're right. We don't have any choice. Give me ten seconds to get into position and then take off. Come on. Come on. Just a little closer. seconds and we would have been history. Mm -hmm. How is he? He was conscious for about a minute. He just can't seem to stay awake longer than that. Uh, the quicker we can get to the Alaska base, the quicker we can take care of what ails the boy. You mean they could cure him? The commander's on the job. He was starting some research when I left. Commander, I hope you've got something. Stuck here? That's ridiculous. It's a waste of time. Our time. Don't worry, Lance. Saber will be here soon. He wants to take care of Blade personally. Oh, come on, Sword. Saber just can't cut it. Every time he's tried, he just can't quite seem to get the job done. And I suppose you think you can do a better job? You just watch me, Sword. Saber's going to find out his mistakes are fatal. I can't believe you're really serious, Lance. Saber is crucial to Darkon's plan. I'm deadly serious. I'm going to make sure Saber's out of the picture. Yeah, right. 
Listen, I'm going to make this move. I'm going to take out Blade and show Saber as a weakling. I really think you mean it. If I get in your way, will you take me out too? Maybe. Lance, this isn't smart. It's suicide. What's next? Do you go after Darkon? Listen to me, Sword. I have thought about this a lot. The time has come for changes, big changes. Saber has failed us too many times now. Once I take care of Blade, I'll show Darkon I'm strong. And Saber's weak. There's no change. So far, nothing's worked. It doesn't matter what we do. He just keeps deteriorating as if he didn't want to live. He'll get better. Hey, Sergeant O'Rourke, are you positive you can locate the base? Nothing to worry about. Trust me. Well, if I wasn't worried before, I sure am now. You don't doubt me now. See, look there, straight ahead. Hmm? Oh, I never would have seen it if I didn't know where to look. Estimated arrival in two minutes, sir. Medical, our patient is here. Stand by to receive. Do you really think they can help him, sir? For all our sakes, I certainly hope so. It's about time. I missed you. I missed you too, Lars. How's Blade? Uh, he's not very good. Can we get a hand over here? You got it. The team is on the way. Blade, it's all right. Lie still. We're in Alaska at the new base. What's going on? Why am I here in sick bay? Am I going to be all right? Will he, Commander? As long as he doesn't transform to techno mode, he'll be fine. Huh? Not transform? I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but if you continue transforming into techno man, your tissues will slowly disintegrate and eventually you'll die. As long as you don't transform, your body will heal. But according to our medical staff, your next transformation might very well be your last. You see, the energies utilized by the transformation process create a systemic imbalance in the cells of living tissues, eventually leading to complete cellular disintegration. what you believe won't alter the truth the truth is that if you undergo the energy flux of another transformation you most probably won't survive there must be something you haven't thought of some kind of special shielding no blade nothing it's over no no sedate him no it's a nightmare it must be you know commander jameson i think you could have handled that a little better is there any other bad news you want to hit him with while you're at it you want him happy or alive? Matt, what are you doing to Pegasus? Well, lass, I'm removing a power bridge from the techno transformation circuit. Why on earth are you doing that? First thing Blade does when we're attacked is jump into here and transform. I'm fixing it so he can't. I can live or be a techno man. This can't be the only choices. If I can't transform, Darkon will win. There must be some other way. There must be. He's done enough. He certainly had more than his share of fighting living nightmares. Right? From now on, we aren't going to have Blade in reserve. Just us. What do you say, guys? We up to it? We have to be. Yes. I mean, think about it. That guy's lost everything. His family, his memories. Yep. We're the only family he's got now. There's no way he'll be able to protect us anymore. Okay. We'll protect him. Uh, Intruder alert. Unauthorized personnel in the Xeno Biology Lab. Security team to East Wing. Repeat. Intruder alert. Unauthorized personnel in the Xeno Biology Lab. Security team to East Wing. No. 
No. What are you doing here? You should be in bed. Commander, why are you doing this? Blade, he's only trying to help you. We all just want to help you. Oh, look. What is that thing? Huh? Commander, maybe you better tell us what's going on. My gosh, there's a man in there. What have you done? We need to know more about the spore plants. We believe this one is just about to flower. That is the scientist who found it. Is he dead? No, but he shows no brainwave activity. I doubt that our instruments can get a reading through the Technopod shield. It's almost impenetrable. Listen, maybe we can use the power of the Technopod to make me a complete Technoware. You don't mean that, do you, Blade? Yes, yes I do. Star, it's our only chance. Not really, in your current state of cellular disintegration. Well? Our research shows a possibility of success, but the odds of your survival are too small to make it worth the risk. But it's possible. Yes, using the plant as a power source, we might be able to stimulate the evolution of your technopowers, but the process is dangerous. If you did go through a new transformation, the changes would be major. What do you mean? What changes? Short term, this evolution would mean greater strength. In essence, you'd be a super techno man. Super techno man? What do you mean? At present, thanks to your father, you're an incomplete techno man. He helped you escape in time to avoid being brainwashed by the techno system. So unlike Darkon's other techno men, you've retained your humanity. I don't need a history lesson, Commander. I know what I went through, and I know what it cost me. So what's the problem? If there's a possibility, another transformation will help. It could be a big problem. We don't know that this evolution would be good for you, much less the rest of us. What are you talking about? Slade, we don't know how this process will affect you. What, are you afraid I might go bad? Worried I'll turn against Earth and everything I've risked my life for? You think I'm dangerous, don't you? Blade, even if you live through the transformation, your body can't handle the energy stresses. In three to six months, you'll be gone. I see. Three to six months. I think that might be just enough time. But even if you survive the process, we're not sure you'll be able to transform. Based on our experiments, the very best we can hope for is a probability of less than 50%. More likely, you won't make it past the pod. Commander, you got any other good news you'd like to share with us? No, that's just about cover. You must have ice water running through your veins. Stop it. Don't you think that he's hurting too? I thought I'd seen low lives before. But this guy's playing Blade like a violin. He knows exactly what he's doing. No, Ringo. He ordered Pegasus disabled so Blade couldn't techno-transform. What? Listen, Ringo. I'm responsible for the lives of those under my command. And though sometimes casualties are unavoidable... Ringo, if you think for one moment I would try to persuade this boy to do something I know will destroy him, you don't know me very well at all. Commander! Wait! I've got to go talk to Commander Jameson. Leave me alone. I want to say something. Make it quick. Listen to me, will you? Choose life, Blade. Choose to live. I want to, but... How can I? When it could mean losing everything and everyone that makes my life worth living. I always thought I knew what I was doing, that my path was clear, but to have this power taken away, now that I need it the most to destroy the enemy and make them pay for what they've done to Shara, I can use my strength and power for good. I'm not my brother's savior. I need my techno powers to destroy Darko, but Saber comes first. Right now is the greatest danger to our survival, and I'm the only one that can stop him. Excuse me, Commander. I would like to apologize, sir. That's not necessary. You were right, Ringo. We can't allow Blade to do this to himself. Sorry, sir, but that's not your decision to make. It's up to me. And I think we better start talking about how we're going to do it. You don't know what you're saying. You should be in bed. You're sick. You've been put through enough fighting and pain. It's time for you to think of yourself. I've got to do this or I won't be able to stop my brother. No, Blade. It's your choice, son. 
But do you understand the risk? You said that I would have a 50% chance. Those odds are good enough for me, Commander. You're betting your life. You can't do that. You said you'd share it with me. You said you'd share it with me. <laughs> it's not fair. Not fair. Ready to go, Maggie? As ready as we'll ever be, Commander. We'll channel power directly from the pod into the interlock chamber. As the techno crystal grows and changes, you'll grow and change as well, evolving into something we can only imagine. The entire process should take approximately three hours from start to finish. Listen here. Look at where you're about to go as just another battlefield that you're going to be walking away from later. You know I'd go with you if I could. Thanks. I appreciate it, O'Rourke. I'll increase the power as smoothly as I can, but it's still going to be pretty rough. Thanks, Maggie. Blaine, Don't I... worry, Star. I'll be back. Vegas, open interlock. You better come back. You hear? Meanwhile, on the dark side of the moon. Greetings, Starcon. As you see, I am fully healed and ready to take your revenge on Blade. The time nears when I will inspect my conquered dominions. All shall be ready. I will not fail you again. If you do, you will suffer the consequences. Stand by to channel Technopod power. Standing by. Techno channel open, Commander. All right, Maggie. Power on. Power on. Level three. Increase power. <sighs> level four. Go to level five. Level five. More power, Maggie. The power. Yes, sir. Level eight. Now, Maggie, full power. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. It's an attack, Commander. They found our base. All right, all of you, listen. We'll have reinforcements in an hour. We can just hold out till the end. And we can do that standing on our heads. Hang in there, laddie buck. We're dependent on you. All right, lads, take your positions. You all know what to do. Ready, sirs! I guess that goes for us, too, Balzac. Are they going to be surprised when Blade shows up? You mean him, don't you? You're going to make it, Blade. You're going to live. And when you come back, I'll be here with you. <laughs> Blade, it's Lance. You puny, disgusting traitor. I'm going to enjoy this. Now you'll see the difference between your brother Saber and a real Technoman. Command, this is COM-1 Radar. We're picking up bogeys on all screens. Attention, all personnel, we're under attack. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. Battle station, battle station. just left this party. We were so close, just another hour. Play, please. Blade's hurting. Maybe you could let him rest for a while. Yes, Commander. Please? I can't. Why? With all the energy Blade has been receiving, he is now far past the point of no return. If we cut the power now, it wouldn't just stop his evolutionary process. It would trigger the immediate collapse of his cellular structure. His body would simply self-destruct. No! The process will be over in another hour. In the meantime, we'll be the ones holding down the fort, am I right, Commander? Until Blade comes back to us. I think that sums it up, Sergeant. 
I don't care how long it takes or how hard we have to fight, we're not going to let the aliens yeah, win. Right. Sergeant O'Rourke. Yes, Commander. You are in command now. It's your fight. Well, <laughs> I've always told my men to survive at any cost, live to fight again. But now what I'm saying is that our job is to protect Blade. That lad can save the world. So his safety's all that counts. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. You watch out, buddy. I'm... All right, the plan is this. We'll break up into three teams. Two teams for assault and one for defense. Let me guess what Ringo and I are doing. Right, you'll both be in your techno suits. You'll go out and push the spider cubs back just as far as you can. You got it. Don't worry, sir. We'll get the job done. Right. Now you two will be stationed along with my men. Your job is keeping the aliens from getting inside. I want you in position here, and don't get so scared you drop your gun. Hey, what are you talking about? I'm just Maggie, as good- shut up. Now, Sergeant O'Rourke, where do you want us to be stationed? Wherever you want. Right here with me, protecting our Technoman. If we don't keep him safe, the Earth is lost. Yes, sir. How about you, Commander? Remember how to use one of these things? It's been quite some time since I used a weapon in combat. But I believe I still remember how. These newly developed weapons use a special high-powered propellant. The ammunition it uses was manufactured from recovered spider crab claws. This ammunition will work where ordinary bullets would just bounce off. There's a variety of weapons for you to choose from. Commander, there's enough firepower in here to take over a continent. Suits me. And me. I'm in. So what are we waiting for? Let's rock and roll. All right, that's enough of this lollygagging around. Let's go out there and get him! Yes, yes sir! sir. That should do it. For the time being, Blade is safe. These doors are double-bonded neutrino steel. They're capable of stopping a small atom bomb. Well, here's the party. Good thing we're dressed for it. I hate parties, but as long as we're here, I guess we ought to dance, right? Right. Sorry, it's under these circumstances. Hey, listen, it's great to be back. I only wish there was more I could do to help. Yes, no. Oh, I should be doing something with machinery instead of carrying this stupid gun. You're not alone. Every one of us should be doing something constructive. I know exactly what you mean. I didn't get a degree in advanced engineering just so I could get gunpowder under my fingernails. Oh, Mac, do you think we'll ever get our planet back? Yeah, absolutely. You've got to live, Blade. We need you. is off limits to everyone under an X4 rating. Hey, didn't you hear me? I said hold it! Identify yourself! What unit are you from anyway? I think it's the best. I fight for Darkon!
Put him down! You're not seriously trying to give me an order. You puny insects make me laugh. What could you possibly do to me if I don't? Bullies like you are always cowards. I'm not going to waste any more time on you. You don't interest me. I want Blade. Where is he? He's not here. You're a liar. to think of. I wouldn't want you telling anyone that I didn't keep my word. Well, you're lucky little insects, aren't you? I'm going to find Blade. I'll find you wherever you are. Five minutes. This is it. Come on. Quiet, everyone. Listen, you hear something? Sounds like footsteps. Who do you think it could be? He's the enemy. But how do you know? <gasps> is this something Ringo or Bowser could do? And they know we're on the other side of the door. No, I guess not. Stay calm, Junior. You'll be all right. Yes, sir. Stand by. I want everybody ready and moving when I give the signal. And your fire covered the entire hallway, top to bottom and side to side. Ready? There could be another attack. That's it? It's all over? <laughs> There's no one out here. Are you sure? Truly pathetic. You simply refuse to accept the fact that your stupid little toys can't hurt me. I am a complete Technoman. Not like that useless waste product blade you keep protecting. Now, where is he? You wouldn't be here unless you were nearby. Ah, all snug in his little steel cocoon, is he? Well, Blade, we have an appointment. One more minute.
interlock. Affirmative. Be careful, Blade! What's going on? You're the same loser you always were. You think so, Lance? No, he's changed. He's changed into Technoman Plus. He's not the same blade any longer. Technoman Plus? Impossible. There's nothing more advanced than a complete Technoman like me. Goodbye, Blade! Technoman Plus. What a joke. Huh? <laughs> Way to go, Blade. Sounds like you definitely landed a good one. Wish I'd seen it, lad. Unfortunately, I'm seeing a bit fuzzy right now. Getting that close to a signal flare when it's going off is kind of hard on the eyes. O'Rourke. Sergeant. Look after Blade. <sighs> was Blade! You! Get away from me! Evolved or not, even you can't take a Techno Bolt at point blank range! No! at all the snow in the Arctic Circle. I'll tell you, Balzac, I don't know if I'm ready for an evolved Technoman. I don't know if the world's ready. Listen to me, Star. Within Blade, there's a power never before known to mankind. It's not fair. We should be rewarding Blade, not punishing him. <sighs> Star? Where are you? Where are you? Where is everybody? Please, somebody answer me! said the world is coming apart at the seams don't you even care hey what do you expect me to do about it that's simple blade look what do you want to be a loner for the rest of your life the space knights are a team are you with us or not with you yes no 
could never be a member of the Space Knights. I have to fight the Venomoids by myself. By yourself? Star, I'm the only one who would have a chance against them. What's going on? You all right? <laughs> what is it? The people. There were families here. The Venomoids destroyed their homes. They're all gone. Star. If I can't transform into Techno Man, I'm useless. Listen to him, he gets beaten one time and he's ready to pack it in. This through your head, they've taken away the only weapon I can use to fight them. Just imagine how you'd feel if it was the Blue Earth that had been destroyed. Hold on, mister. I won't let you just walk away. Oh yeah? And just how are you gonna stop me? <laughs> hey, what are you- You're coming with me! Oh. Take a look around, Blade. Have you any idea what all these people are doing? They've been working around the clock with no sleep. You know why? I'll give you one guess. Why not just tell me and save us both some time? Hmm? Hey, that's my crystal. By redirecting the crystal's polarity, we should get a reaction that all... Not again. Rats. They're trying to find a way to help you turn into Techno Man again. Stop pretending you're Mr. All Work and No Play, because we're not buying it. We saw you shopping in the city. Huh? You were at the mall, right? I hate to disappoint you, last, but Blade was with me in my quarters all afternoon. Huh? We saw someone who looked just like you. Really amazing. He might have been your twin. You're sure you saw him clearly? He really looked like me. The spitting image. What is it, Blade? If the commander did know, he must have been hoping to feed Balzac phony information. That doesn't make any sense. Why feed him any information at all? But if that was his plan, it obviously didn't work too well. Marlowe's tech armor uses Zetron weapons, and you can guess what's next. Galt will build armored techno suits by the thousands. But if that's true, that would mean there'd be no assignment left for Blade. Pull yourself together, Blade. No matter how many tech armor suits they make, there's only one of you, and you're still the best weapon that we have. Aren't you glad we're all here to plan out your entire future for you, Blade? Come on, Blade. All this will work out. Why? <gasps> Come on, can't you take a joke? Wait, Blade, where are you going now? Shh. I'm worried about him. Come on, Brother Blade. You know you want to. Go ahead. Play. No. You know you want to. Go ahead. Play. convinced you're worth all the Don't time and trouble. Get a grip and stop no. feeling so sorry for yourself. Get it no. together. Leave me alone. Go away. Go away, all of you. 
would forget that I ever existed. You got a job to do. No, I don't want to fight anymore. Don't make me fight anymore. I don't want to hurt you. Blade, we need you. Uh, no, no, no. Blade! Where are you, Blade? Where have you gone? This isn't you. This is someone else speaking. Someone who doesn't recognize his friends when he sees them. Someone who doesn't care about anyone else. Come back to us, Blade. Please, come back. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Come on, Blade. No! Why, Blade? Tell me why. I'm scared. We're all scared before a fight. No, I mean I'm scared of what I might become. You can't imagine what it's like to go out there knowing you might come back as one of the enemy. Why don't you face it, Blade? You're no longer human or a boy. You're a freak, that's what you are. No! No, Blade! Balzac was wrong! You're a space knight! You're a freak, that's what you are! It's a lie! You're a space knight! You're one of us! You're a monster, you know it! <laughs> You're one of us! A monster! You're one of us! A monster! Worse than I thought. You think you know yourself, but you couldn't be more wrong. Huh? You think you're a Venomoid just because you become one after 30 minutes as a Technoman? A human exposed to radiation will end up looking like a freak, but so what? That doesn't mean that's his true nature. You're a human being despite anything Darkon may have done. Yes, Blade. Like me. Flesh and blood. No more, no less. We're the same. You're no monster. This blade that I'm touching right now, that's the real blade. A good man. A brave man. I couldn't feel the way I do if it weren't so. risked your life for me without thinking what kind of monster would have done that someone else needs you now i can sure use some help up here uh, hey anyone there hurry blade you're the only one who can help no matter the risk you've got to try if you let the fear of what may happen hold you back then we're all lost, because that means the Venomoids have won. Don't let them. Forget about where your powers came from. It doesn't matter. All that matters is how you use them. You really think that I... Actions are what prove a man's worth. You're right, Star. You're right. You've got to hurry. I'll be all right. Thanks, Star. Thanks for bringing me back to my senses. And for giving me back my humanity. I was never like you. No monster. I'm a human being. <laughs> Boy, forget it, Darkon. You'll never get this planet as long as I am here to defend it. For a moment there, I thought we'd lost you. I should have known that couldn't happen. You just had to learn how to believe in yourself as much as we believe in you. Welcome back to the human race, Blade. Oh. Hi. Hello, Blade. Been working out at the gym? That's right. Excuse me, I gotta take a shower. 
Star. You want to say something, say it. All right. Thank you for all the things you've done on my behalf. Huh? Our friendship means a lot to me. Just friends, understand. But what do you mean? Well, you know what I mean. This is driving me crazy. I don't know how he feels. What's up, Blade? Something wrong? No. Might as well take a look around. Star? Yes? I, uh, <clears throat> I really like your perfume. What? That scent you're wearing, it's nice. Huh? You mean you noticed? Thank you, Blade. She needs a blood transfusion badly. Then do it! Take mine! Take every drop! Whatever it takes to keep her alive! Shara, don't go. Don't go. If you'll let me, I'd like to help. Thank you. Blade, I think I know how you feel. I know what it's like to be willing to sacrifice anything for someone else. Even your life. I never knew that feeling before, but now... You do. Yeah. Blade must almost be there by now. You're right. If only I could... <sighs> Don't worry about your brother. He's pretty good at this type of thing. He'll come back. I'm sure he will. Too. I'm not worried, not about that at least. What then, Shara? Please tell me. Star, please take care of him after I'm gone. <laughs> Condition red. All non essential personnel prepare to evacuate. What is this? An ammunition belt or fried potatoes? If you don't like the way I cook, why don't you do it next time? Listen, I'm a mechanic, and in my professional opinion, this is beyond repair. Oh, yeah? What would a grease monkey know about cooking? More than you do, button pusher. Is that sink private, or can anybody wash dishes? What are you waiting for? It's good to see you. Oh. You look beautiful. I've been wanting to tell you that. I've been wanting to tell you... How much you care? You too. I care so much. <gasps> I'm here. I'm here. And I won't ever leave you again. Looks like we're up and running again. I, I know they're not much. I owe you a lot more than a, a, a bunch of flowers. I can be satisfied with these. For now. I'm afraid she's right. I was waiting for the right time to try and tell you this blade, but... Well, your body's degenerating. But exactly what does that mean? His tissue structure is collapsing. Collapsing? But why? Apparently, every time you transform, it takes a toll on you. And the wear and tear on your body is cumulative. Commander Jameson was doing some research and he stumbled upon the fact that this Technoman business is very hard on your body. Ultimately, it will drain all your energy. And you'll find even the simple tasks like holding a glass of water difficult. That's why Ringo didn't want you to try to help them because he knows if you transform once more, you just might not come back. Oh, no! Oh, Blade, are you all right? I promise you this, guys. I'm never going to let you down again. Oh, 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 
At least there are no Venomoid spore plants here. That's one thing to be said for this dreadful place. Attention incoming. Please identify. Space Knights, this is Transport 10. I've got the Dr. Hippocrates going on board. You're lucky he still makes house calls. Proceed to Helipad, Transport 10, and welcome. Hope it's warmer inside. Hello, Commander. Star? Tina, any change in Blade's condition? No. He's stable, but he's still in a coma. He's all yours, Doctor. You'll need higher magnification than that. Dr. Cohen, we're counting on you. All right, get me a wave scan. Closer, increased magnification. Mm-hmm. Switch to alternate resonance frequency. There we go. Wave activity appears adequate. No signs of synaptic distress. No evidence of oxygen deprivation. Hmm. Has he found anything? Yes, I have. What's that? It's nothing to be alarmed about, just some slight hemorrhaging in the capillaries. Other than that, I detect no damage to his brain whatsoever. And his nervous system? Mm, everything appears to be functioning normally. Mm. You're saying he's all right? I most certainly am not. I'm saying he appears to be all right. We won't know for certain until he regains consciousness and we can observe his behavior. By all indications, that should happen sometime soon. Poor Blade. After all he's been through, and now this. I'm starting to think he has more lives than a cat. As the good doctor said, he's not out of the woods yet, and it's impossible for me to believe he wouldn't be suffering some kind of side effect. After all, a person doesn't undergo a complete metamorphosis every day. But who said Blade is a normal person? I mean, there's an awful lot about him we don't understand. Maybe all this is part of the package. At least we can hope for the best. I suppose I could be wrong about this. It wouldn't be the first time. <gasps> now, sir, you're doing your best. We know just how important this is to you, Commander. We all know it's because you care about him. But I'll be glad if you're wrong. Me too. What's with you? Looks like Blade's gonna pull through. What are you so unhappy about? You really wanna know? I'm all ears. I was only thinking if he hadn't, there'd be nothing but you, me, and a couple of techno suits fighting those things out there. What the hey? You gotta play the card you're dealt. Besides, with a little luck, we could have given them a run for their money. Our odds are a lot better with him. Could be. Still, it means you and me are back eating that hot shot's dust again. Frankly, Balzac, that's a diet I can live with. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. So, Saber, you are well again? Yes, Dargon, and eager to be sent once more into battle. And so you shall be. This time he won't escape me, I swear it. How I wish I could feel once again the bloodlust of battle, but I must remain with the mothership until my strength is restored and the time is ripe. And so, Saber, I have no alternative but to depend on you, the last of my techno warriors. There is no need to depend on anyone else. Go then, and do your best. Or should I say, worst. <laughs> This mission has proven far more difficult than I ever would have imagined. The disappointments have been many. Blade, Shara, both turned their backs on me, sparing the glory that I offered them. But Saber remains loyal. And that is enough. For the cosmic tide is shifting, and darkness is ascendant. Soon I will loose the chains that bind me to this barren bar of dust, and the final chapter will at last unfold. Blade? Rourke, you crazy Irishman. Someday we'll beat them once and for all, I swear it. Oh, there you are. Are you really strong enough to be up and about? 
Well, <laughs> odd, isn't it? All these plants thriving in here when outside is 20 degrees below zero. Strange, don't you think? Hey, Blade, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong with me. I'm perfectly all right, and the name's Nick, Nick Carter. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, I guess it is. Then if it's not too much trouble, would you call me by my own name from now on? Huh? Sure, Blade. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry. Nick. Wait up, Nick. How about Nicholas? Or Nikki? Oh, I like it. Continue to descend toward the planet below. The Technoman Saber approaches the orbital space ring. Hello, Sword. Where's Lance? Look what the cat dragged in. I never expected to see you here so soon. You haven't answered my question. Where's Lance? I strongly suggested to him that he should wait for you, but he wouldn't listen. So, he went up against Blade without my permission. And shortly thereafter, Lance's life wave vanished from my sensors. He was a fool. And Blade himself? I've located his life wave in the northwest sector of the Earth region known as Alaska. Alaska, huh? Good. All right then, come with me. Not this time, Saber. I'm to remain here. You what? Lord Darkon has given me supreme command of all our spider crab attack legions. So you have a new master now, eh, Sword? I'm afraid so. Very well. I congratulate you on your promotion. I'm coming, brother. And this time, when it's over, one of us won't be walking away. It all begins with the question why. Why did they take over the Argos and transform Blade and the rest of the crew into Technomen? Whoever the Venomoids really are, perhaps they're incapable of acting for themselves. They need surrogates to physically carry out their plan. I don't know. Those spider crabs seem plenty physical to me. Mm-hmm. However, I don't believe those creatures are true Venomoids. They're just expendable cannon fodder with no minds of their own. I still don't get what role the Technomen are supposed to be playing in all of this. Their job is to lead the spider crabs and carry out the Venomoid Warlord's plan. You might say they're his lieutenants. Why was Blade's family chosen to become Technomen? We may never know the answer, Tina. Mere chance, perhaps. Or it could be they were chosen for some reason we're unable to understand. Maybe I'm being dense, but why in heaven's name are all these creatures attacking the Earth to begin with? The best analogy I can come up with is a farmer preparing his field for planting. The Venomoids creatures are clearing the soil to make room for a new and vicious crop. Yeah, and you're not just talking about spinach. You mean those spore trees, don't you? That's right, Mac. We found one of them that appears to be approaching its blooming stage. Now, if you look carefully within the central pod... What is that? Is it human? Yes, Tina, quite human, and in the process of becoming something more than human, a Technoman. Commander, are you saying that these spore plants are like the pods that turned Blade's family into Technomen? Precisely. If this one's getting ready to bloom, that means that all the others spread out over all the planet must be getting ready to bloom too. What happens when they finally do? You just asked the $64,000 question, Tina. And I got a strong feeling whatever the answer is, we're not going to like it a whole lot. Why can't we chop the trees down or find some other way to destroy them? Way too many of them. What I don't get is if they want to take over the planet, why not wipe us all out? Why turn some of us into Technomen? I wish I knew the answer. Let's stop talking as if the situation were hopeless. We know the Venomoids aren't infallible. After all, they turned me into a Technoman, didn't they? Yes, but not even you can possibly destroy every spore plant. I don't plan to. I'm going to take the battle to them for a change by visiting Darkon on the dark side of the moon. My powers are stronger than ever, and I think I'm ready. Feeling better? 
just going to hop into the shower. Was there something you wanted to talk about, Blade? Oh. Uh. <laughs> that name again. Why do you keep calling me that? Uh, I don't know. It's a habit. It's hard to break, I guess. You've gone by that name for so long, it's hard to imagine calling you something else. What are you talking about? I've never gone by that name. <gasps> What's this game you're playing? Why are you trying to confuse me? Are you alright? I told you that my name is Nick. Who is this Blade, anyway? Oh. Something's definitely wrong. A what? That's not good. Not good at all. What does it mean, Dr. Cohen? Fascinating. There's no visual evidence of any damage or distortions. But obviously the transformation he's undergone has had some destabilizing effect on the brain's memory centers. It's not like he's suffering total amnesia. No, most of the time he's functioning in a perfectly normal way. But this confusion about his name troubles me. Hmm. Memory dysfunctions like this are often arbitrary and unpredictable, so naturally they can lead to unpredictable behavior, especially if the person's sense of identity is mixed up. He can stop behaving like a completely new person and not necessarily a better one. I'm here, brother. Where are you? to help you he's come for me who has i can feel my brother's presence he's getting closer no don't go out there you're not ready yet i've never been more ready you don't understand he and i have to finish this <sighs> oh please be careful Surprised to see me, brother? Not at all. I had a feeling you'd be back. I think it's funny how the two of us just can't seem to keep away from each other. Don't you? Well, this time it ends. Right here, right now. And this time we finish it. Once and for all. You got that, do you? Huh? A little cranky this morning? Back old times, doesn't it? Why do you think we were always fighting when we were kids? Maybe it's because we're twins. Maybe it's because I know that the universe would be a better place without you in it. All right, come on. Tell me, Blade, do you recall he used to win all those fights of ours? Huh? Do you? Ah, uh, well, I suppose there's nothing to be gained by dwelling on the past. It's time you and me started thinking about the future, right? the time in everyone's life when you have to cut their family. <laughs> I grant you it's not exactly a fair fight and believe me I feel just terrible about it. Anymore, Kane. It's a fair fight now. Is he 
he up to this commander after all he's been through? I think it's out of our hands. There's no way of stopping him. Will that strange memory loss affect his ability to fight? What? Memory loss? It's a long story, but you're right, Star. There's no telling if his condition might worsen. Ringo, Balzac, get going. Roger. This is the last time we're going to play this game, Kane. My sentiments exactly. Your reflexes aren't what they used to be. <laughs> Farewell, brother. You know what I'd like, brother? I'd like to hear you beg for mercy. How Put it on your wish list. How disappointing. Families really ought to stick together, don't you think? After all, now that Char is gone, we only have each other. Although I won't have you for long. There you go again. I'm starting to think you don't enjoy my company. So Sabres developed some kind of cloaking device? He's a lot faster than he used to be. And stronger, too. What's keeping Ringo and Balzac? Whoa! I've run a spectroanalysis of him. It shows a 33% increase in his techno-energy levels. Incredible. But come to think of it, if he's gone through the same strange transformation as Blade... No, I don't believe he has. These changes we're seeing seem to be self-generated, not evolutionary in nature. Meaning what, Commander? There's nothing strange about it. I think our friend Saber has been in training since the last time they fought. And from the looks of things, those hours in the gym have paid off. Are you gonna hide down there all day? All right, Saber, come on! Where did he... Over here! As you can see, I've learned a trick or two since I've been away. I was going to finish it, wrap things up quickly, but it's so much more fun this way. <laughs> hey, you in the lobster soup! You did a word! Whoa, Blade! Take it easy. Gotta get safer. Let Ringo handle it. Your aim is a little off, Space Knight. If I was aiming for you, I'd hit you, big mouth. So, brother, once again, your little friends have saved your hide. Those insects can't protect you from me forever. Can't you see that? This is between us, Nick. This is family. What is this? Let me go! Who gave you the right to interfere? Unfortunately, your memory loss worsens the longer you remain a Technomance. What? What memory loss? Blade, Stop you... Stop calling me that. Yeah. My name is Nick. Nick Carter. <laughs> Hey, relax. Come on, kids. You're a little bit messed up right now, and we're just trying to help you. Help me? Is that what you call meddling in my business? Well, I've got news for you. I don't need that kind of help. Oh, yeah? That's right. So stay out of the way, okay? Wait, Blade. Stop. Stop. He won't listen to reason. Not in his present condition. You're wasting your time. We gotta make him listen to reason, or his condition's soon gonna be a whole lot worse. I'm afraid we're helpless at the moment. All we can do is wait and watch the situation develop. Ah, sword. All is going well. Yes, Darka. The final assault wave of spider crabs is even now leaving the space ring for Earth. And they shall rain down upon the planet like the fulfillment of an ancient prophecy of doom. Restored to my 
full strength, I will descend upon the earth, and darkness will unfurl its banner across yet another region of the cosmos. Now then, what of Saber and Blade? Blade still lives, if that's what you mean. Saber will succeed eventually, for Blade has many weaknesses, but his hatred of us is great, and the need for vengeance can be a mighty weapon. Why have you not gone to assist Saber in eliminating the traitor? Why, Darko? Only because I have not yet received your order to do so. If that is your wish, then of course I will do it immediately. Have you not the intelligence to see that a thing must be done before I tell you to do it? That would require a strength of will that I no longer possess. Very well then. I order you to join Saber and assist him in ridding me of this traitorous Technoman once and for all. Yes, I shall go at once. Be careful, sword. Do not think that what we once shared entitled you to try my patience with impunity. There will come a day when you rely once too often on the past. Darkon! The past. Do not rely on it, you say. But it is all I have. The memory of what you were. Of what I once meant to you. The past is what ties us together. A bond that can never be broken. Cold and cruel you may have become, but you are still the man I once loved, and for that man I would give my life! We can't let you go. It's suicide. Can't you see that? Listen, it's my decision. Can't you see that? Of course it's your decision, lad. All we ask is that you think it over. What makes you think Saber's even out there He's anyway? He's there. He's calling me. Hey! Let you and me talk. Huh. Now don't worry, Blade. I'm not gonna try and stop you. I can see that's impossible. Blade? How can I get you all to realize that's not my name? Yeah, right. But that's what we've always called you, okay? And we're your friends, kid. I'll accept the star if you hear what I'm saying. Even somebody as screwed up as you can see she's more than just a friend, right? So why do you want to throw that away? Man, you think a girl like that comes around the corner every day? Don't be a fool. I know what I'm talking about. There was a woman felt the same for me once, if you could believe it. Like an idiot, I left her to fight the war and never saw her again. Thought I ought to give you the chance to avoid the same mistake. Hey! Your choice, but you've got to live with the results. Yeah. I'm growing tired of this waiting game. I think it's time to flush the rabbit out of the hole. Are you there, brother? You can't hide forever. I'm here, Kane. Ringo, Balzac, put on your techno suits. On the double, move out. Sir, someone just opened up the West Portal. What? But who could have... The Technobot. What's this? So, my brother sends you to fight in his place. You know how it is. The end of studies always play the Wednesday matinees. Still, we hope you enjoy the show! Pathetic fools. Balzac! Pulling your disappearing act again, huh? Come on, where are you? Time to waste the likes of you. Did you really think you could fight me? I don't know whether to be amused or insulted. <laughs> Nuclear mule. You okay? Sort of. Oh no! Blake, what are you doing? Get out of here! We can handle him! Yeah, so I saw. No offense, but your techno suits are no match for him. Besides, this is my fault. So you're finally ready. That is, you think you are. Over there, the sound of battle. You don't 
asking yourself these days, brother. This is Fur. What's wrong? Something on your mind. <laughs> you used to be so cocky. Look at you now. You look like a squashed bug. Great. What's the use of these things if they're always running out of ammo right when you need it? Remember how we both used to collect butterflies when we were kids, Nick? You were so proud of your collection. Me? My favorite part was sticking in the pins. That ought to hold you for a moment. Long enough for me to put you out of my misery forever! No, wait! What the devil? He should have busted into dust. What's happening to him? He's transformed himself into some kind of super techno man. Told of this. Kane, come back. Now he's running away. Kane. Oh, I think Blade's coming around, Commander. <laughs> How are you? A little groggy. <laughs> nice flowers. What kind are they? Blade! <sighs> Tina! Were the flowers your idea? I don't know what I was thinking. Sorry. They're beautiful, thanks. <gasps> I can't explain it, but these flowers seem awfully familiar somehow. Well, of course they are. Really? Why do you say that? What are they, anyhow? I mean, what are they called? You really don't remember? They're called Amaryllis. Amaryllis. It was your sister's favorite flower. My sister? You remember your sister, don't you? I'm not sure, but... How would you know that's my sister's favorite flower? Because you told me it was. Huh? Don't you get it, kid? If you keep going out there, you're gonna forget what day of the week it is! Sorry, I, I just... Now do you see? The strange transformation you've gone through may have saved your life, but it also caused your memory to become undependable. What's worse, when you turn yourself into Technoman, your condition worsens at an accelerated rate for reasons we don't understand. Great news, everyone! we finished repairs on the Blue Earth! The... what? The Blue Earth! You've forgotten that, too? Yes. Uh, Blade... Uh, stay away! Why? Why is this happening to me? Why? Why is this happening to me? Uh, 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 Darkon, I can't explain what happened. 
blade was transformed into some new kind of techno man. So then it has happened. He has achieved the penultimate embodiment of the techno warrior. Master, what is it you mean? Techno men such as you, Saber, are but one step in a cosmic evolutionary process. Your brother has surpassed you. Why then, if he can evolve into this thing, I can too, can't I? You can make me as strong as he is, can't you? Impossible. What? But, but why? It is a gift that requires much from he who receives it. Great physical and spiritual strength, and ultimately his very life, for no one can survive as the penultimate embodiment for long. You mean Blade won't survive? Give me these powers now then, before it's too late. I demand it, Darkon. I will not be cheated out of the opportunity of defeating my brother by some sort of cosmic twist of fate. Silence! No! I will not be silent. You owe me this. Darkon, even if Blade doesn't survive, he still wins. After all I've done, that just isn't fair. What have you done but fail me consistently? And now you dare to challenge me? So be it, Saber! Uh, ah, ah, no! Master! Oh, oh. No, you're making a mistake. Let me out of here. All I ask is for one more chance. Please, Darkon, I'll go mad in here. Why are you doing this to me? Why? Hmm. Well, what have we here? Such a lovely crystal. <laughs> you know you really shouldn't just leave these things lying around, Saber. Shame on you. Sword, you've got to get me out of here. Tell him he's made a mistake. He knows I've always been loyal. Why is he doing this to me? Because you failed him. That's why. Sword, I'll go out of my mind. You've got to get me out of here, sword! You've got to get me out of here! Clear the decks, Tina. We're coming in, and this refurbished landing gear may be a little squirrely. Roger, Blue Earth. Hangar bay clear for landing. The Blue Earth makes a perfect spy plane. Her global sensors ought to show us what the spider crabs are up to. But the data won't do us any good till it's analyzed by the master computer, which is exactly what I plan to do now. Forget the computer. Isn't there someone you want to see? Go on, leave the boring stuff to us. Blade. My name is Blade. My sister's favorite flower is... Amaryllis. I find it so hard to remember things like that. How long will it be before I forget everything? He's getting worse, isn't he? Isn't there some way to stop his memory from deteriorating? None we found. We know so few of the brain's secrets. With all our wonderful technology, we're still like babes wandering in the woods. At this rate, will he forget next? What happens if... He forgets who we are, or even worse, what side he's supposed to be fighting on. There's been no improvement, Star. So I see. This is a surprise. I thought O'Rourke's squadron had been, well... Decimated? Yes, we have been, sir. But that doesn't mean those of us left can't keep fighting the enemy. And with their position on the space ring so loosely defended at the moment, the time to strike is now. These commandos have come seeking our help for an attack on the enemy. He's right about the space ring. That scanning flight by the Blue Earth shows that most of the spider crabs have descended to the planet, where they fanned out over every landmass and now appear to be actually transforming themselves into spore trees. Something's about to happen, isn't it? All this activity may indicate that the final phase of the invasion is about to begin. There's no time to lose. The only way we're going to stop them is by destroying their base on the far side of the moon. Easier said than done with the Blue Earth's catapult out of operation. We barely got enough boost to breach the atmosphere, let alone get to the moon. But if we recapture the orbital ring, with all its spaceports, and launch the Blue Earth from there... Oh, well, of course, that's a horse of a different color. The aliens have built a giant elevator for transporting heavy equipment from the space ring to Earth. If we could use it to gain access to the space ring and secure a spaceport, the Blue Earth would be an easy range of the moon. There are eight spaceports. All we have to do is secure one of them. It's a risky plan, but workable. Just the type of mission our old friend O'Rourke thrived on. 
And if worse comes to worse and the spore trees start taking over the planet, the space ring could end up being our last refuge. You're right, Commander. We'll take the fight to them. They won't be expecting that. I like it. I'm with you there, Maggie. It's terrific. We're finally going to get some payback time. And they'll pay dearly. Maggie, you'll be in charge of restoring the Space Ring's communications. We'll be needing that. Will do. Needless to say, there's no time to lose, so I want you all ready to move out within the hour. Yes, yes sir. sir. <sighs> what are you doing? So that's Blade. If you don't mind, Commander, I'd sure like to come along for the ride. But Blade, you're in no <laughs> shape. A techno man's as good as another battalion. Welcome to the party, boyo. No, Blade, you mustn't. I have to, Star. I can't just sit around doing nothing. I've got to use the time I have left. <sighs> well, soldier boys, ready to raise a rumpus? <laughs> You have done your duty well, Spider-Mother. Your offspring now swarm across the face of the planet below. All this time you have been here working tirelessly to fulfill your part of the plan. Lord Darkon will be pleased. Your job is done. The time has come to release you from your confinement. That's right. Feed on your children. Fill yourself with their life forces. You'll have need of it very soon now. <laughs> we can really ride this freight elevator up to the space ring? Just like that? The spider crabs were supposed to have put it out of action, but they didn't do a very good job of it. We managed to restore it to a sort of rudimentary operation. Of course, they don't know that. That's why they've left it unguarded. So we've got surprise on our side, but once they know we're up there, it's gonna get lively. Listen, Pegasus, your master's had a hard time lately. I want you to function smoothly and take care of him, all right? Affirmative. Okay, Blade, you don't have to worry about a thing. I've tweaked all of his systems and Pegasus is 100%. Whatever happens, please don't transform into Techno Man. Balzac and Ringo will be there to carry the load. Hmm. Have you had any training with an Electrodot cannon? I know this gun backwards and forwards. Don't worry about me. It's just that I know you're not a professional trooper, Angela. It might be safer for you to stay in the center of the column. Angela? Angela, are you listening? Eighth floor, notions and lingerie. Ringo, put a cork in it. Sword. Looks good. We're coming up on spaceports one and two, and so far everything checks out all clear. Uh oh. Right out! Well, now you didn't want it to be too easy, did you, lads? Fire darts! Take cover! Nice work, fellas. Remind me not to get in the way of those flying knitting needles of yours. Funny, I would have expected a lot more resistance than three lousy spider crabs, especially up here in the space ring. Well, I for one am not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. Come on, let's get to that spaceport and re-establish communications with Commander James. Lead the way, darling. They're approaching spaceport one. Only minimal resistance so far. Keep your fingers crossed. Devils, they destroyed it. Number two has been knocked out as well. Is it fixable, Maggie? Hard to say. But look, this shows Spaceport 3 still functioning. That's three down. 
I'm one step ahead of you, Blade. I suggest you stop me before you run out of spaceports. <laughs> she beat us to it. Where's the next one? Number four's out, but five and six are still operable. Wait, where are you going? Blade! He's off and running. Ringo, you and Star stay here and help Maggie restore communications. I'll cover Blade. Gotcha. Take care of him, Balzac. I'll leave four of my boys here in case any more spider crabs show up. Me and the rest will go with Blade. Come on, lads! Hold on, not so fast, Milo. I'm coming with you. No, Angela, you stay here with the others. I said I'm coming. But why, lass? There's something I have to ask Blade. Blade? Yeah, what is it? Tell me about the time you spent with him. Who? Miles O'Rourke. I want to know what he was like during the time he was with you. O'Rourke? He was very fond of you. He often mentioned your name. It's crazy, but I like talking about him. I suppose because it gives me the feeling that he's still here. So you'd be after calling this mission a success, would you? Well, all I know is I lost three fine young men today. Whose families won't ever see them again. We decimated the enemy, that's true. So militarily we're a success. But do you think those three families feel the same way? War isn't numbers, Blade. It's people. It's people. Never forget that. You did your best, sir. In spite of your losses, I think you are a success. As a soldier and as a man. Thanks, lad. <laughs> and thanks for listening to the ramblings of an old soldier. Miles and I, we were everything to each other. Well, at least he was everything to me. As much as he loved me, there was always the war calling him away. He always left before dawn while I was still asleep, leaving me a gun on the nightstand for protection and as a sign that he'd be back. How often I would wake up to find myself alone, there wasn't much comfort in the cold steel of that gun. There was nothing to do but wait for him to come back. Until the day arrived when I knew he'd never come back. My life as I had lived it lost its meaning. I'd always been a bystander, a civilian. Now I realized that if his life was to have meant anything, it was up to me to continue the fight, to follow him into the inferno. I have to come with you. There's nothing left for me here. That day, for the first time, I picked up the gun he used to leave for me on the nightstand. And I've been fighting his war ever since. O'Rourke. O'Rourke. I never got to say goodbye to him, but you were there at his last battle. Please, Blade, I want to know what it was like the last time he faced the enemy. Miles? Miles O'Rourke? Somehow I feel like I should know that name, but... <sighs> Is this another memory I've lost? Blade, what is it? What's wrong? I'm sorry. I don't remember him. What? But, but that's impossible. You must. <laughs> Maggie! <coughs> it's all right. <sighs> don't these animals have any respect for state-of-the-art hardware? It's criminal what they've done, and if I ever find the creeps that did it, watch out! <laughs> I wonder how Blade's doing. You're saying that you could conceivably forget everything someday? I don't know. It just seems like every day a little more slips away. What'll I do if I forget what I'm fighting for? Or who I'm fighting? I sometimes think the only thing keeping me going is my hatred of Darkon and his followers. If I forgot that, I'd be lost. You won't forget as long as you concentrate on the loved ones that are depending on you. And the ones they've taken from you. The human heart can be as hard as steel. The enemy can wipe clean your mind, take everything else away from you. But as long as there's a place in your heart that remembers who you are, it'll do them no good. Bold soldier boy, you leave your home and hearth today. The last you love. That song. You see, Blade, you do remember. There is no joy when, when sweethearts sweet roam so far away. Pegasus, you know it too? O'Rourke wished me to store this melodic sequence in my memory matrix. Leave it to Miles to make machines sing. Something big's coming. Watch yourselves, lads. Right on 
Thousand, prepare to fire. Angel, you stay in the rear. Pegasus, to me, now. Open no, airlock. Babe, not yet. Let us handle it. Faith in Begora, it's the biggest one I've ever seen. Fire! <laughs> This one's the mother of all spider crabs. Electro Dark Squad, forward! Fire! The Electro Darts aren't deadly! Alright, switch to blasters and aim for the area around the darts! If we can hit just one, that will set them all off! Follow me, lads! Wait, not too close! One huge energy shockwave. A shockwave? It's Blade. <laughs> Backfired on you, didn't it, Blade? The spider mother was so full of energy from devouring the life forces of her young that the explosion was strong enough to eliminate your friends and destroy spaceports 5 and 6. Now there is only one spaceport left. Who will get there first? This is where the game gets interesting. Zack? What happened? Where is everyone? Uh, uh, uh. Angela. If only I could have saved her. But maybe she's at peace now. Angela, I'll remember you, and O'Rourke, and all the others. And I'll remember who did this to you. I'll never forget. Never. Something's showing up on the space ring's exterior sensors. Must be the enemy techno man. If we don't get to the spaceport number eight before that thing does, we're gonna be stranded. Meanwhile, what's going on with Blade and Balzan? I don't know, I can't find them. The interior sensors are still out of whack. Maggie, isn't there something you can do to fix them? <sighs> Give me a minute, I'm working as fast as I can. <sighs> Restoring communications, weapons, now the sensors. I'm good, but even I can only do one thing at a time. 
We have no way of knowing if they're even dead or alive. Well, speaking for myself, I'm definitely alive. Fuck. Had my brain scrambled a little bit, but then again, what else is new? But what happened to Blade? If I manage to make it, Blade's bound to be okay. Don't worry, the kid's a whole lot tougher than I am. We just got separated in all the fireworks, that's all. I thought if you guys had the space ring sensors up and running, you might know where he is. Well, are they? Got it. Now let's see if I'm as good as I think. Yep, I am. What? Maggie, you fixed them? If you mean the sensors, of course I fixed them, or at least half of them. We should be able to see anyone in this quadrant of the space ring. Aha! I like the look of those two blips in the outer ring corridor. Let me punch up a visual. Just as I thought, it's Blade and the Technobot. <gasps> And wouldn't you know it, they're headed right for that 8th spaceport, and they've got a step on that enemy Technoman. Good going, kid. Okay, let's get out of here. Maggie works better alone. Come on, let's jump into our Techno suits and give Blade some moral support. Technoman, I do not understand why we have stopped. Spaceport number 8 is still at risk. Are you having functional difficulties? Techno man. <laughs> Repeat. Are you having functional difficulties, Techno Man Blade? Why are you calling me that, robot? I am Pegasus. Look, just back off, will ya? Back off. Affirmative. I shall increase the distance between us by two meters. Listen, Pegasus, or whatever your name is. Oh, never mind. I said back off. What are you following me for? My presence is necessary for you to perform certain functions. What are you talking about? What do I need a robot for? Correction, Technoman Blade. I am not a robot. I am a Technobot. I was created in the Space Knights Research Laboratory. My production number is T3 slash T9 slash Okay, okay. up any enemy activity just blade and the technobot but we can't get to them this way it'll take too long to get past this rubble follow me whoa 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 hang on a minute the spaceport's in the opposite direction believe me i'm aware of that this way is a shortcut oh now i get it we're going to take a little spacewalk huh bingo give that man a prize the way I see it, if we get out onto the surface and cut diagonally across the diameter of the space ring, we'll save a lot of time. And avoid bumping in any more spider crabs. Listen, Ringo, I'm afraid spider crabs may be the least of our problems. Well, whatever. Come on, let's crack this bulkhead door and get moving before that enemy techno man turns spaceport number eight into a disaster area. Hang on to your dentures, it could be a bumpy ride. Coming home again. But how different it looks from the last time I saw it. Attention, crew of Deep Space Exploration Ship Argos. One hour to launch. 
Nick Kane, come and see what Conrad gave Catherine. Hey, does this mean that you're... Yes, I'm going to make Catherine the newest member of the Carter family, if it's all right with you three. You bet it is, brother. Conrad, you lucky dog. I was so sure this was going to happen, I even ordered a wedding cake and had it stowed on board yesterday. Shara, you little <laughs> devil. <laughs> we were to be married while orbiting Saturn, but it wasn't to be. If we'd arrived in orbit one day later, we never would have encountered that alien probe. But such hypothetical speculation is pointless. What's done is done. I am what I am, and my duty is clear. I must protect Darkon and destroy his enemies. They must not be allowed to reach the moon. Access corridor should lead right to the spaceport. Ah, what was that? My sensors detect a life form in close proximity. Who? Saber? Saber, are you there? There. That should do it. <sighs> I hope that'll give us some firepower. See if the laser cannon will respond now. Nice work, Maggie. The laser cannon should be coming online just about. Yep, that's it. So far, so good. Now aim for that abandoned weather satellite. Starboard heading, point eight mark three. Roger. All cannon responding well. Now triangulating on target at mark T nine or beta. What was that? Watch yourselves, could be a surprise attack. Negative. That was only me doing a weapons check. Everything seems fine. Great, but how about a little warning next time, huh? Maggie, we're a blade in the enemy Technoman now. Spaceport 8 virtually on top of each other. I'm getting huge energy readings coming from there, so you better hurry up. Too late. This spaceport was our last chance. <laughs> Welcome, Blade. What took you so long? Who... who are you? No, he's mine. No! I should be the one fighting him. Release me, Darkon. He's my brother and I must destroy him. It's my destiny. Please, Darkon, set me free! <laughs> Crystal to transform. Huh? Crystal, it's it's gone. Technoman Blade, I will open the interlock chamber on your command. I've lost the Emerald Crystal. Without it, I'm I'm, I'm useless. It's it's got to be around here somewhere. It's got to be. What's wrong with you? Have you forgotten how to transform into a Technoman? Forgotten? Of course not. But I need the crystal. Where is it? I, I've never lost it before. He's worse than I thought. Perhaps I won't have to destroy him. Technoman Blade, your crystal was damaged. I am your means of achieving techno transformation. I will perform that function upon your command. Stand up, Nick Carter. Stop groveling on your knees like a slave. Yes, my name is Nick Carter. And you, you are Catherine. That's right, Nick. Your brother Kane is with me. We miss you. It's wrong when friends and families fight among themselves. Come join us, Nick. Together nothing in the universe can stop us. Look, there he is! What's he doing? No! Huh? You're not my family. You destroyed my family. I see I was wasting my time. You've chosen to stay among the humans. You can't even remember how to become a Technoman anymore. Well, that just makes my job easier.
sorry about barging in like that, but I couldn't find the doorbell. <sighs> Thanks, Star. These pea shooters are worthless. We might as well be throwing spitballs at her. Yeah, but if we use ion cannons, we risk tearing up the spaceport even more. We've got to try to drive her back. Pretty, but you'll have to do better than that. Star, I don't know what to do. I've lost the crystal. What do you mean, Blade? What are you talking about? He has forgotten that the crystal is now installed within this entity. What? No! Why are you looking at me like that? I didn't mean to lose it. It just vanished. Blade, you didn't lose it. It was shattered. Oh. The pieces were reformed inside the Technobot. With it, you can still become a Technoman. <sighs> I don't understand. I don't remember. Star, I'm lost. You've got to help me. Tell me how to do it. Wait, perhaps it's better this way. The techno transformation only makes your condition worse. Maybe if you didn't ever become a technomat again, you'd no. be better No, no, don't say that. I have to destroy them. Time to finish what we started, Nick. Huh? Uh, get out, Star! Blade! If he doesn't transform, he won't have a chance! Reinitialize engagement systems to respond to my voice. Reinitializing systems. Gotcha! Uh, hang on to her, Rico! You fools! Technobot, open interlock chamber! Affirmative. Get away! That traitor! It's just you and me! Huh? What? Interlock chamber open. Alright, sword. I'm ready for you. You still want to play? Be careful, Blade. You and Darkon have taken everything from me. Everything except this burning hatred. That I'll never lose. <gasps> Life means nothing. I must destroy the traitor and protect Darkon, regardless of what happens to me. No sword, save yourself. Get out now. Darkon! Whatever it was, it finished the job on Spaceport 8. That's where they are! Ringo, come in! Are you guys all right? Affirmative. Balzac, Star, and I are still in one piece. I'm not so sure about Blade. And I'm afraid the decorators made a real mess of the Spaceport. Blade. What use am I? I do more harm than good. My memory, it gets more undependable every day. I'm losing control. I'm scared, Star. Maybe I should just give up. No, no! Don't give up! You can't give up! Hang on to me! I'm here! I'll always be here! Just hang on to me, Blade! Hang on tight! The traitor still lives, but the last spaceport our enemies could have used to reach me here on the moon has been destroyed. You have done well, Sword. I never would have survived but for you. You called out to me, told me to save myself. And why not? I have no wish to lose you. Now that our enemy's plans have been overturned, I have the time I need to finish my preparations. Soon the mothership will be ready to descend upon the planet below, and I with it. But until then, I must have peace. You will release Saber at once. Yes. But what?
Darkon, when you have me to serve you. Nothing must be allowed to interrupt me before I have regained my full strength. If Saber is willing to pay the ultimate price, then I am willing to sacrifice one brother to destroy another. Release him! Very well. Darkon, why have you done this to me? Let me out. I swear I will go mad in this place. Release me. Allow me the powers that Blade has. And I will defeat him, I promise you. Darkon would have destroyed you. But I convinced him to give you another chance, if you're willing to take it. <laughs> willing? Are you joking? How can I be anything else? My life has no other purpose. Even at the cost of your own life? Yes. Yes. So be it. Well, I only hope you don't come to regret your decision. <laughs> I'll have the powers Blade has. Yes, but why you'd want them is beyond my understanding. It's madness to forfeit your life for a vendetta. Not madness. Destiny. Star, we finished our reconnaissance suite. Do you think we could take a little side trip? It won't take long. We don't have much time. Is it important? It is to me. You got it. What is this place? It used to be my home. It's just how we left it the day we took off in the Argos. Nothing's changed. Are you okay? Blade? Surprise! Surprise! Happy Father's Day! Happy Father's Day, Dad! <laughs> <laughs> Blade, what is it? Nothing. Memories. Oh. We take them for granted until we start losing them. This desk, for instance. It was my father's. I'd almost forgotten what it looked like. And yet I must have seen it every day of my life while I was growing up. He'd sit here, puzzling over his equations, smoking his pipe. Well, speak of the devil. I remember him thinking he'd lost it aboard the ship, but it was here all the time. Your dad. Hey, are you sure you want to do this? I'm wondering if this was a good idea. There's such a thing as too many memories. That's like telling a man dying of thirst. That there's such a thing as too much water. He'll take all he can get. Yes, but you seem so alone, and I can't do anything to change that. I can't bear to just sit by doing nothing, watching you suffer. Oh, if, if only there were a way I could help. I feel so left out. No. You couldn't be more wrong, Star. You're one of my memories. The best one. I'm lost without you. Don't you see? That's why I brought you here. Oh, Blade. Where's Commander Jameson? He's been holed up in the research and development lab for the last two days. He's ordered no interruptions. Says he's working on some kind of a secret weapon. It's done. I finished it. Sir! What is it? A counterflux polarizer. It can create an energy field that destabilizes the techno transformation process. It'll stop any enemy Technoman in his tracks. Of course, it's only been tested under lab conditions in a controlled environment. It'll stop Darkon? Well, theoretically, yes, but we won't know for certain until we use it in the field. I have confidence in your abilities, Commander. I'm sure it'll work. Sir, the Blue Earth's launch catapult should be finished in another couple of hours. Excellent. That'll make Ringo and Balzac happy. They've been itching to go. At last. I can't wait till this madness is over and I can get back to the farm again. Shoveling manure? Hmm. 
You look real good in that straw hat. The chicken sure must miss you. Hey! I just bet you got a favorite cow named Bessie that you send postcards to. Just shut up! No need to be embarrassed. Had no idea you were such a sentimental softy ball, Zach. It's a beautiful thing. Just drop it, Ringo. Hey, I mean it. I envy you, buddy. At least you've got Rachel to come home to. What have I got? An empty locker and some phone numbers in my little black book. <laughs> What's funny? Huh? Now who's being sentimental? Come on, you're talking like it's the end of the line. Relax, this isn't a suicide mission. We're both gonna make it back. Here, have a stick of gum. It'll keep your ears from popping. Don't mind if I do. Looks like Maggie's done her job up on the space ring, sir. Everything's coming back online. Tina, Commander, are you there? We read you, Maggie. The good news is I've got the global communication link up and running, but the bad news is those alien spore trees. What's the matter? I'll feed you what I'm getting from our monitor so you can see for yourselves. The alien spore trees, they're beginning to bloom. Alpha one here, there's something happening. I don't so it's finally starting. This is it. Oh, no. Maggie, open the global communications link. Give me every channel you've got. Right. Tina. Ready when you are, Commander. Attention all citizens of Earth. This is Commander Jameson of the Space Knights. It appears the last phase of the enemy invasion has begun. It is vital you avoid contact with the alien spore trees. Go to the nearest space transport facility. We will try to evacuate as many people as possible to the space ring orbiting the Earth. All pilots of any private vessels capable of reaching the space ring are requested to assist in the evacuation. Gina, your best case projection. How many can we save? Maybe 20%, sir. 20%? That's not good enough. Don't despair yet. The one sure way of stopping this nightmare is to find that base on the far side of the moon and destroy Darkon himself. Now, Saber. Be reborn as the penultimate embodiment of a techno warrior. So, this is how it feels to possess power without equal. Strange, it's so peaceful. Ah, what? My whole body surging with pain as if it were on fire. Stand it, brother. Kane? Nick? Let's bring this game to an end. I'm ready. I'll wait for you on the space ring. Don't disappoint me. Blade? What's the matter? My brother. Huh? He's waiting for me. I have to finish with him before I can do anything else. Star? Sir. You'd better go look after him. I will, Commander. Balzac and I'll give him some backup. Negative. Hmm? You two have got to get the Blue Earth ready for launch and familiarize yourselves with the Counterflux Polarizer. But, sir, if we do that... Listen, Ringo, I care just as much about Blaze safety as anyone. But there are times when you've got to let a man do his job alone. Sir? It's zero hour, and we all have to start thinking of the big picture. Each of us has a job to do. Yours is aboard the Blue Earth. Blade's job is to deal once and for all with Saber. I think some cosmic power, call it destiny if you like, has decreed that those two brothers should finally face each other alone. So we just leave him be? Yes. It's for the best. Leave him to fulfill his destiny. And in the meantime, we do what we can to fulfill ours. Now, we've got a planet to save. I suggest we all get back to work. Aye, aye, sir. sir. Commander, we finished work on the launch catapult, ready for a final systems check. Mm -hmm. Way to go, Matt. Great. All right, gentlemen, to your posts. And stand by to raise the catapult. Roger. Pathetic fools. Won't they ever learn? What they build, we will destroy. 
Never fear, Darkon. Soon we will crush the humans like insects. But first we must deal with these space knights. Once they have been destroyed, planet Earth is ours. Systems check on the catapult completed. Everything's A-OK. -okay. You can take off any time. Way to go, Mac. Thanks. Did you pack us a lunch? Silly me, I forgot. Your techno suits and counterflux polarizer are on board. Right. A grilled cheese sandwich and crackers would have been nice. You know, some little thing we could nibble on. I'm starving. I'll have a big juicy steak waiting for you when you get back. Meanwhile, the fate of the world is a bit more important than your stomach, so get to work. Yes, sir. Okay, let's blow this joint. Full thrusters. <laughs> Stop the moon. Sir, I'm getting an unidentified pinger closing quickly on the blue earth. What? Look up ahead. What is that thing? I don't think I want to know. Insects! To get to Darkon, you must first get past me. Closing fast at 11 o'clock. Deploy the ion cannon. Roger. And don't call me Roger. Let's clip this birdie's wings. Let me return the favor. Cannon's gone. Hold her steady. Commander, they've been hit. We've lost our artificial gravity, but we're still intact. One more hit like that and we won't be so lucky. Well, I'm not gonna just sit here and let her tear us to pieces. What are you gonna do? Time we gave that counterflux thing of a jig a try. That's for Darkon. I know, but we'll never be able to use it on him if we don't take care of the Dragon Lady first. I'm gonna need enough time to get into a techno suit, so see if you can't keep her off us for a minute, okay? Show me your stuff, flyboy. Wait! Balzac. Do you really think you can escape me? Balzac, you got a lifeline hooked on? Yeah, don't worry. Okay, let's see what this pop gun can do. Cut her! Bingo! This thing stopped her cold. What do you know? The thing works. Like a charm. You shall never get past me! If there's one thing I hate, it's a stubborn dame. You want some more? Ah! Give up, dragon lady. Ah! You're finished. What's going on? Oh, no. Uh, you shall not pass! <sighs> in danger. I must defend him. I must destroy his enemies. Ah! What the? No! Ah! I shall take you with me. Unevolved worm! Did you really think you could reach Darkon? Never! Never! Rachel. <gasps> what is it, Mother? Nothing. It was nothing. Your enemies will be destroyed! 
lost them. They'll show up. I know they will. I know it. But the Blue Earth is out of command. And without it, we have no way of reaching the moon. Uh, I don't believe it! Star, I'm certain that Saber's somewhere nearby, so from this point I have to go on alone. No! So I'm supposed to just stand here and wait for you to come back? Isn't there anything I can do to help you, Blade? No. Before you go, you've got to promise me that you'll come back. Blade! Promise me! Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Kane, are you here? Kane, I've come! Over here. Thanks for coming, brother. <laughs> Though I knew you could hardly refuse. You see, it was destined to end this way, and you can't deny destiny any more than I can. You and I, we're like a couple of helpless castaways who've been set adrift on the cosmic tide. From the beginning, we spent our lives creating this moment, and now I know the reason. Now I know why destroying you has been all I've lived for. It's because we're twin brothers, Nick. We're two people who are meant to be one. The universe just isn't big enough for the both of us. You're mad. Sick. Nevertheless, I'm right. Nick, you felt it yourself. Why else do you always come when I call you? You think I'm mad? And yet you want the same thing I do, to destroy your brother. Huh? No, that's not what I want. But I will if I have to. So here we stand, identical madmen, each driven to destroy the other. You know, I think we'd be doing this even if we had never been transformed into Technoman. The only difference is that this way, not only our lives, but the fate of a planet hangs in the balance. Enough talk. I'm ready. You might not be so eager, if you knew the surprise I have in store for you. I'll miss these little get-togethers of ours. Pity they have to come to an end. But who are we to deny our destiny? You talk about destiny and fate as if you weren't responsible for the nightmare you've unleashed. Was it fate that destroyed our sister Shara? No, you did. Shara betrayed us! Just as you have done! Murder! Think you're going? Just giving myself a little distance. <gasps> Not again! What's wrong, Nick? <laughs> Time limit. Another migraine? What a pity. Just when you were doing so well, too. Well, why have you stopped? Why don't you finish it? No, not this way. I want to defeat the Techno Man Blade, not some quivering coward. I'll give you time to regain your strength, brother. Then we'll finish it. Blade! Are you alright? You! I don't get it, Star. How'd my brother get lucky enough to have a woman like you looking after him? As brave as you are beautiful. Tell me, what is it about him that's captured your heart? 
Why him, Star? Why not me? Everything Blade can offer, I can offer too, and much, much more. For one thing, my brain doesn't go off track every 30 minutes. Talk about brains going off the track! You with your mad obsession to kill your brother? Do you really hate him that much? Far from it. I don't hate him, I love him. I love him so much, I want to be him. I want to be him and me both, united in one body. What's that supposed to mean? The day my brother and I were born as twins, a genetic mistake was made. We were never supposed to be more than one person, so you see, to put the balance right, one of us must go. This is between Blade and myself. Stay out of it, Star. No, it's too late for me to stay out of it. Blade means everything in the world to me. I won't lose him. So hold it right there. I'll shoot, I'm warning you. Come on. You shoot somebody with this face? With his face? I don't think so. Stop! <gasps> Thank goodness. Saber's right, Star. This is strictly between him and me, so stay out of it. No, never! I won't do it! Please, Blake! Don't ask me that! Listen, this is my fight. You can't help me. I can't? I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you ready? Then let's finish it.
Brother, I hope so, because I'm afraid I've just about had it. What... what is that thing? Where? Uh, oh, animoid mind parasite. Implanted in all of us to keep us obedient. All except you, of course. With you, the process was never completed. I wish I could blame it all on that little thing. But the fact is, I made myself what I became. Frankly, I enjoyed being Saber the Techno Man. Kane, you... No sermons. You haven't time. Take this. You'll need it to fight Darkon. Finally, the two of us are truly one. Good luck, Nick. And goodbye. arrived for which the warlord Darkon has been waiting so long. Yes! At last, my strength has returned, and with it the power to raise the mothership from its anchorage here on this flightless ball of dust. Now to descend upon the planet below and claim it for my Venomoid master. Let the heavens tremble! I feel him reaching out, trying to steal what's left of my mind, my soul. No! I've got to fight him. Got to hang on to the memories I have left. Mother, resist. Got to remember who I am. I must remember my friends. My friend. No! Commander Blake's lost contact with the Technobomb. Something happened. He's floating away from it. He's not responding to my signal. <sighs> so his mind must have snapped at last. Commander Jameson. All of a sudden, I'm getting a lot of seismic activity on the moon's surface. Tremors of enormous strength. Thoughts can travel that far. And if there's any part of you that can hear them, I love you. I love you.
Yes, Darko. I couldn't agree more. I should have taken you out a long time ago. Easier said than done, Technoman. What's that? Saber's crystal. So he who was once your brother Cain is no more. Sword too is gone. You consider yourself noble and good. What have you done but betray us and murder your friend for your own flesh and blood? Now you come for me. Do you seek the obliteration of your entire family? Is that it? Shall none of us survive? Conrad? Yes, little brother. Until the Venomoids chose me as their warlord, the Technopods aboard their probe knew I was the strongest life form on the Argos, that I would let nothing stop me, nothing! Too late. My strength is restored and the mothership is aloft. The planet below belongs to me now. <laughs> no, it's never too late. Not while I'm alive. That's a condition soon to change. You are strong, Blade. As strong a Technoman as ever was created. The penultimate Technoman. But I am a Techno Warlord and therefore the ultimate Technoman. I have powers you can scarcely dream of. More slaves to do your dirty work? No, Dark Yeah! This time you fight your own battle. Fool! It needn't have come to this. You could have been one of us, brother. A master of the cosmos. Hang on to us. Draw on our strength. Our love for you. Fight on. Fight on. Star. Hang on to our love, Blade. Hang on. <laughs> you have chosen to remain with the humans, so now you shall share their fate. No. Shall not harm Techno. Off in the way, robot! I am Vegas. Goodbye, Blade. survived it. It's some kind of miracle. Yes, indeed, Ringo. And you're walking away from the crash of the Blue Earth. 
I didn't exactly walk away from it, sir. An unfortunate choice of words. Sorry. None of us made it through unscathed. Blade, of course, doesn't remember a thing about it. But otherwise, he seems to be recovering well. He has a very devoted nurse. Forgetfulness. In this instance, I think it's nature's way of being kind. It's better for him not to remember, but the rest of us must never forget what he did. Isn't the sunset beautiful? Worth coming out for, wasn't it? Yes. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, Blade. We'll see them all from now on. Everyone, together.